Everyone's here. Move in immediately. Good. Now get running! This is our only chance! Stay calm. You can get away now. We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. Hmm? What was that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. But I have to say, showing yourself above that crowd earlier was an excellent move. Nice work as always, Joker. Look <laughs> at that skull. Everyone remember where we're meeting up? No worries. Stop right you there! Get away. Take him down, Joker! <laughs> I'll end this right now. Joker, it's her! She's the weird reading I've been getting! My weak self relied on you so much. That ends today. Let's do this, Senpai! That's the last of them? I genuinely have no clue what just happened, but I take it you're okay? Wait, bad news. Enemy backup's headed your way. You need to book it right now. Please go. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You still have something you need to do as a Phantom Thief, right? Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the Phantom Thieves, I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Joker, you need to get out of there! Go, go, go! He's not alone! Find them and kill them all! Wrong? The exit should be up ahead. You're there. That's just how it is. After that commotion, the bottom floor is completely closed off. Hey, can you make it? Over there! There's nowhere to run! <laughs> See ya. Off. You're so reckless, you know that? Enemies here? What's wrong? 
wrong. Deep readings. It can't be. What happened? An ambush? Joker, can you handle this? Joker! Oh no! Capture him! Let's go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! go, go, go. Suspect secure! Didn't expect to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. You were sold out. Suspect confirmed! Cuff it! Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate. What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? You still haven't figured it out? There are no laws here to protect criminals like you! <coughs> Obstruction of justice... Blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. I see. I need your hand to sign this, but... <laughs> I don't care if you end up losing a leg. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the Public Prosecutor's Office. The Prosecutor's Office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... Are you Prosecutor Sai Nijima? I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. you to stand by I'm responsible for this case yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up 
I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. <sighs> Good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Ah, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown, after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. I didn't expect it'd be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. <sighs> Those bastards. Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. <laughs> True. There's no way I could be convinced of such a world just by reading the reports. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning.
transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, oh how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, right. They did say that was today. We'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. It's none of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Uh-huh. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other, and... Well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then, I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her, he got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Really now? It's the word that applies to you. Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? Damn brat! 
You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll... I'll call the police! <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car! Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? 
Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Oh. Now hurry up and go back to sleep! <sighs> Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle too. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez, men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? Hmm. School never changes, huh? Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? 
Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. You think you can manage? You brought it on yourself, though. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. If that's what it was like at school, people might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have got to be just... All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Oh, come on. The inbound train will soon be arriving at platform number one. Please wait behind the yellow line. from the accident. According to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting, and that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people hmm. was suddenly... Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. <sighs> Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Here's a diary. 
make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry, I'll be there in no time. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? actually going to school, huh? Here, I'll feed you. Just make sure you finish it before the customers start coming in. What's that reaction for? Just eat it. It's time for you to go. <laughs> Turns out you do have manners after all. Hurry over to school. You'll end up late if you get lost on the way. Oh, yeah, and flip the sign outside to open for me. Don't forget to do that for me, all right? Now, you better hurry on out. You're gonna be late if you get lost, country boy. Oh, man. Did it say it was going to rain today? Huh? It's raining outside? It just started all of a sudden. This is why I hate the early spring. It reminds me. Did he take an umbrella? Hmm? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, what'll it be? One house blend, please. The effects of yesterday's subway accident continues on today, as various lines suffer delays and... There's been a lot of nasty accidents lately. You know, I mean the subway accident that the news is talking about. My coworker got caught up in it and is in the hospital now. But that aside, it's kind of creepy. The people who caused these accidents supposedly went crazy all of a sudden. I heard that some of them suffered from nervous breakdowns during interrogation. Huh.
morning. You want me to give you a ride to school? You're gonna be late. Um, sure, thank you. Do you need a lift too? Huh? Nah. What do you want? You planning on ratting me out to Kamashita? Huh? In that car just now, it was Kamoshida. He does whatever the hell he wants. Who does he think he is, the king of a castle? Don't you agree? No, I, I mean... Hmm? Wait. You don't know Kamoshida? <laughs> Are you for real? You're from Shujin, right? You messing with me? You're wearing a Shujin uniform. Huh. A second year, huh? We're the same grade then. Never seen you before, though. Oh. You a transfer student? <laughs> then no wonder you don't know him. It's raining too bad. We better hurry up or we'll be late. Ah. Oh, my head hurts. Damn it. I want to go home. There was a terrible subway accident that day. You remember it, don't you? I assume you know of the uproar that the public calls the psychotic breakdown incidents. <sighs> it was all over the news and one of the victims included a teacher at your high school. I've no doubt you heard about it. On that day, were you still an ordinary student? Let me change the question. You transferred to Shujin Academy, correct? An ordinary prep school that could be found in any city. That's what it should have been. What happened around that time? Tell me everything, truthfully. said Shujin on the gate. What's going on here? Out of service? Where do we end up? The sign was for the school, right? Right? You saw it too! Jeez, you freaked me out. 
Who are you? You a student? Man, your costume's impressive. Is that armor real? Come on, don't just stand there, say something. Hey, what's going on? You really think so? This shit's real. C calm down! It's time out, man! We gotta run! Stop standing around and run! What's with these guys? You're gonna break my bones, damn it! The hell you think you're. Yeah! Take them away! Hey, wake up! You all right? Yeah, more or less. Looks like this ain't no dream. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, let us out of here! I know there's someone out there! Damn it! Where are we? Is this some kind of movie set? What the hell was that just now? Whoa, 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 whoa! You're shitting me, right? Come on, man. Be glad that your punishment has been decided upon. Your charge is unlawful entry. Thus, you will be sentenced to death. Say what? No one's allowed to do as they please in my castle. Huh? Wait. Is that you, Kamoshida? I thought it was some petty thief, but to think it'd be you, Sakamoto. Are you trying to disobey me again? It looks like you haven't learned your lesson at all, huh? And you brought a friend this time, because you can't do anything for yourself. This ain't funny, you asshole! Is that how you speak to a king? It seems you don't understand the position you're in at all. Not only did you sneak into my castle, you committed the crime of insulting me, the king! The punishment for that is death. It's time for an execution! Take him out! Stop it! God damn it! I ain't down for this shit! Come on, we're out of here! Just go! Get out of here! These guys are serious! Uh oh Running away, are we? What a heartless friend you are! <sighs> he ain't a friend! <sighs> Come on, hurry up and go! What's the matter? Too scared to run away? <laughs> Pathetic scum isn't worth my time. I'll focus on this one's execution. Take this! Lowly scum! You fucking Where'd your energy from earlier go? A peasant like you isn't worth beating. I'll have you killed right now.
Hmm. What? Don't you dare tell me you don't know who I am. That look in your eyes irritates me. Hold him there. After the peasant, it's his turn to die. No. No, I don't want to die. <laughs> this is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. But if my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. What's the matter? Are you simply going to watch? Are you forsaking him to save yourself? Death awaits him if you do nothing. Was your previous decision a mistake then? Very well. I have heeded your resolve. Bow to me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou who art willing to perform all sacrilegious acts for thine own justice. Call upon my name and release thy rage. Show the strength of thy will to ascertain all on thine own. Though thou be chained to hell itself. Execute him. Was that? You desire to be killed that much? Fine. Consider granting you the power to break through this crisis. Hmm. Very well. Who the hell are you? Guard! Start by killing that one! You'll learn the true strength of my men! power of mine is yours! Kill them however you want. Run wild to your heart's content! What? What was that just now? You little... You like that, you son of a bitch? Y you mean this? Okay, it's locked. Damn you! Hey, 
What was that just now? And your clothes? Whoa! It went back to normal! You bastards! God, this is effing nuts! Anyways, let's scram. You lead the way. Goddamn thieves! After them! Don't let them escape! Uh, what is this thing? You're not soldiers of this castle, right? Get me out of here! Look, the key's right there! We're trying to get the hell out of here. I mean, you obviously look like an enemy too. I'm locked up here, so how can I be your enemy? Help me out! You have to believe me! They're catching up already. Shit, there's still no service. Ain't there any way to contact someone outside? How the hell do we get out? Hey, you too! You wanna know where the exit is? Let me out, and I'll take you there. You don't want to get caught and executed, right? I'm not lying. It's the truth. This thing sounds like it's all talk. If you guys think you can get out on your own, then be my guest. What do we do? Are you seriously not messing with us? If you don't hurry, they'll catch you. Fine. Uh, ah, freedom tastes so great. Now where's the exit, you monster cat? Don't call me a cat. I am Morgana. Shut up and hurry it up. You want to be locked up again? Oh, all right. Sheesh. Follow me and stay quiet. It's fourth period already. Sakura-san said that he left the house this morning. Should I contact the police? <sighs> no, that'll just be more of a hassle. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? Well, guess we just gotta follow it. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm lowering the bridge. You, frizzy hair. It seems like you pick up on things faster than our blondie over here. Try checking around the mouth of this statue, okay? How were we supposed to know to do that? Amateur. Come on, let's keep going. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, it's them! You amateur! Stay still! Hey you! You can fight, right? Let's go! Come! You got one of those things too? We will promptly shut them up! Damn shadows. They've taken up intercept positions. Looks like it's not about capturing us anymore. They're out for blood. I'll back you up. So fight like your life depends on it. Let's go! Persona! Hm. I knew you were an amateur. This is how you fight! Zero! Strike at an enemy's weakness to knock them down. Use that opening to strike again! That's the most basic of basics. Remember it well! But let's get away before more show up! Hold on! We can't just leave these guys here! You really don't get it, do you? Ugh. There's no time to explain! Look, I'm going. If you don't want to follow, be my guest. Damn it! Fine, I'm coming! We're here! 
Oh, finally! We're saved! It's not opening! Did you trick us, you jerk? Don't jump to conclusions. Over here! Hey, wait up! Where are we supposed to get out from here? There aren't even any windows! Ugh, amateur. This is the most basic of basics. We would have done that earlier if that was possible. The ventilation shaft, you morons! You guys should be able to squeeze through it one at a time. I see. Then we just gotta get that metallic mesh off. And a one, and a... Ah! Oh, crap. The enemy didn't hear us, did they? Seriously, we're finally getting out of here! You should wait on celebrating until you actually get out. Now get going! But what about you? There's something that I still have to do. We're going our separate ways. <laughs> You've got manners. Be careful on your way. Those two seem useful. Did we make it? You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. Huh? Returned? Does that mean we got away? <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. What was all that anyways? That castle and, and Kamoshida and that weird cat? What the hell's going on? What's with the yelling? Are you students of Shujin? Cutting classes, are we? Huh? Uh, no! We were trying to get to school, and we ended up at this weird castle! <sighs> what? Oh, hand over your bag. You better not be doing any drugs. Why would you think that? Are you his friend? Oh. You seem quite friendly with him, though. Anyway, you should go to school. I'm trying to say, I don't know what's going on either! We passed by Shujin on our way here. There was nothing out of the ordinary about it. If you spout any more nonsense, I'll contact your school. Is that what you want? Come on, say something! Uh, that's not what I meant. W wait a sec! Is that guy for real? Fine, I'm going! A Minister of Transport announcing his resignation. <laughs> Things are going as planned. Sai Nijima. That reminds me. <sighs> Better to leave it be for now. Is this for real? I'm sure we came the same way. I, what's going on here? That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. We received a call from the police. The damn cops snitched on us after all. Hmm. It's rare not to see you alone. Where were you roaming around until this time? Uh... A, ca a castle? So you have no intention of giving an honest answer. What's this about a castle? Kamoshida? You seem so carefree, Sakamoto. Quite a difference from when you did morning practice for the track team. Shut up! It's your fault that it... How dare you speak that way to Mr. Kamoshida? <sighs> There's not much leeway left for you, you know? He's the one that provoked me! Do you really want to be expelled? In any case, you'll have to explain yourself. Follow me! What? This is bullshit! Come now. I should have been more considerate, too. Let's just say that we were both to blame. Well, if you say so. 
Still, you're coming with me. It's undeniable that you're extremely late. Fine. By the way, you're that new transfer student, correct? Have we met somewhere? That's right. I remember now. Well, I'll overlook this just for today. I'm sure you've heard from the principal. But cause any trouble and you'll be expelled. Understand? At any rate, hurry up and go to the faculty office. I'm sure Ms. Kawakami's tired of waiting. Good luck trying to enjoy your new school life. The school turned into an old castle? A talking cat? Are you hallucinating from an overdose? I won't put up with you if you're simply joking around. I'm going to have you continue the story. The one who received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves was an Olympic medalist. An alumnus from Shujin Academy. The PE teacher Suguru Kamoshida. It all came out in his confession. He was guilty of everything. The abuse, the violations. But there should have been no connection between the two of you since you had just transferred. Why did you target him? That's unacceptable! Try and recall it once again. Ugh, unbelievable. Being over half a day late on your first day? Can you explain yourself? How could you have been lost for this long? It's almost lunchtime. Well, it's probably true that you're not used to the area yet, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto-kun. <sighs> Don't get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. By the way, when you introduce yourself, be serious about it even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. <sighs> Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, please say something to the class. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it... I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, so... Your seat will be... Hmm. Over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> Lies. <sighs> Did you catch that? Do those two know each other? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Then again, 
This is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh, right. The volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. What's wrong? Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. Oh, and about Sakamoto kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black either. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. <sighs> See? That's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? Why did you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case. At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamashito-kun. You are our star. Still, a steady build-up is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. There you are. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? Pretty much in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. But man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. Yeah, the ripped mop head. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, alright? See ya. Hey, I got a call from the school. I hear you ditched half a day on your first day of school. Just when I was thinking you had it together this morning. Look, just behave yourself. One wrong step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? Good. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. 
I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. No, it's a guy. I just hired a part-timer. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Yep, I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer. About time you've come to! On your feet, inmate! Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. I have high expect- There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time! Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail too. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. What speed? I mean, excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Oh. It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy, though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thanking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. Hey there, Takamaki. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes. I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. 
You must be lonely too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record after all. If something were to happen to you... Thank you. Please excuse me. Yo. I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so... You in? Nice! <laughs> okay, glad we're in this together. I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? Don't be like that. It'll be over quick. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. Huh? We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Yeah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. Come on, you gotta stick with me to the end. Let's go. For real? Is it smaller than we think it is? What do you think? I already did that. But I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. What's this eyeball looking thing? Wait, what? What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it! I knew it! It is a navigation app! There's even your search history! Oh man, I'm such a genius! Let's try using it. Why? All we're doing is starting an app. Kamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. There we go! And then we went in a certain direction and... Hey, what are you... Huh? What the hell? from yesterday. We made it back. That means what happened yesterday was for real too. Yeah! That was close! That happened last time too, huh? What's with that outfit? You like it? What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all! Hey! Stop making a commotion! Uh, you? 
the shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. <sighs> to think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. But it's a castle! This castle is the school, but only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense! I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? What was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? Oh shit, it's for real! We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamoshida?! Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. Alright, let's do this! Follow me! This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh... Sorry for dragging you into all of this, but I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. Man, this place is as creepy as always. Mm -hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, alright? Follow me. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before! Where'd they go? Quiet down! Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. They might have been transferred already. Oh crap, I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. The shadows probably won't come in here. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all! One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So, it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault! I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it, too. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. 
A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Ah, I'm so fed up with all this! I'm more curious about you than his clothes! What the hell are you anyways? I'm a human. An honest-to-god human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is... well, it's because I lost my true form, I think. You think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshita, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? Huh? So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. Damn it! This is bullshit! How many times do I have to tell you to keep your voice down? But this is beyond messed up! How do I open this? Stop it! Leave us alone. It's useless. Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. You're telling me you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave them here. How stupid can you be? What? These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. Cognition? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones in the real world. You could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. Hell? Why's it gotta be so complicated? So the school's a castle, and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Still, this is horrible. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. In the real world, too? Wait, I know these guys. They're members of the volleyball team, the one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me. They're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida's using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but... If they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida. Huh? It's not working. We can use the navigation app, but the camera's a no-go? A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. Ugh, oh, you knaves again? To think you'd make the same mistake again. You're hopeless. The school ain't your castle. I've memorized their faces real good. 
You're going down! It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. How far the star runner of the track team has fallen. What the hell are you getting at? I speak of the track trader who acted in violence, ending his teammates' dreams. Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your selfish act. <laughs> What a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. That's not true! What a tragedy. You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. Damn it! Ryuji, move! Oh, we're surrounded! King Kamashita told us! I'll kill cause that's what he wants! This hurts. Sona! There! There's more of them? This is bad. Failure! It can't be. Oh! oh you piece of... <laughs> I bet you simply came here on a whim and ended up like this, isn't that right? No! What a worthless piece of trash, getting emotional so quickly. How dare you raise your hand at me? Though it was only temporary, have you forgotten my kindness in supervising track practice? It wasn't no practice, it was physical abuse! You just didn't like our team! It was nothing but an eyesore. The only one who needs to achieve results is me. That coach who got fired was hopeless too. Had he not opposed me with a sound argument, I would have settled it with only breaking his star's leg. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Damn it. Am I gonna lose again? Not only can I not run anymore, the track team is gone too because of this asshole. So that's why. Once these two are dealt with, you're next. <laughs> Ryuji! You're right. Everything that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and watch. Look on as these hopeless scum die for nothing because they sided with trash like you. No, that's what you are. All you think about is using people. You're the real scumbag, Kamoshida. What are you doing? Silence him! Stop looking down on me with that stupid smile on your face! You made me wait quite a while. <laughs> You seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and wreak havoc? The other you who exists within desires thus. 
I am thou, thou art I. There is no turning back. The skull of rebellion is your flag henceforth! <laughs> what can you do? Cower in fear and watch! <laughs> What's up, Persona? This effin' rocks! Now that I got this power, it's time for payback! Yo, I'm ready! Bring it! Don't mock me, you rat! Blast him away, Captain Kid! Troublemakers that bother King Kamoshida with trifle matters! Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? Then I'll act like the troublemaker I am! Let's do this, Captain Kid! Ravage them! I am a loyal subject of the glorious King Kamoshida. So why have I lost? It just proves that Kamoshida ain't anything special. How about that? Whoa. So Ryuji had the potential too. Even if you apologize now, I ain't forgiven you. I told you that this is my castle. It seems you still don't understand. What? Takamaki? Oh! oh what a meowless and beautiful girl! What's going on? Yeah, now that you mention it. But why is she even here? Let go of her, you perv! How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Everyone wishes to be loved by me. That is, everyone besides slow-witted thieves like you. Takamaki, say something! Calm down, Ryuji. It seems that girl isn't the real one. She's the same as those slaves. A being made from Kamashita's cognition of her. Are you jealous? Well, I'm not surprised. Women aren't drawn to problematic punks like you. Damn it! Clean them up this instant! We're outnumbered. Let's scram before we get surrounded. We're not gonna do anything and just run? Thank God you've got a level head. Fine. We'll expose what you really are no matter what. You better be ready for us. <laughs> I was beginning to get bored of torturing the ones here. Come at me whenever you want, if you don't care about your life. <laughs> Ignore him. Let's go! Anyways, I don't remember changing into this. The hell? It's much better than your magician looking one. Did you find them? Quiet. No, search that way. So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. 
I told you before, when a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this... a skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within, not that you'll get it. Nope. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. <sighs> Easy for you to say. Wait! We're in deep shit! I said to be quiet! We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you. For being an idiot. Relax. The Kamoshida in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So, we're okay? Did the Kamoshida in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. Alright, now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait, I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. Huh? Cooperate? Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... Whoa, hold up! What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you! You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? Is it because I'm not human? Because I'm like a cat? Is that why you're making a fool of me? We're busy. Thanks for everything, cat. You've got guts being a cat and all. See you around. Hey! What the hell? Oh, seriously? Why are you wrapping this up like everything's all hunky-dory? Oh, hell no! Get back here! You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God. We're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? <sighs> Me too. Man, I'm gonna sleep like a rock when I get home. But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, wanna help me look for those guys or any witnesses? It'll be cake compared to the monsters we've gone up against till now. Hey, so, if you're thinking of laying low cause you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with. Just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. 
that's what you decided. Am I wrong? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now, so why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Meat, man! Just follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. What?! The hell, man?! How much shittier can that asshole get?! Oh, my bad. So, you left your hometown and you're living here now, huh? Huh, we might be more alike than I originally thought. You're the first guy that made me think that. I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. Just let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh, yeah! Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID, too. Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rally's tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But, thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more! There's tons of ginger here! So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. Ah, right. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> Yeah, volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. On, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <sighs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep, good luck! I 
Hang in there, Shiho. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. Uh, as long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine by me. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. Hey, I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fool persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Okay, quiet down. Nice toss! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, you 
still got it, coach. Thanks. Let's go for one more. like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <sighs> well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Oh, you're coming with me too. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expected from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? What? What are, you, what are you saying? No, of course not. It's Kamoshida, ain't it? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. Y you know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Well, that's nice of you, but I'm down for just splitting up, though. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in... 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Talk to you for a sec. It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why 
does she gotta be so aggressive all the time? She's been like that since middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Dastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job. I should get going. Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm. I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? 
sorry. Huh? Um, well... Hmm, you don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? I'm glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood too, all because of her looks. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Damn it! What the hell? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? So you wanna tell him about the castle? They'd never believe us. Have any other ideas? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something? Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? This is no time to be joking around! You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey! How dare you treat me like- Don't be so rough with me! Enough of that! You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. 
You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Will you please give it a rest? I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? <sighs> Haven't you heard of privacy? <sighs> no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? See. That is true. It's nothing at all. Nothing. Stop following me! Just leave me alone! Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? <laughs> what the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But... That's so not true. <clears throat> that was him on the other line. 
I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. <laughs> if I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school! Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am I saying? you before. Huh? You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. Is that supposed to be a joke? Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. Suzui, are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. You're late. Where have you been? <laughs> Just don't come running to me when you get arrested. That'll be it for you, remember? By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Huh. Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood?
so I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Hmm, did I just hear a cat just now? <coughs> Meow! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. If you only knew, I'm reading this too. Hey, what's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait, she's going to jump! Suzui? Shio? For real? Come Who on, let's go. It? Hey, stay in your seats. Do not step foot outside of this room. No way. Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui. Shio Suzui. Huh? Suzui, hey, son. Let's go look. We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. So we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. I'll go! Please hurry! Shio... Why? Mon, I'm sorry. I... I can't take this anymore. Shio? Huh? Kamoshida? Huh? No! Shio! Volleyball team! Return to your classrooms at once! Huh. That guy... Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Ah, that hurts! Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself! <laughs> Leave me alone. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Susui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times, too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui, either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood, and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. And yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been... worse than usual. He didn't! That son of a bitch! Uh... Huh? You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me! That is enough! 
What you did wasn't coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from a hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You goddamn! This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Why are you stopping me? But still! Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? There you have it. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida. Let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! <sighs> that was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already! The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Huh? Phantom thieves? 
Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but, uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? A name... school? Huh? All right, time to bust on through! What is this? Tsukamaki? That voice... Sakamoto? And are you... Wh why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god, it's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Uh, oh yeah! Can you lend me a hand? What are you- We'll explain after everything's over. Hey! And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean- That's not important! You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. Ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? That a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... let's see... thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> When it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? How about Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right, time to go steal this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. Hey, look, ain't that... Those intruders the other day were quite entertaining. 
However, I can't allow that trash to ransack my castle! Strengthen the security, kill them on sight! I'll reward whoever brings me their heads. Praise be to King Kamashida! Death to the intruders! Hey Mona, can't we just beat the crap out of him and call it a day? Look at all those soldiers, idiot! It'd be suicide! And I'm sure you don't want a repeat of last time. Besides, don't you want him to confess his sins? There's no point beating him up. We need to steal his materialized desires. The treasure. Fine, uh, so where is it? It has to be somewhere in the depths of this castle. Let's infiltrate further in while he's out here. This is that place from earlier. What's up with this app? I just said the word Sakamoto said and I ended up... Princess? Huh? Princess! Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yes, uh, Skull. This is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows. Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it! We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. Damn it! Yes! Okay, let's go. Joker! Joker! This is the intruder. Kamoshida? Who's that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> 
Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the... Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! <laughs> the girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like... totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <gasps> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is effed up. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Hey, that's... Takamaki! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh... Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! <laughs> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! Maybe I'll start with her clothes. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Takamaki! Is this... my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio... I'm so sorry. Huh? You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me. <laughs> What was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and... Shut up! I've had enough of this. You piss me off, you son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. <laughs> Tell me, who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with me. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right! No more holding back! <gasps> there you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. Not some cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. Bitch! You stole everything from Shiko. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! How dare you deny King Kamoshida's love, you selfish lass! 
pay for this insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit! Come on, Carmen! Let's give him hell! Persona! Carmen! You did it! They've fallen flat! Finish this! Okay, guys. Let's do it! To think there would be a woman who could stand up to King Kamoshita. Outside of school, that guy's nothing but a pathetic loser. Wait! Why'd you come here, man? And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? H huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? Huh? What are you talking about? What the hell are you thinking? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. <sighs> Fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, are you okay? Well, pretty much. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now, but a lot sure did happen back there. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. Which one you want? Whichever's not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then... Here you go. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um, Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. This feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power. My persona. It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? Even you're on board with this? I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Don't worry. I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, oh, right. She can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, fine. Then it's decided. 
Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake, but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. A group like yours must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others and the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends, and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Hey, lay off the customers. So I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. Try not to bother the customers. Come on. Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. She's the head doctor over that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. What the? What is this place? Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you... I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? Not my problem. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on 
good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine. But keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not gonna take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh, I was hoping I'd get to name it. Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the Metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take, due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature. I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But 
how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year long supply of them too. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Oh yeah, uh, before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. You looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Ah, can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? Oh, you a collector? <laughs> You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. How about that? Me too. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. 
<laughs> if you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight, I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. Hmm. I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. No, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. <sighs> After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but 
Just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? Uh-huh. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. I hope you all understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. But damn! Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you, too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume... I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... What do you think? Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. All right. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned! Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities, we will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. Ah. How impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. 
Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. All right. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker! So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. Ugh, the hell is this room? There are tons of pictures of Suzui in here. Wait, it's all pics of her? Yeah, definitely. I feel even more motivated to do this now. I'm sure it'll feel awful, but we should search this room. There has to be something in here if he was hiding it with such an elaborate trick. Is this... a medal? size and that shape I think that's our key remember that round indentation we saw back near those bars wait there's something under the metal too oh, it's a different map from the one we have this is lucky let's take it with us aha our maps complete now so is it gonna tell us where the treasure is yeah look it has to be here that's a weird-shaped building. Could it be a tower or something? Considering our current position, I'd say we're about halfway there. All right, let's hurry over there. No. Now that we know how much we have left, we can calculate the best way to pace ourselves. Let's keep exploring, but take breaks when you need to, Joker. Oh, what is this place? Holy shit! That treasure thing's gotta be in here! Hey, what is this? It's floating in the air. <laughs> That's the treasure. We finally found it! Just hold on a second. I was planning on telling you more once we made it this far. Simply finding the treasure isn't enough. We'll need to make it materialize before we can steal it. What do you mean? Desires have no physical form by nature. Hence, we'll first need to make the real person aware that their desires are in fact a treasure. Once they're conscious that their desires might be stolen, the treasure will finally show itself. But how do we do that? We warn them. Tell them, we are going to steal your heart. 
So we're gonna send a calling card? Oh, that's totally what a phantom thief would do! Once we do that, the treasure will appear for certain. Uh, I think. That again? Either way, sounds like it's worth giving it a shot. Our infiltration route is secure. All that's left now is to pump out a calling card in reality, then come back to take the treasure. This is it, huh? That's the spirit. Once we send out the calling card, there will be no turning back. Just let me know when you're ready. We'll head back to the hideout and send out that calling card. All right. All that's left now is to send out the calling card and take Kamoshida's heart. Couldn't we have just sent one at the beginning of all this? It's not that simple. A treasure won't stay materialized forever. Once the impression is gone, the treasure will disappear. I think it'll last around a day at most. The hell? That's like no time at all. Anyways, we can send a calling card right now, yeah? Let's do it and steal that bastard's heart. Tomorrow's finally the day. So we send the calling card in the morning, and carry out the plan by the end of the day, right? Correct. The effect won't last that long. Are you worried? <laughs> Waited too long. Perfect. We're going to pull this off no matter what. So, who's going to write the card? Leave it to me! Why? Why? Why wouldn't it be me? This is important. Are you sure you can handle the pressure? I must agree. I really want to get him good. Let me write it. Uh, come on, please. Yeah, I got this. Hey, are you sure about this? If they find out our identities, all this work will be for nothing. I know, I know. All right then. Tomorrow it is. You better not slack off on this. A calling card? I heard it was already posted by the time everyone got here this morning. Sir Suguru Kamoshida, the utter bastard of lust. We know how shitty you are, and that you put your twisted desires on students that can't fight back. That's why we have decided to steal away those desires and make you confess your sins. This will be done tomorrow, so we hope you will be ready. From the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Wow. Not bad, huh? I looked up a bunch of similar stuff online for reference. Um, yeah. I know what you wanted to say, but it sounded like an idiot trying to be an adult. Your logo's a little lacking, too. Okay, you know what? That ain't true. Did Mr. Kamashita do something wrong? Does this mean the rumors are true? Wait a sec. Is someone gonna take something from Mr. Kamashita? What's with this weird logo? And who are these Phantom Thieves of Hearts people? It got everyone excited, so it's all good, yeah? Who's responsible for this? Look at that. A predictable reaction for someone who knows what we mean by distorted desires. I think it's hitting him pretty hard. Did you do this, or was it you? Was it you two? Garbage. <laughs> it's not a problem. You'll be expelled soon enough anyway. Come, steal it if you can. Judging from Kamoshida's response, I'm sure we had an effect on his palace. Does that mean the treasure's appeared? We'll be able to get it today, right? It's not just today. It's only today. The impact of seeing a calling card doesn't last long. And it cannot be repeated. This will be our one chance to steal the treasure. One day's more than enough for us. Treasure is a beast!
weird! Man, it's huge! What do you think? It's just as I said. Now we can steal it! Oh, the shine brings tears to my eyes! It kind of pisses me off. Why is it so pretty? Isn't this Kamoshida's desires? T treasure Uh, the cat's acting awfully excited. What's wrong? Is something... That's enough, you stupid cat. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Forgive me for displaying such an insolent sight in front of a lady. You were completely out of character, too. What was that about? I couldn't stop it either. To think I'd be drawn to human desires this much. <gasps> Doesn't that prove that I'm human? How should we know? Uh, anyway. You guys need to carry it! All you do is bark orders. Still, that was easier than I thought. I thought for sure there'd be some insane trap or something. This palace will disappear if we take this back, right? And Kamoshida will change, too. That should be the case. Good. Now's our chance, then. It's... heavy. To think it'd go so well. I've even found three Persona users in the process. My judgment was correct. I made the right choice in making a deal with you. <laughs> All right. Go, go, let's go, Kamoshida! <laughs> I will let anyone take this. This proves that I am the king of this castle. It is the core of this world. That rat bastard. That's how he sees me, isn't it? Yo, pervert! Will you wait to ambush us? I just made it easier to find you. I'll dispose of you myself. Right here, right now. That's our line, you sexually harassing D-bag! What a selfish misunderstanding. How is it a misunderstanding? You were doing things that you kept in secret from others! The people around me were the ones who kept it secret. Adults who want to share in my accomplishments. Students who have the drive to become winners. They willingly protect me, so that we all may profit from it. Profit? There are too many imbeciles who don't understand that. Including naive brats like you and that girl who tried to kill herself. True, she's a total idiot. Letting you manipulate her, trying to commit suicide. I'm even more of a dumbass for not realizing that. No matter what kind of fool someone might be, they don't need your permission to live their lives! Drop the attitude, you mediocre peasant. There is no wrong in using my gifts for my gain. I'm a cut above all other humans. Above? You mean beneath? You're a goddamn demon obsessed with your sick desires! <laughs> That's right. I'm not like you. I, demon, who rules this world? What the hell? <laughs>
Goddamn you, good shitty brats! Haven't you been taught not to point to people? Huh? Look! The treasure's over there! We should catch him off guard and steal it! Let's attack him and wait for that opportunity! You dare strike me! Eating one of those things in the trophy? Then we should destroy that first. <laughs> you don't know what this is for, so stop touching it. Don't do it anymore. Got it? I'm warned. When someone tells us not to do something, it makes us want to do it even more. Persona! From when I was a national! Alright! You think you can get away with doing such a thing? Do you realize who I am? I am Kamashita! Don't you get it? Bullshit! I am above everything in this castle! I'm the king here! I always saw you as a condescending hotshot, but right now, you're just a pathetic loser. We came all this way to steal that. Will you just give it up and hand it over? Silence! I will let the lights of you have this! You still have the energy to say things like that? Then we're going to up our game as well! Do it! Kamoshida, I, I have it right here. Slow, Mishima. Mishima? Oh, wait, what? Why is he here? Calm down. That's only Kamoshida's cognitive version of him. It's not the real Mishima. Good Mishima, now pass to me. Don't tell me you can't even do something as simple as that. Uh, here goes. Oh, I'm afraid of us! You! I can't go all out in the shit of the night like that. Hey, ship for brains! Get off my court! No, I'm sorry, King Kamoshida! Then Slade, get out of here! Hurry up with my damn ball! King Kamoshida! I've brought you your ball, just like you asked. Now, there's a good girl today. Yeah, all women should obey my orders like this. Ain't that right, sweetheart? No way! What's Shiho doing here? Panther, calm down. That's not the real one. Yeah, you're right. But this is just... Dipped. Even Suzui, too. You've gone too far, you piece of shit! Oh, I get it! You wanna see my kill shot again, don't you? What do we do? Alright, let's 
Let's do this! Persona! Ravage them! Looks like I'll have to give her some special instruction later. One on one! Kamoshida, I'll never forgive you! Sorry, Suzui. I swear we'll beat that bastard's ass. We won't get anywhere with brute force. Sona! Keep him busy! There! Leveled up. Uh. What's wrong? Not running away? Why don't you run? Aren't you a great athlete? It's always been like this. All those goddamn hyenas forcing their expectations on me! I'm doing this all for them! What's wrong about demanding a reward for that? Now you're making excuses? We'll do something about that distorted heart of yours. <sighs> Scared? Right now? You're seeing the same view that Shiho did. I'm sure she was scared too. Except she had no choice but to jump. What will you do? Will you jump? Or would you rather die here? Do you want to finish him off? It's your call. No, please wait. I beg you. Just forgive me! Shut up. I bet everyone told you the same. But you... You took everything from them! No! I... I accept defeat. You want this? Take it! Go ahead and finish me off. You do that, and my real self will go down too. You have that right, since you've won. <laughs> On! If his mind shuts down, he can't admit his crimes. You're kind, Lady On. I've lost. You're through when you lose. What am I... What am I supposed to do now? Alright. I will leave now and return to my real self. Just so you know, we don't have time to waste. This place is about to collapse. Go there anymore. What about the treasure? What the? A medal? Wait, where'd that crown go? What's going on? It means that was the source of Kamoshida's desires. To him, 
This medal is worth as much as that crown we saw in the palace. An Olympic medal. So, that perv kept clinging to his past glory and couldn't let it go. But... This means that Kamoshida's heart might have changed, right? Probably. Our expulsion's on the line here! This is the first successful example for me, too. However, there's no doubt that this has affected Kamoshida's personality quite a lot. The entire palace disappeared, after all. Uh, I feel all antsy. Ain't there a way to check now? We'll just have to wait and see Kamoshida's next move. Come on, why the gloomy faces? Be happy! We completed this with great success, you know. We just don't know if everything's okay yet. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Remember how Kamoshida's shadow said that he's returning to his self in reality? We all know Suguru Kamoshida is scum. Still, he did seem to regain his conscience somewhat before he disappeared. There are definitely those who have been saved thanks to what you've done. Yeah. Anyways, I guess we gotta wait. It all boils down to what's gonna happen to Kamoshida. Or if we're getting expelled for real. Yeah. Let's go. Have you seen Kamoshida? You really think he changed? Well, yeah. Oh, perfect timing. Study hall will be held instead of PE today. I'm letting you know just in case you haven't heard. Mr. Kamoshida has taken the day off. He ain't here? Don't tell anyone that you heard this from me. But we received word that Mr. Kamoshida is placing himself under suspension. It's such an important time before the tournament, too. Principal Kobayakawa went to talk to him about it, but he supposedly wasn't making any sense. Wait, a suspension? Not so loud. The talks about your expulsions may be put on hold, too. I don't know too much about it, though. Anyway, I've relayed what's going on to you. Looks like something happened. At least it sounds different from a mental shutdown. I guess all we can do is wait. What's with the sudden morning assembly? I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got canceled though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs> Let's begin this school-wide morning assembly. As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through. But it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... <laughs> Mr. Kamashita, what's the... I... have been reborn. That is why I will confess everything to you all. Huh? What's wrong with Mr. Kamoshida? What's this about? Confess? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. Verbally abusing students, physically abusing my team, and sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shiho Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual harassment? What? Why would he oh, say that himself? Uh, he is Volleyball the team? worst. Really? Physical abuse? I thought of the school as my own castle. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, 
and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. What? Did he just say that? I kill himself? Mr. Kamoshida is, uh, not well. Mr. Kamoshida, please died. get off the stage for now. Everyone, return to your classes. I... Don't run, you bastard! Shiho's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die! You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. I did horrible things to Takamaki-san as well, in return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team. I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Ugh, for a position on the team? Feels so That's bad. Horrible. So the rumors weren't true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get wow. arrested? This morning's assembly is over! Return to your classes immediately! Isn't this just like what that calling card said? Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? Maybe because it almost got leaked? Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? I wonder what happened. Who knows? <laughs> But man, Kamashita turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to happen this to the ball? No this now? is gonna be a big Return to your classrooms at once! His heart really did change. Seems like it. But was this really for the best? Yeah, it's gotta be. But things are happening way too fast. Huh? What the... Takamaki-san, I'm sorry. Huh? We all knew, but we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. I didn't know at all. Oh, Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey, you there! Return to class at once! Well, see you later then. I can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. For real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did.
she, uh, she... She told me she was sorry. Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. Kamoshida's at fault for all this. I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide? People will label her after that. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize himself. You're so kind, Lady An. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? Huh? That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life. You know, I just believe there are fates worse than death. Holy shit. Uh, anyways, that's all settled. But, you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone. Wanna check it out? Not right now. We better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamoshida. Then again, it's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. Yeah, about that, weird rumors about you guys are already going around. Stuff like you got together and threatened Kamoshida with something close to physical violence. The hell? People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist calling cards being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. Hmm. Makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. Anyways, let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Ooh, got a hit! Wait, 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? Interest my ass! I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Ah, uh, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. You good with that? We can eat something like that whenever we want. I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later then. When should we go? Want to do it soon, like tomorrow? Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Then, uh, the 5th, on Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. <laughs> Sorry I kind of pressured you into doing this. And now to our next topic. Fall from Grace, the story of a dishonored Olympic medalist. Just recently, a high school coach confessed at an assembly that he had been repeatedly abusing students. Given his prior Olympic achievements, this has caused quite a stir. 
What caused this habitual offender to suddenly confess these heinous crimes to his entire school? The police are hoping that the upcoming interrogations will bring light to this question. Isn't this... My friends would come back from practice with bruises all the time. It was scary, but I'm relieved that the abuse is finally going to end now. He would touch me and stuff all the time. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that sexual harassment anymore. There were always rumors, sure. Not many people believed them, though. Like, I'm totally shocked they were actually true. At least now I can go to school without worrying. I knew it. This is your school, isn't it? Huh. Things might be getting turbulent at school, but you need to just keep your head down, all right? More importantly, keep those hands moving. I've got some more stuff I need you to do. Make sure to do the dishes. Just do it. Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, what, no. <laughs> Not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. about Kamoshida. It's getting a lot of coverage. I'm still not sure about that. The reaction's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just surprised. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now! This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late! Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? Huh? Why? Oh, I get it. It's because you sold it for a lot more than we were expecting, isn't it? You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow. Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Ooh, tuna, sea urchin, and maybe even salmon roe. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Anne chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got them pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like, 
the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... <gasps> this place has a time limit! Oh crap! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Oh, man. God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake. So happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. B beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Leave it all to me. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Ooh, look! There's the fish! I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm. Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope you didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Oh. Up close, it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant, sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamashita got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. 
It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Whoa, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Rice is incredible! It's the cornerstone of every great meal! Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any... I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty! He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. I don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on, but it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. brought a ton back. What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? <laughs> you say that, but you brought tons of food back. Well, I guess if you don't want it, I'll just... Hands off! I'll eat it all later! Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... Knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Oh, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. Oh yeah. This is a victory... for all of us. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking palace? Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. 
I don't want to hear about sour stuff. <laughs> uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you! What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the...? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. What the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. Wrong. You sure? You're not looking so hot. It's probably because he never eats well. I'm always stuck with canned cat food, too. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry, I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah, thanks though. But the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, 
I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? But that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? No objections here. I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. <gasps> How about the diamonds? <laughs> getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilé? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Oh no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. Rookie. We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some big wig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves Organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. 
If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual, a master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Madarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate! You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. I shall explain it to you now. You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, inmate. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. It seems the rehabilitation is going well. This is a truly joyous occasion. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. The time has come. Return to your brief moments of rest. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. Like you heard last week, gym class is canceled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. That's all. The police are still investigating Mr. Kamoshida, so I can't say anything myself. As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not defending him, but as a colleague, he just seemed like... Well, a normal person. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real. I guess people can have multiple sides to them. The teachers have it rough, huh? Oh yeah, I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities hidden in their subconscious. Different personalities? Oh, to be clear, I'm not talking about multiple personality disorder. These different personalities can be a different gender or a different age from you. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based on the human image. If you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. Mm hmm. Hmm? You all seem more alert than usual. Did I finally talk about something that interests you? Well, I'm just saying what I've heard. It feels like I just now understood what I learned long ago. All right. It ain't much, but we've been getting more postings on the Phantom Aficionado website. 
I want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff I lent him. Ugh, deal with that yourself! Hey, those girls. You know that Phantom Thieves rumor about stealing Kamoshida's heart? I wonder if it's true. It's gotta be made up. Do you seriously believe they exist? But look what happened to Kamoshida. He probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. Yeah, you might be right. I guess there's no way they really exist. Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is going to be known for stuff like this. I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. That's probably a normal reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. If we can take care of two or three famous guys, people will have to believe we exist. So about those big shots, we don't have any leads yet, right? Plus, there's that rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida, too. Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, alright? I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Excuse me. Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamoshida-kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamoshida to change? That is what I wish to know, even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamoshida, but do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young, yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Yes, if you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm-hmm, of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be able to update you soon. Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time. Are you listening? Hey, have you seen that Phantom Aficionado website? I'm the one who started it. 
Um, you guys are the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? Sorry. Although, if things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. Kamoshida used me, and I did some horrible things to you guys. This isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I'm glad to hear that. It's not just Kamoshida. There are tons of evil adults out there. But I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll on the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I want to work on this forum so eventually it'll be packed with tons of supportive posts. I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? <laughs> in that case, I'll just do what I want. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the moon persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. See you. We heard all that. Jeez, it was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. So that forum is Mishima-kun's. Has he figured out our identities? Even so, I think it'll be fine. He seemed to be playing it cool. I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say, though, a forum where people can post problems may prove unexpectedly useful. Anyways, we gotta get looking for a new target. And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Once we do, we'll have to head into another palace. So we should prep our equipment and... Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's with you? Don't we have an exam coming up? Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time, too. It's not like you're any better. All you're good at is English! I'd rather that than be bad at every subject. Even your Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuji. What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> Good comeback, huh? Let's discuss this with our fists. Bring it. Will you two stop it? How have things been? You know, with the special activities. <sighs> Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I, uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. The Phantom Thieves Aficionado website. Fan site for short. You need a catchy name if you want people to notice you. This is all a bit of P Thieves propaganda. Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? Really? Just hearing you say that makes my all-nighters worth it. 
So actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. I... I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. I knew you'd understand. Anyway, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> I've gotta say, though, managing the Phantom Thieves reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. All right. I might be overworking myself, though. Man, I'm exhausted. I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. See you later. Ever since that specific incident, Many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital, so we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Whoa. Isn't he hot? <laughs> it's nice to meet you all. Whoa, his voice is sexy. My name is... Huh? My name is Takato Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. <laughs> no need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. Call me Doc, if that would help you feel more comfortable. Any assistance you need, I'll be... Oh. I guess I'm not really any good for helping with money problems. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Maruki. Yo. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our schools made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. uh... Dr. what's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? Are you G? Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... You know our names. Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. You're quite the tough youngster. Just don't overdo it, okay? So, what do you want with us? 
Ah, yes. I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah. But if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat. Would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Hey! Don't fall for that! To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know! If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like, ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... There's also snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay. I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name! I am thou. That it shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. All right. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. So sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today is the last day of exams. <laughs> Staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Oh, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Am I imagining things? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's... nothing. Hmm? Huh? <laughs>
It's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? Whoa, hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world! Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? 
This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart too. Were you related to those as well? Hmm, I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. It's over. How about you? Come on, you two need to get your act together. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Madarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Hmm. Aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled then. Just the phrase, going to an art exhibit, sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. It's so crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, alright? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be alright? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say? What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs>
Wasn't the word shack something? Matarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Hey, stop pushing! Ugh, there's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei! Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than... this one. Come now, this way. Hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal! I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh. Yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing! Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Phantom Thieves going by train. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? 
Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty! Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Wowie! Again! Again! <laughs> That's so funny! I want to hear it again! Oh, I just threw open my mouth. Oh, seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya, doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. So, which line do we gotta transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Hmm. Hey. Don't you think we should hurry? Mashida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it, just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Madarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? 
Yusuke! What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors! Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app! Was it picking up our conversation? This display... It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would've figured it out once he started walking on two legs. <sighs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that! Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant, to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality, too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. 
It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! <sighs> I'll just add this. Suspicious. Oh. I can see it. Hey. Hmm? This doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Alright, 
Let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. You're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, oh, this might be tougher than Kamashita. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what! Give Madarame, but what on set made me think to Yusuke, 
Are we just a bunch of thugs? Do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? Oh yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got all the Mishima today? suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Does something seem different about her to you? Nice eye. I didn't cut them. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous, too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. Is 
It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again... In that painting I saw at the exhibit, you're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> hitogo kun then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. <laughs> I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? 
Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! Dare that Yusuke. The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On. You're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Oh, yeah. It might not show your face. That doesn't make me feel any better about it! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Madarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. 
Yo! We're about to head to the hideout, too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak! Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time too. 
I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Hey, wait a second! You're just gonna ignore that golden sheen? Hmm. Look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to... Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Oh no, I tripped the security. Ah, you were the one making us be careful too. So, what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on! Joker's not trapped! Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Whoa! The hell? Are these infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them! This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious, as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, right! There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go! supposed to get past that door I don't know you think there's some kind of off switch somewhere looks like this is where I come in Mona I have a suspicious place in mind remember this shack is the basis for Madarame's palace I actually scouted it out the last time we were here oh so this was your plan from the start correct you only went scouting because you were bored. So? Where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we forced ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is 
Having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? Why can't one of you guys go nude? It ain't what he wants. Then make it so he does! All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down! I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open, got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. Alright, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know, just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? On, Morgana, we're counting on you. Me and him are banned from going there, so all we can do is wait here. No, you two have something different you'll need to do. What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um... I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! What was that? Oh, no! It was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? You think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. So then, can you, um, get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <sighs> oh. Phew, that was tight. Tight? No, oh, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei's coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? <sighs> But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... 
You were wearing all this? Don't you think it's cool today? <laughs> I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh, that's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. What kind of poses? Radeon, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait! I'm counting on you, Mona. Are they seriously gonna be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? Yeah. It's almost time. Please, uh, can you just wait and... What's past here? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere like... Quiet! <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused! Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Hitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine, this is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home! S sensei Yusuke? Alright, it's open! Huh? What are you doing there? It's... it's not what it looks like! What? Not in there! Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's... Hmm? It's off! They seriously did it! 
Yeah, for real. Let's go. Takamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Ah. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I... needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On! This one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No. It's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei. Don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You could talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! Yeah, let's go! Hey, look! All right! Whoa! All right! I hope those two manage to get away.
Hey! Will you let go already? Oh no! I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up! Who are you all? Uh, calm down, Kitagawa-kun! It's me! Kamaki-san? That means you two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We're inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of rotten crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! <sighs> no, it's all right. We need to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. So this is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? Ah, uh, this painting! Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Madarame saw as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and, uh, we found yours, too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. The exit is right there! <laughs> Who is it? What the? <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... this is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. Hmm. Such insincerity. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The value of art is purely illusion. 
What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You help me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable limitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come! Go him on! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! This is impressive! Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes. I will bring you to justice! Very well, bring it on! You are in the presence of Lord Marwame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, 
I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist! Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But... Who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, Deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I've been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But, we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the Phantom Thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> don't tell me. Oh, crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words. Especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame, Sensei. With Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join. As a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun. It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. 
I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Thank you. I ask that you coach me well. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Matarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. <sighs> right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then, if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. He's gay. We still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? <laughs> yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. Please elaborate. Okay, let's start from the beginning. First, the metaverse spots where we act as the Phantom Thieves are called palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition. A materialization of their reality. So, do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? No, not just anyone will have one. It's primarily those with strong, distorted desires. They basically gotta be criminals. Real bastards like Kamoshida or Matarame. On the other hand, palaces can't exist within Persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Basically, your Persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from accepting your inner shadow. Then, since you have full control over your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. S so that's how it works. Uh, obviously. I, I knew that. Oh yeah, and we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. Location? Uh, so like, Matarame's would be Shaq. Then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? That part's kind of like a quiz or something. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out, too. Hmm. I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Thinking back to Matarame, though, I can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He is most likely quite serious about that. What should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. He likely won't act on that threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his exhibition. Alright, so we just gotta steal Matarame's heart by then? There's no way we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. Oh yeah. We haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. Hell yeah! 
That really leaves an impression. Are you talking about me? What do you want your name over here to be? I'd say Da Vinci. Nope. Well, you've got that mask like On said, and there's that weird tail. All right, you're Abu Rage. <laughs> Very well. He's agreed to it? It's decided then. Abu Rage. Nuh uh, not happening. Do you have any ideas, Joker? Oh, just keep it literal, huh? Sounds good to me. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set then. Let's go. By the way, we should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on out. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who'll be going in first? Yeah. Now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. We'll stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. Anyone else can be backup. And I guess we always gotta have our leader with us, right? Exactly. That's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No. They should come in as well, but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. Well, we'll leave the team composition to you, Joker. Hey, there's a strong-looking one over there. We've seen that kind before. His stance conveys the notion that he is no ordinary foe. I think the control room's behind him. He's probably guarding it to make sure nobody gets too close. However, We'll need to disarm the security if we want to ensure we have a safe infiltration route. Forcing our way through seems to be our only option. Is this another portal to an unknown destination? We don't have time to lose. Just go through it. Now's our chance. For real? But I guess there's no other way. Is this the courtyard? I knew it. All that security would have been meaningless if it just led back inside. It seems we managed to escape their siege. Dude, why is Mona getting excited now of all times? I just can't take it anymore. Let's take a look at this treasure. Treasure! Huh? This is the treasure? Get back! Whoa! Meddlesome vermin. Is this what you're looking for? How dare you try to trap me like some kind of mouse! So you had a fake prep, huh? Counterfeits are accepted in the world of Japanese art. What made you change like this? Is it because you became famous? Can't you understand how much it pains me to inquire about the crimes of my foster father? Now that I think back, the only reason why I took you in was due to my ties with your mother. That woman never lost her passion for painting even after her husband died. Her skills and talents were quite astonishing. That's why I decided to look after her. Your mother and the artwork she created. They're all my works of art! How low can you sink? I suppose I can grant you a gift before you die. A glimpse of the genuine Sayuri. Genuine? That's... the real Sayuri? This can't be. Mob. Huh? Indeed it is. This was painted by your mother. It's a portrait of herself. A woman who knew her death was coming painted her last wishes for the son she would leave behind. That is the truth behind the mystery of Sayuri's expression. 
You stole something that personal? I knew at first glance. I knew it'd be a huge success if I added a touch to the painting and announced it under my name. But the baby in the picture... Why did you paint over it? It was all to stage it. If the babe is erased, the reason for the woman's expression will become a mystery. That is what the general public is drawn to. Each of those parasitic critics wrote the same thing. I always felt something was off about all this. Now I know what it is. If you really treasured that painting, you wouldn't even think about replicating it for profit. You don't love art at all! Though you have a real treasure, your true skills are nothing more than those scribbles on that fake! It makes me laugh, asshole! So you'll defy me no matter what? Well then, since you're my work of art, Yusuke, I'm going to reap you for the sake of my future. Along with those insolent friends of yours there. I can't believe you're treating both mother and son like they're objects. You're inhuman! Fox? I've heard that you destroy your art once they outlive their usefulness. Did that include my mother as well? She just so happened to have a seizure in front of me. That's when a thought crossed my mind. If I don't call for help and leave her be, I could obtain her painting without any strings attached. No. You let her die? She was physically weak. No one would doubt if she just dropped dead because of a seizure. Above all, Yusuke, didn't you think it was odd that I discovered your talent when you were only three? The reason why I kept you around was to keep you from realizing the truth behind Sayori! You killed her. The artistic talents you inherited from your mother were a delightful miscalculation, though. If I'm to steal ideas, it's much easier robbing the future of brats who won't talk back than adults. It's thanks to you that I came up with the idea. You have my gratitude. <laughs> Yusuke? I thank you, Madarame. Every reason for me to forgive you has disappeared without a trace at this very moment. You aren't some rotten artist. You're a despicable fiend who wears the skin of an artist! All you good-for-nothings barging into my museum and doing whatever the hell you want! make the rules. Those who don't, follow them. Not to mention, the value of art is all subjective. I make the rules of the art scene. I am the supreme being. I am the god of the art world. This isn't good. Get back. <laughs> Let's begin, you vermin! You use others for your own despicable desires, Madarame. You aren't even worth the art you create! Joker, don't lose focus. Let's go. There's no telling what I'll try! By the myriad truths! <laughs> I'm the great Manorame! The Manorame who gathers a full crowd every time he opens an exhibit! I'm not someone that worthless brats like you are allowed to defy! Enough of your egotistic ranting! 
taste the wrath of all those you preyed upon. Do it! I'm the great artist, Madarame! If you brats can't fathom that, then you'll witness it for yourselves! Behold, my master crowd! Copies of himself? <laughs> I see. Creating duplicates is his specialty. Persona! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Stop it, you brats! Or else. You think we'll be daunted by such threats? This skill soon. <sighs> no one cares for true art. All they want are easily recognizable brands. I'm a victim in this too. Wouldn't you agree? Excuses now? The art world revolves around money after all. You can't rise up without any money. Yusuke, you understand, don't you? Being a poor artist is truly miserable. I just didn't want to return to that life! A fiend like you has no right to speak about the world of art. You're done for. Along with this whole wretched world! <sighs> no, please! Just don't kill me! <coughs> Return to yourself in reality and confess your crimes. All of them. You're not going to kill me? Swear it! <laughs> All right! All right! What about the other one, though? The one with the black mask? Huh? I don't have any energy left to pull such petty tricks. A black mask? Wait, who's he talking about? It can't be. There was another intruder besides us within this palace? There's no time! Hurry! Get on! Hey, Yusuke! What should I do? Put an end to all this and use your own artwork for once. Yusuke! No, wait, please! Yusuke! Yusuke! The destination has been deleted. It would be bad if people started getting suspicious of us. We should leave at once. Yusuke, come on! Right. Goodbye, Sensei. I guess the mission was a success. All that's left is to see if he had a change of heart or not. Ah, oh, so bitter! Why'd you get it black? The Sayuri. You're not gonna get all teary-eyed and say stuff like, Mom, are ya? To think that this painting was the source of Madarame's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what transpired. The genuine painting at his atelier has been altered after all. Ironic as it may be, this one here is her true self-portrait now. It's a wonderful painting. And although it took some time, it's in your hands now, Yusuke. I'm thankful for it. However, it's impossible for this painting to be acknowledged by society anymore.
You may be right. Seeing my mother's expression here, it's doubtful that she would have wished for fame. So, this is my mother. There's no way that I would remember her face clearly, but I was right about the rush of emotion I felt when I saw this painting. Stop that! You're so vulgar, Ryuji. So, what are you gonna do now? We're gonna keep targeting big shots. Why do you do such things? It's to get back at scumbags and, like, society in general. I also want to give courage to the people that are suffering because of selfish adults. Courage, huh? What good does that do? You mean the courage to stand up for themselves, correct? Will acquiring that make them happy? Right. There's no knowing that. We just have to give it a try. In other words, it all depends on the person, hmm? And the same can be said about myself right now. I also suffered because of an adult selfish act. Moreover, if we investigate these palaces, it may expand my artistic repertoire. You really only think about art, huh? You're impressive. Well, I won't take part in any inelegant plans, all right? No worries, I've got us covered. Plus, we have a rule that says we always have to decide on a target unanimously. How about it, Joker? We can give our calling cards a lot more oomph if we have Yusuke on our team. I will try and live up to those expectations. At any rate, I'm curious. Another intruder besides us, huh? Our only clue is a black mask, so that doesn't necessarily mean it's just one person, right? But there's no way to check anymore. The palace is gone. I'll try probing Matarame. I may be able to learn something from him. Are you sure? I mean... I'll contact you all if anything turns up. We should probably exchange our contact info with you then. An artist and a phantom thief. Well, it seems I'll be engaging in two trades from here on. Very well. You only live once, after all. Still, the incident about this other intruder does concern me a little. Not only have we dealt with our second big target, we even have a new addition to the team. Goodness, things are going so well! If only I could make a certain stupid Ryuji learn from you. But I have to say, you sure are something special. This is our fifth Persona user. It'll help broaden our battle strategies as well. Besides, having an eye for beauty is a must for Phantom Thieves. We're lucky to have Yusuke. An artist is a talent you rarely come across. I mean, he is a bit strange, but still. An artist, huh? What kind of person do you think I was? There's no way I'd turn out to be some bad guy in the end, right? I get so engrossed with the embodiment of human desires. And that's not all. When it comes to the metaverse, I'm the only one who can transform into a car. I'm special, but it's still odd. Who could I actually be? Will you give it a rest? That's definitely not the case. <sighs> What a half-assed answer. Well, there's no way a dashing, honorable rogue like me could be evil. A man who saves those in trouble in the West, while punishing evildoers who may lurk in the East. A man who chastises people that smoke inside in the South, while saving bullied cats in the North. A man who has a sturdy body, and vows to always do one good deed a day, be it rain or shine. I'm that kind of ideal person. Or... So I hope. So if I turn back to being human, surely she'll take notice of me, won't she? Well, that's true, but... <sighs> where should I go when I become human? I wonder where she'd like to go. An amusement park. 
A movie theater. A fancy cafe. Shopping. What do you think? You have expelled one who was stained in vanity. You are now one step closer to your rehabilitation. It's a delightful thing indeed. Our master is pleased. You should be honored, inmate. However, that man's remarks are concerning. It seems another has made their way into the metaverse. That is beyond my knowledge. But your rehabilitation is progressing smoothly. That is for certain. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. It's Kitagawa. I'm calling about Madarame's state. For the time being, he hasn't suffered a mental shutdown. Other than that, his demeanor seems to have softened a bit. Is that the change of heart? I see. I was curious and looked into Kamoshida as well. It's as if he was an entirely different person. Will the same be true for Sensei? I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's all I wanted to tell you. Good... Oh. I'll try asking him about the Black Masked Intruder from the palace when the time is right. Goodbye then. This time for sure. We meet again. It appears you're lying low lately. What's with the change? Don't worry about it. It must have been my imagination. Anyway, I wish the culprit would come forward soon. It's absurd to pretend I can do the police's job. I wish he considered my feelings before asking me this. Hey, there you are! I need your help with something. I, uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Housekeeping service. It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. A maid, dude. A maid! Who'll do anything for us? Right? Right? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. The place is all set, so... Hey, I heard that! What the hell? Um, can I, uh, get in on this? Oh, you mean you're into this kind of stuff? Wow, okay! I'm not into it. It's just for research. What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. I just want to punish the bad guys. And in order to do that, I have to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Every little detail. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. So what's the code name for this operation? Hmm. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like... Operation Maid Watch! <laughs> nice! I like that. So, oh, this is your room, huh? Hmm, how do I put this? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? 
the way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. And in exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? Then it's a deal. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Ugh, what am I doing here with one of my students? Well, I guess I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? Well, I mean, we know each other's secret, and it would really put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh... I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just think about it, okay? You go to Shujin, right? I heard things have been rough there lately. What with that violent incident? You want to go talk about it somewhere? Thank you for your concern. However, I really am in a hurry, so if you'd excuse me... Come on, hey, there's no need to be is. shy. What the like I said... If you're busy, I'll put my number in your phone so you can call me later. Sound like a plan? Stop it. What do you want? Don't get worked up. I'm just being friendly here. Uh, what the? What are you getting so jumpy about? Like you're anything special. Sorry for the trouble. Yes, I'm fine now. It was pretty scary, though. Uh, uh, um... May I ask you something? So, what made you step in to help me? That's it? Well... I apologize for asking something so strange. You're headed to the cleanup as well, right? The cleanup? <gasps> Look at the time! I'm so sorry, I haven't even thanked you properly yet! Oh no, I forgot my gym clothes at school! I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then if you'd like. 
pardon me. Yo, what took you so long? Did you really come here from home in your gym clothes? It must be so nice to be a guy. Huh? Ain't it normal? And, uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit? Of course not! I brought my gym clothes with me. I was gonna change in the bathroom, but now there's a huge line. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. It's such a nice day out that even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude. Could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? I bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. Hey. Morning, everyone. Huh? Are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. Uh, in those clothes? Oh, no. I'm in a difference. There you are, Dr. Maroki. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. See you all later. Hmm. I can't remember if I brought any like starchy terrible. vegetables. More like Dr. Popular. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will be even bigger someday. Good morning, Shujin Academy students and staff. Pick up all trash located in the areas assigned to your group. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork and vegetables will be served. Ooh, pork miso soup! So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. They're four people apiece, boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your groups and head to your assigned areas. Alright, let's just get this over with as fast as possible, so we can chow down on that soup and get out of here. Hey, that guy? Yeah, him. Is he that transfer student? Yeah. You mean the one in all the crazy rumors? Keep it down. What if he hears us? Ugh. Anyone who just dumps a broken umbrella on the ground like this is human garbage. Oh, before you trash it, you have to make sure you separate the plastic parts from the metal frame. Separate it? How? Like this. Whoa, awesome! I had no idea you knew about that kind of stuff, Takamaki-san. I bet you'd make a wonderful wife. Oh, nah. Sweet, a wallet. Anything in it? Whoa, yeah, shit ton. We go in splitsies on this? Wait, shouldn't we take that to a police box? What? How was that weird? Man, this park is trash. No way this was all done by kids. It's gotta be the work of some no-good adults, too. If you don't mind, may I have the cap on that bottle? Huh? Uh, sure. Oh, are you a collector? Uh, not exactly. Recycling companies collect these and convert them into vials for vaccines. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, that sounds like an awesome way to bring more justice to the world. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I follow you. Before I add taro to the pots, I have to rub them with salt to reduce the sliminess. Oh, you're an amazing chef. I do cook pretty often at home. Let me try this little technique here. Why is the wind salty? Uh, sorry. The cleanup is officially complete. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. 
Would the leader of each group please come and get the soup for their teams? So, after the soup's doled out, everyone's free to do whatever they want. Huh, including getting the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. I don't know the best way to put it, but that sure was a crappy time out there. Oh! I finally found you. I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? Ah, I see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's alright with you, why don't we eat our soup together? Great! Thanks for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. Yes! There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, 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 oh. the delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you too. Yes, people are discussing all sorts of things about you behind your back. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant tusk trafficking, was it? <laughs> Even I can tell you're joking. Hmm? You know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Oh. I'm sorry to make you go first. I apologize this was such a long time coming, but I hope we can get along well. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my... What the hell just happened? Huh, look. Got it, just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Oshizawa, a first year. You mean that back there? Oh, it was just some basic gymnastics. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, Senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is, I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. Of course I am. I'm not looking for technical coaching, so much as just lending me an ear from time to time. I see. This sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. What do you think? Yes, sir! Wait, that 
that's a little overboard. But I promise, I'll glean as much as I can. I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Faith Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Why don't we exchange contact information? Huh? It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. <laughs> it's back! Okay, I'll contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri... How could I... I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom Thieves, huh? 
Phantom Thieves again. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Hmm? What did you say? Uh, <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, alright. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait. You mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what?! You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <laughs> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation.
So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> All right, Bull! That's a new high score! The center of the target's called the Bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the Bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Let's do this! Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening! Here it goes! Don't underestimate an ex-athlete! Hell yeah! Triple 20! Whoa! He hit such a tiny spot! Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Zero points right on the dot! Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner.
<laughs> Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh! Let's invite everybody next time! Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too! Hmm, this game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Ah! Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just wanna ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Surprise. 
It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Want me to pack a towel and change of underwear next time? Well, see you around. Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Yeah, that's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. To the student body. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us, too. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. If you say so. 
my apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Nijibis Senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? She acts all noble about it too. Nijima Senpai knew? <laughs> What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shuchin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Ugh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves absurd so let's say this rumor is true do you intend to ignore those students in trouble I your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position my expectations of you are very high I hope you don't disappoint And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. Huh? Oh, then you'd better keep listening, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Can this get any more obvious? Wow, he's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna last. <sighs> What's going on? I can't stand all this noise! Hey, asshole! My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you. 
day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. Supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. It sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. All right. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. 
Dude, it's not fair. Using your cat hood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah, it's Akechi! Oh, Kobe. he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Uh, hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun! Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do! About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Alright, let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, 
This cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe, if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Oh, you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. And... registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. Just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Who the hell are you? Huh, you sure? You look like a beginner to me. Hmm. Well, I guess you got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours. But you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. 
Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. You're not bluffing, are you, kid? <laughs> May actually make you more useful if you are. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu. With good prices for a punk like you. What do you say? Not bad, huh? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Don't talk to no one about this, got it? Just follow my orders. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Hanged Man persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, run errands, there's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was oh, some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then! If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with! Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. 
There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well... Do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean... Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? I don't have the money. Then why'd you leave? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart! Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right! It's decided! Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! <sighs> what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello! A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste! Ah! Ah! It's so bitter! Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment! I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid, either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I wanna see! It's only an attic. Oh, man! 
Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? That's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee! Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. <laughs> Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What?! Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? I knew you were gonna say that. Seriously. It's so like you. But... What else can we do? Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? What? <laughs> what my ass? You don't have any cash! Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was An, right? She's a nice girl. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around.
Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? And it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <sighs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. 
They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cough him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hmm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. 
Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer! What kind of nickname is that? Mm, I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Aw, oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. Oh, please don't! Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... Mm. Still... It's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. 
I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. What's this? It sounds like we can go further down now. It's because we made Madarame's palace disappear, right? Most likely. I think. You seem rather uncertain. How far does this mementos run, anyway? Uh... It's huge! Extremely! You're always so vague when it comes to the important stuff. It's like he's kind of flaky as our chief of operations. Don't you want him to try a bit harder, too? You didn't have to add that cat part. There, there. I don't fully understand, but mementos and the palaces are related to each other, correct? 
then all we must do is continue changing the hearts of evildoers to ascertain its full expanse. I don't believe there's a need to quarrel over it. I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? I knew you were gonna say that. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? <sighs> Why would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still... Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We are in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us! I get it! That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves! What do you say, leader? Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. Alright, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. Alright, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayuri. So, if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Ah, <sighs> the Sayori. 
It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation. But the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori, her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Nijima-kun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called Mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy, if it were to be discovered. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. 
At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. And so, I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida-kun. Please? <sighs> you don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um... Now that you mention it... Yes. So, um... What I mean is... This is going south fast. Uh, oh! Francois! Huh? Hmm? My cat Francois got run over by a car! And also has an incurable illness! I need money fast! That's not convincing at all! Is she talking about me? Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too! Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job! You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Do you have a minute? You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida. So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Nishiyama? That's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Job? Uh, are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something Ida... Wait, are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes ten minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? Please tell me about the job, or else... my beloved Francois... She's still doing that? Alright, take over for her. Uh, come on, you two? I already told you I don't know. Proof? You've gotta be lying. You can't trick me! Come on, you two? I already told you I don't know. He did? That bastard! Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? How did you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. 
Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Right. We're gonna grab them by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Hello. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Well, you aren't wrong about that. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Oh, uh... It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Mafia we're looking for. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but... It just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so... That's all. Bye. Been searching all along. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. So, we meet again. But my, what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know.
Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. We're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Yeah, no way we just happen to know someone who'd... Wait, that journalist! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Where did you learn about those kinds of things? Anyway, Shinjuku is a nightlife district full of temptation. Brace yourself. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. That's not the issue! Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now. I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide ya. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time! Is this really going to be okay? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. <laughs> oh yeah, we're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Oh, wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Unbelievable. I excuse me. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or... 
Perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Here, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. Oh, I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh. Why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. It seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal, then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing! Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, it's gonna be impossible. 
How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? I see. Candidate found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then. What location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is... All of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Is that it? in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Kaneshiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! I've been thinking lately. About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. 
It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just... really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. <laughs> we ain't got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? <sighs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. So, you're just, you're the, just good the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. We're never gonna find her. Hello, it's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them. 
Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills have come in handy. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Holy moly! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? About three million. Ah! <gasps> For reals? Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh, damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police. And I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million in by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> For real? I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. Alright, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. 
Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice? Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air. Th this is reality? <sighs> My goodness. <sighs> I I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. Reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? Well, we're about the same! Then, does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us! It's just as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue, after all. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. 
We are totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Come on, let's go. Shall we go? What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let him pass. That voice. It's Kaneshiro. Yo, banks have presidents? Yes, but not the political sorts, in theory. How many beef bowls could I eat with this? Unauthorized injury, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to 3 million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off, then? No. A loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. 10% interest a day? Um... Uh... That means... Uh, one day is... It's 300,000 yen. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight, Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are such great assets. They lack strength, be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kaneshiro! We're gonna snatch your treasure from you! Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My Citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Persona! The first squad's been taken down. Send it back up. The target is still alive. We must deal with them at any cost. Persona. them. Have they really been hired with money? We're in trouble at this rate. Let's run! Why did the security guards turn into monsters? And what were those supernatural 
powers. Could those have been the personas you mentioned? Does now really look like the time to be asking that? We need to retreat. Makoto, make sure you don't get separated from us. Hurry, Joker. The exit's just over there. There's no end to them! Guys! You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro! Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. Managing a bank is tough as it is, so it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful, if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! Huh? Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell?! A persona? No, dude. That's a bike! I can feel it. Myself. Me. Got it. Wow. Nice. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. You better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you. I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. I'll use my persona! Johanna! Persona! Now, let's get out of here! It's a step forward. We know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? 
Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. Damn. Okay, we have a path. Get in! So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. Man, talk about wild. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. Feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Cycle-shaped persona, huh? You know, I can turn into a car too, so it's like I feel a sense of familiarity. Ah, uh, no, I'm supposed to be human. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. I really am special after all. Huh? Gary? No. Take somewhere? Something just crossed my mind. And it's no use. I can't remember at all. <sighs> eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever, so we can expect great things from her. But man, you really do have something special. Looks like I better step up my game, too. All right. 
I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos, too. I'm sure Makoto's brain can... Hello? Ah. We got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Could there be some reason for it? Nah, that can't be. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. Although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway... Um... I wanted to apologize. I'm... Really sorry. For everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To Kamaki-san... I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me. And I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt. So I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm... very sorry. Hey... There is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. It felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was... Probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You were always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah! I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto... Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mmm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? Eureka! <laughs> Curious, huh? Well, I've come up with a super cool idea. Lady An will surely swoon for me if I... Sorry for the wait. So, what's up, Morgana? Uh, you were talking about me? Well... It's something I've been giving a lot of thought lately. Now that we've all gained some experience in battle, I think it'd be good for us to work on our finishers. Our finishers? Yeah. I guess if we're going to keep fighting, we ought to do it with style. Right, right? So I came up with just the idea. It's maybe my best one yet, and we can definitely pull it off if you play a part in it, Lady On. Me? Well, okay. What do you need me to do? Now that's our Lady On. Quick on the uptake. What I had in mind was... And that should do the trick. Really? So is that a no? 
Well, it's not that I don't want to. It's more like, isn't your idea sort of impossible, even in the metaverse? Huh? What was that? Sup? I never imagined that I would end up helping the Phantom Thieves. Things would get interesting if my sister ever found out. There's no time to be getting sentimental here. Yes, I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Can you teach me how to be a phantom thief? Like, about the metaverse, for example? Simply put, that world is formed of a person's cognition. There, you can change people's hearts. Yeah, I've gathered that much just from going there once. But the method of transportation still eludes me. I mean, it's a smartphone navigation app. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. After the first entry, the palace is bookmarked. You really just make it sound like an ordinary app. Aren't there any dangers associated with it? Don't worry about that. We've already been a bunch of times and... It... That's not what I mean. It's a navigation app, right? Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Has nobody thought of this before? I... Now she's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Do you know anything about it? What? I don't fully understand, but I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. From what I can tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. True. An app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. Well, Sis doesn't know who the Phantom Thieves are, so I suppose our information is safe for now. We're still learning things ourselves. I hope your sharp wit can help us with that. Thank you. I'll do my best. More importantly, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. If the public gets a hold of them... I could only imagine what would happen then. Come on, we just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Plus, people will really start admiring us if we can manage to take this bastard down. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. We have to succeed no matter what. Alright. Okay, let's go. So what am I going to be called? You all were using code names, weren't you? You're quite perceptive. This time's a hard one. Maybe something like, uh, shoulder pads? Why in the world did you focus on that? I refuse to be called that. What about Ryder? Sounds too much like a smuggler. Next. Fixer? I'm not a mastermind, though. Next. Won't you give me something better to work with? She reminds me of an empress. You got anything, Joker? Whoa, I totally see it. It fits so well that I'm at a loss for words here. Queen? It has a nice ring to it. I like it. Let's go with that. Now then, could you explain to me the strategy for this mission? Uh, strategy? You don't have one? Wait, the Phantom Thieves were acting without any plans? Uh, we pretty much look around the area. I provide navigation when needed. And then, uh... If we run into shadows, we beat the shit out of them. Very well, then. I feel like I'll be useful for sure. Seems my role is to be the brain of this team. I'll analyze Mona's information and give out orders. Any objections? None, none, Queen! I bet Skull's definitely the type that'll be under a girl's thumb. Mona, will you begin navigating us? <sighs> yes, Queen! <sighs> Him too, it seemed. Hold on a second. 
What is that? A shadow in the shape of a dog. It seems this place has its own watchdogs. Hmm. I don't like the looks of this. You mean because you're a cat? Hell no! I mean, it might be able to sniff out intruders or hunt us down super fast. But if it does end up making trouble for us, that could actually work out in our favor. We'll have a chance to finally show off our surprise finisher! Sorry to butt in. We've been spotted. when facing down an opponent like this. Panther, I think the moment's finally arrived. It's showtime! Huh? You want to do that right now? It's fine. Here we go! Fire it up! It's showtime! This is how I really feel! Thanks! But such good taste! It's right here. I don't see anything. Once we get this far, we need this calling card thing. A calling card? I see. Making the target believe that the treasure is in danger will cause it to materialize. That's quite a bold trick. Huh? She understood? Joker, we'll defer to you regarding its timing. Okay, guys. Let's get ready for the heist. The next time we enter that treasure room will be after we send out the calling card. And that kind of Shiro bastard only showed his stupid face once. That doesn't matter. As long as we steal the treasure, we'll change his heart. Then let's act as the Phantom Thieves should and send the calling card. It's on you, Joker. If you wish to train or explore further before sending it, that decision is purely yours. This is a failsafe to ensure you do not neglect your rehabilitation. It's intended to push you into performing executions. We call it a fusion alarm. It's a warning system that tells you when you've been slacking off on your duties. When you hear this sound, the first things on your mind should be this place and executions. You must become stronger for the sake of your rehabilitation. Executions will be much more severe when the alarm is sounding. The result of this is that any fused personas will be further strengthened. However, the more executions that you perform during the alarm, the higher the chance of an accident occurring. With that in mind, you must prepare more than usual while performing executions in the midst of an alarm. The alarm will sound after you've endured numerous repeated battles. Make certain you come here as soon as you hear it. Got that? Cheeky bastard! You'll return here at once without a second thought! Oh, Ryuji, hello! Ah, uh, uh, hey, hey, Makoto. Hmm? Is something wrong? Nah, nah, it, it's nothing. Well, it definitely doesn't seem like it's nothing to you. Uh, so... I I've been doing a little thinking, and, uh... How do I put it? Uh, uh, I guess I was thinking about coming up with a new move, like a uh, special tag team move kind of thing. So I got this idea while playing a video game, and um, uh, it's a move that's going to need your help. My help? Uh, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. I just saw something like it in the game and thought it looked cool. When I try to say it out loud, it seems too insane. 
Insane, huh? So, in other words, you may have come across a special attack that outclasses any of our previous moves. I... what? Why don't you tell me your idea? By the way you described it, it must be a pretty good one. Uh... all right. Just don't get mad at me, okay? I see. <laughs> so stupid, right? Yeah, I was just joking. <laughs> please, please forget what I said. That could work. Uh, yeah, that could work. <laughs> Wait, what? But if we are going to do this, we'll have to push ourselves harder than ever before. Think you can keep up? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna show them the real meaning of pain. We should probably get going now, though. I wouldn't want to make everyone else wait. Yeah. All that's left is the calling card, right? We should send it. I would agree, but it will not be an easy task this time. Yeah, nobody actually knows him. <sighs> There's so goddamn much I want to write on the calling card, too. Excuse me, sir, but, uh, I found this on the car. There's something written on it. Hmm? Read it. Um, but... I said, read it! <clears throat> sir Junya Kaneshiro, the money-devouring sinner of gluttony, you indulge in scamming others with horrendous m methods that target miners exclusively. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail. From the Phantom Thieves. I isn't this bad? What of it? I if something happened to you, I mean, if the higher-ups find out about this... Don't waste your time worrying about this useless shit. Just keep quiet for now. B but it's posted all around the city. People are talking about it online, too. <sighs> all of you, bring me your earnings. If you don't surpass your quota, I'll kill you. Y yes, sir. Phantom Thieves, don't make me laugh. Hey, we're leaving. They'll pay for this. The calling card's been posted all over Shibuya. A good idea, no? Given the theatrical nature of this one, Kanashiro must surely have been contacted about it. You truly are the brains of this Phantom Thieves operation. Ryuji, you should follow her example. Uh, you know, I'm the one who went posting it everywhere, right? I even had to get all dressed up so they wouldn't notice me. Come now, we don't have the time for idle chit-chat. Let us get moving. We are going up against a truly horrible criminal this time. That dick ain't gonna stop us now that we got our awesome new member. Makoto, you remember how all this works? Once we seal the treasure, the palace will crumble, and the palace ruler's heart will change. Wow, you got that quick. I think Ryuji's still struggling to comprehend it all. The old me is dead. Makoto the sycophant is gone, and the corrupt adults who controlled her are next. Sounds like you're fired up. All right, Joker, give us the signal. It's showtime. What the hell? A safe? This wasn't here the last time we came. He changed the entire room so quickly. <laughs> I guess this palace isn't a bank for nothing. Greetings. Welcome to my private city bank. I'm surprised you made it here alive. It seems you're quite lucky. Lucky? Don't be ridiculous. We're gonna change your heart and make you confess everything you've done. That'll save all those people who are suffering because of your shitty actions. Even the police are struggling to deal with you, so this will make the public believe in us too. 
Those in power work the ones below them to the bone for money. Such is the hierarchy of the world. Just accept your fate as a source of my wealth. We'll never agree to that. And hierarchy? You have to be out of your mind. All of that was forced on me too, you know. I went through shit until I crawled my way out of the dregs. Now it's my turn to profit on everyone else. Still, don't you think you're getting back at the wrong people? What a pitiful man. It doesn't matter whether you're clean or dirty. Only the clever come out on top! The strong and the smart devour the weak. That is the natural order of things. You damn brats who think you know the world through the shit you read online will make perfect prey. <laughs> he is utterly hopeless. It's always the fools who get tricked. Fools who have to pay for their foolishness. And if those fools don't learn, or they have to suck it up and stay as plain stupid fools. Will you just shut it already? I guess there's not much point saying anything to you, fools. This is where my gracious lecture ends. Now then, I hope you're ready to work as slaves here for the rest of your lives. That's outrageous. <laughs> I'm gonna swarm all over you and squeeze out every last penny! Joker, make sure you have us regroup if you think we're at a disadvantage. That thing's a giant. If it attacks us while we're at low stamina, we won't survive. Get him, Joker! Oh, money be Super VIP Bar! 
going to roll into us. Careful. The big one's coming. By the myriad truths. What? My Pegatron! That's it. I'll just deal with you busters myself. Through the power of cash! What's up? I paid these guys off, and now they're gonna clean you up. You like that? They're super duper powerful and super duper fly. <laughs> A totally invincible wall. Oh, how is this dealing with us yourself? Hey guys, their numbers may be growing, but we can't let that get to us. Let's do this. Time to sleep. Persona! What? They blocked that? Come on! I told you they're an invincible wall, right? Welcome to the power of cat! Booyah! Mm, shield move is a real hassle. We can try to take down those minions, but Kanashiro's not lying when he says they're tough. In that case, why don't we just put them to sleep? If they're not awake, they can't get in our way. We'll leave the tactics to you, Joker, but I don't think it's a bad plan myself. Let's go. To get to Kanashiro, we'll have to get rid of his stupid goons first. Let's go. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh, 
gain new power. Kaneshiro. I'm not gonna let anyone have it. This is my money. You stole it all from innocent people. Fine. I'll call off the debt. Fine? You're still sounding pretty condescending. You're right. I'm a poor, ugly idiot. How am I supposed to live a normal life like this? It's all because of our society! Weak people can't lead a happy life, no matter what they do! I'm a victim too, you know? Yeah, none of this is my fault! The more you talk, the more pathetic you sound. I just wanted a place where I could belong! You get that, don't you? Bullshit! All you did was surround yourself with people you could use, solely for some easy money! And you think you're the only one who's gotta deal with being labeled? Me? And all these other guys? We're all fighting against that! But don't worry. You'll finally have a place you belong. Somewhere you can make amends. For the rest of your life. We're gonna do something about that distorted heart of yours. Free of charge. I'm glad you understand. Now hurry up and return to the real Kaneshiro. Seriously? You guys don't have any tact. Especially with that incredible power. These palaces can net you loads of cash. You can do whatever you wanted to people's hearts. We're not like you. <laughs> Where do you find meaning in that naive sense of justice? You know, there's already someone out there taking full advantage of what the palaces have to offer. What? I'll let you in on a little something. There's a criminal using other people's palaces to accomplish whatever they damn well please. They don't care about consequences. Psychotic breakdowns. Mental shutdowns. Anything goes. Is that the same person Madarame's shadow spoke of? Spill it! Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't even bother. You are nothing compared to them. Better be careful. A chance encounter with them could prove fatal. We can think about that later. Grab the treasure. There's no time. In that case, we should take that large one. Wait, what? Wow! The treasure! What's gotten into him? This is so cool! Wowee! Being a human is great! It's, it's, it's shiny, shiny gold! Huh? You shouldn't throw animals, damn it! Enough already! Let's get it in, everyone! Hurry! Okay, all set! Fine! Wait, there's no road! You guys are so careless. Meow. Ow. Oh, I think I cracked my ass. On, um, are you all right? Is yours cracked as well? Of course not! Isn't it supposed to be, though? <laughs> That's not what I mean! More importantly, it's dangerous for us to just charge out like that! <laughs> Everyone's staring at us! Thank goodness nobody was hurt. Uh, I wouldn't say nobody. That briefcase! It appears to have been the cause of Morgana's demise. That's not what I meant! Isn't that Kaneshiro's? You mean his treasure? Hey, the light's red! Where should we open it? 
How about a karaoke? We'd have security cameras to worry about there. Oh, I got the perfect place. That's right. I was just in the mood for some coffee, too. And we need to fix Morgana up. So warm. This place is oddly calming. Have you learned anything new? It's sealed by a rotary lock. We'll need the combination to open it. Yeah! A rotary lock, huh? <laughs> I knew it. How did you get that? I simply memorized the combination. I saw him open and close it so many times, after all. Oh, well, that's scary, but amazing, too. Oh, that burns! Hey, hurry up and open it! Whoa. Uh, how much is this? I believe one stack is one million yen. Huh? One, two, three... Uh, there's 30 of them in here. 30 million yen. Even after splitting it, we still each get 5 million! Holy shit! It's gonna be deluxe pork soup combo for me from here on out! You have to think bigger than that. Not to bring down the excited mood, but does this money look real to you? What? Children's Bank! For real? I guess this represents how everything he did was an act to make himself seem tough. No! <laughs> well, hey, at least it feels like we totes busted this case, right? What do you mean? Is busting a case good or bad? Both! <laughs> to think the reward for the Phantom Thieves is feeling they totes busted the case. <laughs> ah, how funny. Uh, hold on a second. Even though the contents are nothing more than trash, the case itself is quite nice. All right then, let's sell it. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted. By the way, Morgana, have any of your memories returned? No, not at all. Come on, did that hit to your head make you forget even more? It's easy for you to talk. You're not the one who lost your memories. You have amnesia? Something like that. He does remember searching for treasures, though. Hmm. I hope your memories return soon, then. So, what happens next? First, we wait for Kaneshiro to have his change of heart. Ah, oh, it's gonna be big this time. People are gonna make a huge deal out of it for sure. Hey, you know what Kaneshiro said at the end there? About that criminal using the metaverse? Yes, I was bothered by that as well. No point mulling over it now. Let's wait and see how Kaneshiro's change of heart goes first. We should probably just lay low for a while. I never thought I'd hear those words coming from you. About my request, how long is it going to take? This incident happened at the school you're supposed to be presiding over. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. We need to speak with you at once regarding the fishing organization operating out of Shibuya. Fine. I hope you remember who gave you that position to begin with. Our other operative gave us a list of candidates without delay. How different from a certain someone. Yes, of course. Please continue your investigation. That Kaneshiro truly was an evil stain on society. Same with Kamoshida and Matarame, too. They hurt and exploited others just to satisfy their desires. 
Still, there were people around them who noticed their terrible deeds, weren't there? I wonder why they turned a blind eye. Why doesn't anyone help? So it's because they don't have the courage. Humans are so weak. Humans. Hey, do you think I'll really be able to become a human when I touch the treasure? Some memories came back. I tried to force myself to forget, but I really may not be human. Who do you think you're talking to? Now that I think about it, I gotta be human. I am the core of the Phantom Thieves, after all. All right. Come on. It's not good for you to stay up this late. Let's go to sleep. with you. Heed his words. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. I am glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? A chicken could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Indeed. I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. <laughs> Yet another thing for me to look forward to. It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. All right. It's time, inmate. Return to your world. such jokes? There's something I feel I should let you know. Kaneshiro contacted me. Kaneshiro? He said he's calling off our debt. It seems he's disposed of all the photographs as well. And, um, my sister and her team have taken him into custody. What? It appears they did not want him to disappear, if you know what I mean. His group was called a Mafia, after all. I wouldn't put silencing him past them. Does this mean we were successful in changing his heart? It's hard to say for sure yet. I see. What about those psychotic breakdowns that Kaneshiro mentioned? I'm not sure. But I assume he was talking about the incidents that have been all over the news lately. It really may be related to the other person who has been entering palaces. True. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kaneshiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Thank you. Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kaneshiro. 
Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. My first step will be to learn more about the other students, but I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. <sighs> I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? <laughs> I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! Uh, no way! Ah! Oh, so this is how it is. Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power.
By the way, you went to the Red Light District when you were chasing after Kaneshiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, n not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Whew. I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. I can't be late today, too. No, I was up very early shooting a news show. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Uh, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. Hey! Lala-chan! If you're trying to rip me... So! What's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me, hmm? That too? So then you do have news on the Phantom Thieves? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, oh, don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kaneshiro, right? The office has been a buzz lately. I think it's Kaneshiro related. Something's fishy. Support the Phantom Thieves? But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy. Huh. Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you could take a vacation. A vacation? Oh! <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? I will, I will. But the quality of the articles will depend on the info you provide me. All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. 
Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala-chan! Time to celebrate our agreement! Bring out my bottle! And two glasses, please! Oh, come on, please! Whoa! Her silence is golden! Fine, fine, fine! I won't make the high schooler drink! Oh. I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. Yes? Can I help you? Huh? Um, you don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options, such as playing online. Sorry, I just can't. Well then... Um, so... You like Shoki? Huh? Oh, um... Thank you very much. Um... Okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's alright with you. I'll start. So this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check. It's checkmate, no matter how you look at it. Please concede. To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost, with grace. If you aspire to become a shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Thank you for playing. Well then, that will be all for today. If it's alright with you, May I request another match sometime? I feel... a gambler's spirit emanating from you. Which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner, so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? That's precious. Well then, it's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the star persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Okay, let's end here for today. No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. And yet he simply turned himself in. Even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <sighs> the 
Phantom Thieves. Damn it! Hell yeah! Kaneshiro finally confessed! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there was a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! Well, I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi! Now, what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too! By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive. Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party. Wow. Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So... Oh... What's wrong? Hello? I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. If you wish not to stand out, you had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. For now, Behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? <sighs> Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? <sighs> I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. 
I apologize for bothering you like this about that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Damn it! I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Don't be ridiculous! This new ally you gained was Makoto? Just tell me the truth! Makoto. That's preposterous! If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Did Kaneshiro really say there was someone using the Metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. <laughs> but why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? <sighs> then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the judgment persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. Actually, I should rephrase that. They targeted your group first, didn't they? The identity of your opponent is this. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. 
If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. <sighs> what a refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. All the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? <laughs> well, thank you. But I noticed that you're not saying that the Phantom Thieves are right. I suppose that was an unfair way to phrase it. I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Hi. What a pleasant surprise. Are you headed home too? Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd-pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of the TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. 
you had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes, like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? I have to agree. It was quite inspiring for myself as well. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right. Then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. My parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam, I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there, congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway. As I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep. That's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. 
No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm... Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but... What if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kinda feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. What's up? Mm. Why? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass! I totally want in! Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? <laughs> well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. It's so hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah, what do we do? 
That would just make us appear even more suspicious. They got us! Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Ooh, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat! Oh, right! I can bob! lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. Even with this sticky sweatiness included. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? They barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You wanna go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Huh? Well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Yes, uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Whew, that was delicious! I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. I think... That's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. I have a younger sister, 
We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. Senpai. You're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. So hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we... getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around to pain, so can we just go with these chicks? A chance like this never comes up. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them, then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji? Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty.
Like you need help? Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Yeah. We're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? What are you, Moss? I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kaneshiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what? I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to- Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. Yeah, that's obvious. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the phantom thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry, or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Can't you even take part in small talk? You should have more interest in what's going on with the world. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. We were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? Right? 
Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless? Wonder if anyone else got any info. No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. This stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? People with common sense would think that. Is that your personal opinion, too? Still, the vast majority are simply entertained by it. They've stopped thinking critically altogether. So this is what the public thinks. Oops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Shh. 
Shouldn't you respond to it? Hmm? You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat lock. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them, that is... Only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? with the big group good evening we were thinking about putting together plans for our summer hmm is that a new face I see it's nice to meet you my name is Makoto Nijima I hope we're not being a bother she's our student council president Nijima is something wrong no it's nothing a student council president eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. 
We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? was from this guy. Threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean... This might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. 
There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? Why do you know about that? It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Yo. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off! What's with that look? You got something to say? This doesn't involve you. But that's enough! Just behave yourself, and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the Chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. Uh, What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? What a 
elfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we'll need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. He can't go out? Shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Nope. I want sushi. All right. We'll go tomorrow night. You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. 
That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. The flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it, we got the cash. So good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Hmm... If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no-good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the Chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that, I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait! You think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It Uh, um, f f fan fantastic This sushi is delicious! Y yeah The fish is so fresh! Hm. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish? Think about where we are, Ryuji! Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? That is unexpected. 
Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamoshida was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what? The hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... It may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? If only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this 
take out sushi as a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Ah, oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Uh, hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean... Boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Ah! Ah! Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. No, no. my legs won't move. nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it! This, um, uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. I do that sometimes, because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me, there's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san, too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so 
We'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes, she committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... She wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I 
feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Mejid. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Mejet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Mejid. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana... <laughs> Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take it the Chief told you about Futaba? And then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the Chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. She had long hair and a pretty young-sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the Chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway. Make sure you let everyone know. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Then how was Mejid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you.
still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? And that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. Just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjed. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Alright. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? That's not important! I'm talking about my memories here! I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? You sure live up to my expectations. Alright. They went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Now the last keyword. 
she's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have not been met. Hmm. Maybe an oasis? Have not Nothing been so met. far. In that case, how about hell? Conditions have not been met. We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh! Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan! You're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan! Are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Alright then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Looks like you should ask something different. Looks like you should ask something different. That's it? Try entering tomb! Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it! Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. Idiot! Don't activate it here! It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. 
But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Oh, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, <laughs> let's roll. opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <laughs> How are the guys? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Take this! Is that it? There we go. It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. <laughs> Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something! Don't be like that! I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay, there's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, 
There is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed it's her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come don't near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This... again? Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague What's with that murderer! Man? Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed Mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right! Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Someone help me! Damn it! What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be alright like this? see you again yeah oh i wonder why i can't believe you tried to crush us with an effing boulder you want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not hmm why don't we make a deal you wish to proceed further yes a deal you say there is a town nearby 
I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring what was stolen back to me, I will give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. We're back! This is the thing you said they stole, right? Well done. It is yours now. Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? That is a map of the tomb, stolen by the bandit to aid in his ransacking of this place. Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come further in and... Oh. What in the... Huh? Futaba-chan dis... God damn it! it! <clears throat> is this... Quicksand! Everyone, swim with all your might! Hey, you guys still alive? Ow. First a boulder, then this. Uh, did we piss her off somehow? I don't think it has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. Simple defense mechanism. Considering what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. Joker, let's save her. We've got to help Futaba-chan open the door to her heart. Right. We should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. Ah, oh, yeah! There we go! But what is it a picture of? This adult seems to be reading something to a crying child? Hmm. The emotions of the artist are oft depicted in the art they produce. I can sense serious pain harbored in her heart. I should, I never, should never have had Futaba. Is that voice coming from the mural? She was, she was always, always such, such a bother. bother. Seems, Seems you caused your, caused your mother a great deal of trouble, trouble with Chava Chan. She must, she have, must had have had some, some kind of maternity neurosis. neurosis. What was that? Based on its contents, it sounded almost like a suicide note. Could that be what Futaba remembers of her mother's suicide? But that's the shittiest thing to do to a kid if that's really how it all went down. The mural should display on the front wall now, right? I'd expect so. Joker, if you please. Wait, what? I can't even begin to tell what this one is. It may be a rather difficult puzzle for us to solve. <laughs> yes, we're done! A child pulling on her mother's clothes? More voices. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired of eating dinner alone, alone, alone all the time. It's always, it's always just convenient, convenient for bentos. bentos. I want to go, go somewhere. somewhere. Take me, Take on, a me on a trip. The one clinging to her mother would be Futaba-chan, right? Don't, don't be so, be so selfish. selfish. You know, you I'm, know working I'm working hard to support, to support you, you, right? Oh! oh. She seemed pretty angry. Is that the maternity neurosis the voice from earlier mentioned? I thought it was pretty normal for a child to want to spend time with their parents, though. Yeah, looks like Futaba was a pretty lonely kid growing up. So these incidents compounded. 
forcing her mother to suicide. I must die. Huh? I killed her. That's why I'm here in this tomb. Don't say that! I will die. Butabachan! Why'd she get so quiet all of a sudden? What happened to that snarky personality? Could her heart perhaps be growing weaker? We have to hurry and save her! Know your place. Come inside. We've much to discuss. There you are, inmate! Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the gallows! Used to strengthen persona abilities! Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate! It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. I worry that you may not get what I mean. It was a figure of speech. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... My picture... Turn into a real skill card? Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome the slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? It's a deal then. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I'll contact you once it's done. to charge into Futaba's room. There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even Boss has forbidden entry. 
Yes. That is the best course of action. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. An eyeball? What's this? Huh. When did it get on here? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <sighs> if so, I will kill them in your world. I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Ten seconds. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. These are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Well, why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? 
Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? But I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive... science? Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so... You know. True. She did say things like... Die. Hold on. Futaba-chan. Did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was... The one who killed her was... Possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba chan. It's just that I went through a lot myself, and I. I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see... Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. 
Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again? If I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Fu... Fu... Futaba Sakura? Sojiro Sakura's house. And then... Something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again! You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Tomb in the chat, and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? No! You're a plague! You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! Don't come near me! Your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. Well, this ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Is it a shadow? No! Then... It's not Futaba. Don't tell me. This is insane! If it's not a shadow, then what is it? It's a cognition! A monster that Futaba's cognition created! How can that be? Hey, look out! <laughs> Here it comes! Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb! Misfortune will fall upon you! Oh, look at it fly about! We can't reach it like this! We've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills! How far did it fly up? Don't tell me. Is it gonna dive attack us? Damn that thing, when's it gonna strike? Oh, this isn't good. I can't tell at all when it's gonna attack. You can't tell? That's not helping! You have to tell us, Mona! I can't help it! There are some things that even I can't do! So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. Huh? Do you remember? This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after Mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... When Mom jumped in front of that car. That's, That's right. It. Now the next. No. Don't run. I 
thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. I'll look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip, but she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did, did you, you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Ah. Uh, did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? What? She smiled. Ah! My head! It hurts! Which is true! You're my memories. Huh? It's calling me? The hell? We ain't doing shit to it! Huh? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... You killed her! No! Why don't you say something? It's your fault! It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... Wait, is that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time on you. My heart and soul into that research. It would have been the discovery of that century. What does she mean by that? Could she be talking about cognitive science? You're going to die. There is no meaning to your life. No one needs you. Nobody cares about me. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Deep shit if this keeps up! So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! 
B but she never abused you, did she? Boss told us. He said she did her best to raise you alone. Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ah! You made your mother destroy all her research, Vitavachan. She had worked so hard on it as well. She lost her mind, and it's all because of you. It's your fault! Um, I... I... It's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you! They trampled all over your young heart! Get mad! Don't forgive those rotten adults! It's because I couldn't face myself. Or Mom's death. Even then... Why did they have to yell at me like that? Utabachan? Uh, uh. What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning. And yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew... But I... It's all your fault! This time you'll be the one to die! Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them!
Again, isn't it? What can we do? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. This is my heart's world, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. I won't let you. You goddamn rat! Now it's our turn. Here goes! I'm summoning our ultimate weapon to the battlefield! A, a ballista? Shoot it down with this, then beat the crap out of it! Ah, I get it now. Let's go! Let's fire the ballista! The girl I need to raise you! You dare neglect your mother like this! I am your mother! The one and only in this whole awful world! What? Why won't you admit it? Why, 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 why? Mom is gone. No matter how much I wish for her to be with me, it'll never come true. That's why I'll live in the real world. Even if she's not there with me anymore. And I'm gonna live my life as free and happy as I can. For a child to survive on your cruel world, they need a concerned mother figure like me. Understand? I love Fate. Listen. My mom is so precious to me, and I still love her a ton, but you're not her! And I'll never live a life where everything gets decided by someone else! Not me, children, who decide ever should be punished! No, you're not! Now this! <laughs> Get in the way of my research. I should have 
choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish, Mom. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. <sighs> oh, right, Majed. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Huh. Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side... Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise.
Hey, you guys still alive? I thought I was gonna die and... Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry! Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What, what are you guys doing out here? Oh, um... Reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Ah, yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... Uh... I'm not thirsty, though. Oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something! Please! Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Hmm. I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! <sighs> oh dear. Uh, um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay, but what are we gonna do about Medjed? She's up! Mm, Medjed. <sighs> Tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again?! Futaba-chan! For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. Hey. Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you two. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, 
Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death as suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen, but... Futaba! this no, no, never mind that but uh, how did you get here uh i walked you're okay was that bad that, that, that's not it i'm just shocked to see you out of the house uh i'm sorry i worried you <laughs> it's all right by the way what's the date today uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, that's it. Let's take care of it now. Come. It's my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? Violent much? Hey, Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! R right. Now hurry it up! Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Futaba, you should really clean your room a bit. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> We'll just have to keep waiting. <sighs> I'm done! Uh, what's up? Something happened? 
It's finished. Finished? What is? Ah, it's so clean! Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced clans of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes! What are you all smirking about? Well, stop it. You're going to drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh! Did you just get up? Good morning! <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication. 
but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Well, we didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. Th that wasn't food from this Earth. It was clearly a... alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know! Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <clears throat> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move! Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. Alright. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. 
Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Yes, you must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Then I'll, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. It, this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Ranger's Neo Feather Man! No! Yellow and pink's heads! And red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know! Inari Sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari... Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too! It was so much work getting them set up just right! Oh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari! Uh, how dare you say that to me! Of all people! Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Well, I guess in that case... I've left tomorrow to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Hmm, you seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! Deep. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. Ah! Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Anyway, bring it. 
Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Beep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. <sighs> oh. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. Do you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <coughs> hey, are you all right? The usual boss, extra strong. It's your thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. I'm not! She a new part-timer? Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Uh, here is your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! Huh, turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. So, Jiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. Who do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. 
apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but... Um... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Oh, wow, it's perfect! I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy, On. I know, right? There we go! It's on! What the? This barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Push. Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. Don't do it! It would really suck if she thought all of us were to blame for that pervy shit. You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. R right! She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice. 100% natural. That reminds me. You're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun. And make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai-san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. <sighs> Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? 
Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You are popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. Oh, that's a shame. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. Mm hmm I ran into Mona on the way back, though. <laughs> I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put up my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! Right. It's just be careful, okay? <laughs> Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! no! <laughs> Utaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, okay? Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip! Don't underestimate me! Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. Oh, 
but so hot. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But... Lady On, can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal... you know what? You moron, that's a crime! What we're gonna steal in reality are... girls' hearts! I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! just looks kind of bland to me. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh no. What are you guys doing here? 
<laughs> Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go. Sorry! Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. Uh, no. No more makeovers. <sighs> By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so, I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time An entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so you were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. What do you mean? If things had gone bad, you would have just sent him to the hospital. Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's nothing. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So, it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know... All this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? 
The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Medjed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? I, I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. 
Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! And Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate! Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjad seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. be true. I'm supposed to be human. I should be. If we get rid of the distortion in the depths of Mementos, I'm sure... I'm sure it'll all be fine. Sorry, did I wake you up? Oh, um... My sunburns were hurting, and that woke me up. I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? Oh, um, I'm not sure what to do when you give me an honestly concerned response like that. By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? I'd be bothered by it! If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, Maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. It'll be fine, right? Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. Talk about a cliched way to end your summer vacation. I can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Well, everyone's free to spend their time as they choose. I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. 
I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, about that. Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet? They weren't exactly stellar. I see. There seemed to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So, I just so happened to bump into Mishima-kun before summer vacation started. And? He seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Who knows? Still, ever since the case with Kamoshida, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? At the very least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. <laughs> Just like we thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah, we don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team, but at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about, the Phantom Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa, this is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. I never expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. We can't leave this be! Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. This is getting interesting. We've got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Hey, get ready. We're going out for lunch, just the three of us. <laughs> Don't complain, I'm buying. Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. This place is supposed to be super delicious, too. Sushi? Take me with you! I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? There's no way they'd let us in with a cat in tow. Yeah, sorry but it's gonna have to be a no. I do feel sorry for it, though. Well, I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. He knows me so well! Let's see, 
I want some medium fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and... and... Oh, are you going to be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. So, how is it? Good? Mmm, delicious! Don't wolf it down like that. It, no one's gonna take your food. <coughs> what did I tell you? Drink some tea. <coughs> Restroom! Huh? Oh, oh restrooms. Uh, they're that way. <laughs> what a busy girl. Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. This brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. I was close. I thought I was gonna die! Well, time to resume. You're still going to eat? Uh, I'm all full. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> Which is it? I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. Check, please. Coming right up! When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. That sushi was so good. Today's was pretty good, too. I hope the three of us can come again sometime. When should we do this again? I wish she could have had today's sushi, too. Oh. <sighs> I want to find out what happened to Mom. I won't forgive the guy who triggered her mental shutdown. So, you better help me out. 120,000 yen? You're joking, right? Looks like we won't be getting sushi to go. Welcome home! I've been waiting for you! Huh? Wait, where's my sushi? Where's my fatty tuna? Where's my Inago? Wait, we're meeting in Akihabara? Is Futaba really going to be okay? We'd better get over there. Is this where we're supposed to be meeting? Is she not here? Try checking around. Are you all by yourself? Where did you come from? Uh, I... Uh, uh... Hey, over there. Did you run away from home? What's wrong, little girl? That looks bad. What are you gonna do? Yeah, hurry up! Uh, well, can you come down to the station with me for now? Huh? Who are you? Hey! Do you know this girl? You're not lying, are you? Very well. Futaba? Are you okay? S sorry I thought I conquered my fears back at the beach. What happened? There wasn't anyone I knew with me, so I panicked. Felt like my heart was gonna pop. I got so scared all by myself. Then I just sort of curled up into a ball. Then all these people started staring at me, and the police came, and then it was all over. Look, Futaba. If you're ever in trouble, just call this guy. Okay. Hmm. I feel kind of calm when we're this close. You're okay being like this, right? You don't have to. <sighs> Couldn't even go by a game by myself. I'm a failure. Futaba. But I'm okay outside as long as it's with him. Is he some kind of key item? Please, be my key item. 
I'll try and get better at navigation if you do. Yeah, a deal! That good with you? We were impressed with the intel gathering skills of the Phantom Thieves as well. We also know that this would have been impossible unless you had a skilled hacker. Who was doing this? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Hermit Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. All right! Now that that's over with, let's go! Where? Need. Bye. Game. Weren't you bawling your eyes out just a second ago? Yeah, but I have my key item now. <laughs> Victory conditions met. Come on, let's roll. Welcome home. Where were you two? Akihabara. What? <laughs> That's incredible, Futaba. I... I guess. I just hope you can keep that up. Maybe you'll even be able to go to high school someday. Yeah. Well, that's enough of that. Oh, I bet you're exhausted after dealing with all those people, huh? Let's get you to bed. Hey, we're gonna head back. Inmate, our master wants a word with you. <laughs> it seems you formed a contract with another new ally. This is the owner of quite a different type of power. It will help guide you all to further heights as thieves. <laughs> Worry not, you are steadily approaching the realization of your goal. This is not necessarily to prove so but I shall increase the number of personas you can hold at once. From here on, your tale will make great progress. Hone your powers even further, and prepare for the time that will soon come. I expect great things from you. Until we meet again. It is time, inmate. Return to your world. A uniform. Make sure you study hard. <laughs> Futaba says she's going to shift to living a morning person's life. A healthy mission starts with a healthy lifestyle. Mission? And on to breaking news. In regard to the so-called Phantom Thieves events that have been a hot topic among the general public, the Prime Minister held a press conference at his official residence to address the problem. The government acknowledges the current rumors of a group called the Phantom Thieves. We are currently confirming facts with the police and wish to deal with it in an appropriate... Even the Prime Minister is talking about the Phantom Thieves? They're allies of justice, after all. They change hearts, huh? I wonder if it's true. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're finally being recognized across the country. Even though you have ambitions, you remain cool, hmm? I bet you stole that from me. Let's find clues on that case as soon as we can, too. And resolve it ourselves. For Futaba's sake, too. 
You two really get along, don't you? You're gonna be late if you don't get going soon. Good luck on your student duties. The age group with the most belief in the Phantom Thieves seems to be teenagers. We've even received messages about how the Phantom Thieves are all students talk about these days. Do you know about them? They're the only thing my daughter speaks to me about. She's been glued to this fan site thing. I thought it was just an ordinary website. Lately, they've added a polling feature to ask who you'd like to see have a change of heart. Given people's heightened expectations, it's been receiving a lot of votes. Huh. Maybe I should go vote for our company president. Change his heart so he'll raise our salaries. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Second term's already started. I think this every year, but isn't summer vacation too short? How desperate are you? Alright, let's begin, homeroom. Let's see. We've just gotten back from vacation, but starting next Monday is the school trip. Oh yeah, that's right! <sighs> you students are so lucky. You get an entire month off for summer and get to go to Hawaii, too. Make sure that none of you cut loose too much, okay? Okay, settle down. That concludes homeroom. School trip, huh? I guess we won't be able to act as phantom thi- <laughs> Takamaki-san! You can speak English, right? Basically, yeah. That's amazing. I lived over there, so it's nothing that special. Hey, if there's something we're not sure of in English, can we ask you about it? Huh? There you guys are. Futaba! Did you come here by yourself? I went to get her since I got out of school early. What a patronizing Inari. Well then, let's get talking. What do we do now? Should we go after another big target? That's important too, but what about that villain in the cognitive world? It's almost certain that this person exists. What's more, they're inducing mental shutdowns. We certainly can't turn a blind eye. <sighs> yeah, but we don't got any clues. But, you know how we're toads popular right now? Everyone at school's talking about us, and not a day goes by when you don't hear about it on TV either. <laughs> we totally made it big, don't you think? True. The rankings on the Phantom Aficionado website have been crazy too. You mean this? Huh? What the hell? First place keeps changing by the second. People are voting around the clock, after all. If we go after these guys, I'm sure we'll score some big cash at least once. What would you use money like that for? Ooh, yeah! Like, enjoying food across the world? Are you fine with that, Futaba? Even though it's related to what happened to your mother? It's not okay. I'm definitely gonna punch that guy. The culprit forcing mental shutdowns. If you think about it, there's no bigger target than that. If we can change his heart and get a confession out of him, we'll be on top of the world for real. Should we reveal our identities then? Oh, I bet chicks are gonna be all over us. Whoa, whoa. You want us to show our faces? I guess that might be okay. I see. If the true culprit confesses the existence of the Metaverse will become known, there would be no need for us to remain in hiding in such a questionable manner. Hey, we're not doing this to stand out, you know. Being unknown is the allure of being a phantom thief. But considering the hype now, it's gonna be one hell of a huge deal if we pull it off! Are there really no clues regarding those mental shutdown cases? If I remember right, wasn't the older Nijima sister investigating it? Yes, I can pry and ask about it. But 
but she'll just tell me to mind my own business and get angry with me. If you can't ask her, wanna just extract that data? Does she have a personal laptop or something? Don't tell me. I can lend you a storage device with my special gimmick on it. Just stick this baby in and it'll clone the internal hard drive. It'll even bypass the OS password. You'll have to plug it directly into her laptop, though. Can you do it? Sis does bring her laptop home sometimes. But I'm not comfortable going that far. Ooh, is Futaba gonna do something amazing again? Are you scared of seeing how your sister truly feels? No! Of course not. Fine, I'll do it. What? I was in a tabloid magazine? But I gave a gag order in regard to Mr. Kamashita's case. Please, wait! Please give me some time! I will find evidence on the Phantom Thieves for sure! I couldn't have made it this far had it not been for your assistance, sir. So, please, please let me... Uh, no! No! Huh. Did you get a tan? You seem different. Oh, yes. Thank you for the coffee last time. It is a lovely cafe. I haven't relaxed that much in a while. No, not particularly. Especially lately, since it seems I'm hated by those who support the Phantom Thieves. Anyhow, it seems your school's in trouble. The media is reporting that the whole school was involved in the cover-up about that gym teacher. Those unfortunate students were made victims. All because adults valued their own conveniences. This is unforgivable. No matter the reason, let me know if you need anything. I'll do my best so that the case is wrapped up quickly. Hey! What up? You see that ad in the train? The media is gonna come to our school. At least be a little interested in it. Cover up by faculty and principal of Shujin Academy, where the Phantom Thieves first appeared. It's been a huge deal already. I wonder what's gonna happen to the principal now. Anyways, we made the right choice going after big targets. Everywhere I go, people are talking about us. Whoa! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm fine. That girl just now, don't you think she was fine? The Phantom Thieves are on fire right now, so I wonder if I got a chance if I asked her out? It sucks that I can't just say I'm actually a Phantom Thief to anybody. Did you do it too, Teach? The whole cover-up thing? This is the first time I'm hearing about it, too. Even if the police ask you anything, you better not make irresponsible comments to them. Seriously, why does this keep happening? All my relatives are gonna call me again. Oh, perfect timing. I think you might have been told this already, but it's about the school trip. You know how the police have been coming to the school again because of that incident? So, a number of the senior faculty are going to be called in for questioning, and that day just happens to overlap with the school trip. Yes, I've been told so. Now, this came up at the faculty meeting, but the plan is to have third years to act as our proxies. I'm so sorry to drop this on you, Nijima-san, but we'll be counting on you. What? You know, a lot of the second years this year happen to be... unique. You must have your hands full with the entrance exams, but I'm sure you'll be fine with your grades. Don't worry, there'll be a couple more people going besides you. If that's the case, very well. 
Really? Oh, thank goodness. I'll go ahead and pass this news on then. I guess that works out. <sighs> Looks like you're busy. I'm listing up the evidence that's been taken into storage. It's a chore that any part-timer could do. <sighs> I don't have time to waste on something like this. It felt like my irritation would show on my face at the office, so I brought it home. Sorry to hear. The Phantom Thief's case isn't so easy that I could pursue it in my spare time. The media keeps making a ruckus about it, so people have been wary whenever we make inquiries. Why I couldn't get anything out of a man who seemed to have intel. I even tried threatening him. All I did was question him a bit harshly. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be going on a school trip starting next week. The senior faculty are being questioned, so I'll be going in their stead. Sounds good to me. The school will owe you for it. It won't get in the way of your entrance exams, will it? Not at all. Feel free to take a bath first. I need to study. Okay, I think I'll do that. <sighs> I should do it, right? Oh, Makoto? Yes? I want to change my toothbrush. I bought a new one already! It's on the shelf! Thanks. Hurry! No way already! That was fast! I'm not really in the mood to relax in the tub. Oh, it's so close to being done, too! It's on the same shelf, so would you mind putting it in the tub? <laughs> Not at all. Yes! Here you go. I think I did it right. <laughs> Leave it to me. Whoa, you grabbed all these? Are they for Hawaii? If we're gonna lay low... I might as well enjoy it. Oh, look at this one! Gigantic sea turtle sightseeing on some beach. Come on, food's more important than some turtle. You really don't find steak this big and thick in Japan. Also, mahi-mahi? Is that some kind of fish? Think it's good? It seems that it's the season for schools all around. We're going on our school trip as well. Yeah? Where are you guys going? I believe it's Los Angeles. <laughs> that doesn't suit you at all, Yusuke. I bet you wanted to go somewhere like Nikko or Nara. Anywhere is acceptable. After all, the mineral pigments used for Japanese art were originally imported. Hawaii and Los Angeles, huh? Which would you want to go to? But Los Angeles is hard to give up too. I mean, don't I seem like an LA guy? Like a total gangsta? That makes no sense at all. Hawaii is more of a resort place than LA, so I'd rather go there. So we won't be seeing each other for a while. We'll make sure to buy a souvenir for you. Ooh, here comes some interesting data. This is just from a quick glance, but it's as perpetrated and connected. It means that mental shutdowns aren't coincidence. That this is a case with a culprit behind it. Actually, it's not just about people having shutdowns. It looks like she's inferring that the psychotic breakdown incidents are connected to the same case. Go Makoto Sis! How long do you think it'll take to analyze all of it? Hmm. There's a lot, so it's not happening overnight. But I'll manage by the time you guys get back. I demand souvenirs from Hawaii and LA for my reward. I don't really get all this, but you're as amazing as always, Futaba. 
I guess it's called an information war? Oh, it's so high-tech and modern. Kind of reminds me of a movie. We're the Phantom Thieves, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, I can turn into a car and stuff, too. Come on, don't try and compete with her. What did you say? You're fine the way you are, Morgana. Like, you're cheeky cute? Cute? Idion, I... Well, we'll continue this when we get back from the trip. I can't wait to see how much the Phantom Thieves' popularity is increased by then. Updating guidance information. It's gotten even bigger. This happened because we stole another treasure, right? I feel like it's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. I don't think Mementos' territorial expansion is caused by us stealing a treasure. I bet it's things like the number of searches for Phantom Thieves, the ranking of trending words, and the access counter on Mishima's website and stuff. Even now, it's slowly expanding. The more we become the topic of conversation, the more memento spreads? Maybe it's the other way around. What do you mean? We're the ones expanding it. Or perhaps Mementos grants further passage as we become more prevalent in the general public's cognition. Like... getting free admission for being popular? That's rather well put. For real? That's amazing! Actually, you're amazing, Futaba! How'd you figure that out? Piece of cake. I didn't know it all. What have I been doing? You're taking off, huh? <laughs> Don't go cutting loose just because I'm not there to keep an eye on you. I'll look after Futaba and the cat while you're gone. You owe me one. We'll talk more about our next job once you get back. Good. I'm so sleepy. It'll take over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get cancelled. Is it just me, or is Ryuji not here yet? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. <sighs> Coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? Yeah, that! Well, I guess so. Hey guys, they want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Oof, sounds good! You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in too! You too, Makoto! All right. Uh huh? Uh, where am I supposed to look? Let me see. Let me see. What? Holy shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? I'm so glad she's not an enemy of ours.
Ladies and gentlemen, we've begun our initial descent into Hawaii. We ask that you please return to your seats and ensure that your seatbelts are safe. Whoa! So, how long will you be staying? Yeah, I'm so excited! <laughs> I have no idea, though! <laughs> Hi, Aloha. You can find your buses Whoa. that way. Damn, you speak Japanese? Whoa, I see it! The diamond thing! Oh man! The ocean is so blue! <laughs> Yes, we're here! Hawaii! I am so embarrassed. Oh, is this the smell of Hawaii? Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. <laughs> what are you, the king of random facts? <laughs> I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Then, uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. You belong to a different class, Sakamoto-kun. I can't? It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out, after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Shut up! We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Oh, come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. So this is Waikiki. Well, there sure are a ton of people here, and a lot of tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought On was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Nah. Then stop looking! You think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies are massive, unlike the girls in Japan. You like them slim, huh? Moving on, take a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Oh, I saw it from the bus, too. But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait. People long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? An F? Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki, too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants, then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like, ugh, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's 
Hawaii like? Uh, hula dancing? Uh-uh, I ain't down for that. We can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site ranking started, right? It's been really lively, huh? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good-looking one. His popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blogs up in flames. He posed as some hero of justice, but... That's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired too. Uh, let's go to bed. Good night. Nothing but Japanese people around here. I thought we were gonna be getting alohas coming from all directions and stuff. It costs money to enjoy that atmosphere, you know? There's not much we can do as students. I guess it's the same no matter where we go. Hey, what's with the low energy, Makoto? I just had to listen to the taxi driver complain for 30 minutes straight. I'm used to dealing with students' troubles, but... I never expected to have to do it overseas as well. That must have sucked. We should be doing some more exciting stuff. I mean, we're in freaking Hawaii, for God's sake. Isn't the school supposed to plan stuff? I want to go diving! It seems there wasn't enough time to come up with any kind of coordinated travel plan. That lack of coordination is what led to them using students as chaperones as well. By the way, you're rooming with Mishima, right? How is it? Anything interesting? Even in Hawaii? Fan site. You know, I do hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves every so often. Are they really mentioning us? I think so. We've already made our international debut. Man, just talking about that makes me want to go back to Japan so bad. You really have no chill. Come on, let's try and forget about those things for now. But people are waiting for us to fix society. We don't got time to be relaxing over here. Ain't that right, Yusuke? Wait, what the hell? Overseas travel provides a great opportunity for new insight. I'd prefer we stay here a bit longer. What are you doing here? Wasn't your school supposed to be going to Los Angeles? Apparently, they couldn't land the plane due to a terrible storm brewing on the west coast. There were no signs of it letting up, so our destination was changed on the spot to Hawaii. Do you just bring rain wherever you go? Could it be that what happened at the fireworks festival was his fault as well? Don't go bringing any storms here, you got that? I'll do my best. By the way, there's nothing planned after this. What are you all gonna do? Uh, oh yeah, I, I still gotta buy souvenirs. My mom asked me to grab some stuff for her. I totally forgot about that. We need to pick things up for Futaba and Morgana, too. I was hoping to do some shopping myself. Then it's settled. I wonder what Morgana would want. Man, our group's totally the same even out of Japan. I realize Big Bang Burger was in Hawaii, too. Yeah, it's been getting real popular in Japan lately. I guess they wanted to branch out. Now that you mention it, I read a news article recently about the success of Okumura Foods. Ah, yes. The company that owns Big Bang Burger. Okumura? Ain't that the guy who's at the top of the fan site rankings? Is that true? I guarantee it. I don't make mistakes about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I didn't put the pieces together before, but I guess we know him pretty well. Hmm? 
What's the matter? Oh, it's probably nothing. Just a rumor I heard about Okumura Foods. Supposedly, all of their overseas competition has mysteriously pulled out. Never mind. I'm surely just overthinking things. Sis's habits seem to be rubbing off on me. Hey, why don't we take a pic together? You know, so we can remember the trip and all. Ooh, good idea! Are you sure you don't want to be in it? <laughs> Thanks. I only ask that you ensure the composition is well balanced. Ugh, can you not worry about that stuff for one second? Go for it. some time to spare, right? Where to next? There's a convenience store down by the beach. How about there? That sounds lovely. I would quite like a short rest. All right, let's head over there. Hmm. Huh. Don't you think the food around here is kind of salty? You might be right. Oh, shoot. I forgot my sunscreen. I'm going to go buy another bottle at the convenience store. I'll go with you. I guess we will need to wait for them to come back. I'm so bored. By the way, you think we're the thieves everyone here has been going on about? It'd be pretty freaking crazy if that was true, huh? Hmm. I had not heard of such rumors. It sounds wonderful, but we are already here, so why don't we confirm if that is the case? Oh, good idea! Let's try asking around while we wait for An and Makoto. Uh, free time is almost up. Shouldn't you be heading back soon? That's right. By the way, your blonde friends seem very excited on the airplane coming here. Hey, you're that girl we saw watering the plants. Sorry to surprise you. I'm another third year who was asked to come chaperone this trip. I accepted the task to take my mind off of things, but I wasn't sure how to spend my free time. We're here! I think I should be going. See you. Sorry, were you waiting long? Hmm. That girl you were talking to just now, do you know her? No, that was my first interaction with her. She said she was a third year. Same as you, Makoto. Mm hmm I've never really spoken to her, though. Ah, it looks like our free time is over. Let's head back to the hotel. Oh, what am I doing? I feel like such an idiot for getting psyched for this. Then again, we are on a trip, so... Excuse me, Miss Kawakami? About the post-beach plans. Ah! Um, did I find you at a bad time? Not at all! What's the matter? <sighs> Found it. One after another, too. What did you find? Still working, can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Ooh, so much! All I'm good for is driving them around in mementos. I'm basically useless. Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me! If you got something to say, just spit it out. It's nothing. What were you saying? Let me go! You feel so nice. I do not! So smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again. I'm a human! Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. It's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone. That's true. <sighs> There are even more posts now. Oh, wow. 
The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly up the rankings. Come on, you can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs, that's how they have so many stores. What's up? Yo. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. I felt totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Even though there are only two beds? Coming! Takamaki? The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. I know that feeling. And she took the key. I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the MedJet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. Oh, what should I do about overseas requests? I, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. They took down MedJet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? <sighs> oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. I won't go back. You heard her. There are only two beds, even if someone sleeps on the sofa. One of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor. So who's that gonna be? Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? Yes! What? I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? The school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. Me? Uh, well, she's got to have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. So looks are what's most important to you. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. That ain't fair! What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? Wait, are you talking about her? Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. So, what kind of guy do you... So, what kind of guy do you... My stomach! <sighs> that doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like, the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article. Unnecessary information was leaked, after all. Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. 
Yes. There's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, then. We'll make it so that it was a heart attack. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... Oh? I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us. <sighs> Our trip is almost over. By tomorrow night, we'll be in the airplane heading home. Damn it! This isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? We ended up walking around, same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate out of freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left! Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. But weren't some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit? I think... Then that's it! That's what this trip is missing! Come on, we totally gotta get moving during our free time in the afternoon. What are we going to do? Make a once-in-a-lifetime summer memory! Hawaii's famous for its beaches, and, you know, what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. We can get some girls' numbers during the day, and sneak away to them at night. <laughs> you in or what? Me too? It'll be great! Neither of us have girlfriends who get mad about it either. I guess that's true, but... Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with! No question about it! Ooh, you get a message? Who could that... Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you-know-what. Come on, Mishima, let's go. Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us, Sakamoto? Don't give me that look. We're going to Waikiki. Try and get a little more excited. And... Dude, there are a lot of babes here. Um, that look in your eyes scares me. Yo, you're finally here. Let's go make this vacation one to remember. Will this really work? Where do you get all that confidence from? All right, we want to go after solo girls that look bored. Got it? Let's roll! Uh, it's hot enough as is. Seeing those couples just makes my damn blood boil! <laughs> Wait a sec. You smell something good? It's coming from that food stand. Uh, ain't that Yusuke? Yo, Yusuke! Ah, oh, it's you. Hello. Hmm. That stuff good? Your shrimp? It is resplendent. Even in Hawaii, it's the same old Yusuke. <laughs> That's an understatement. Yo, would you take a look at them? They're incredible! Come on, we'll rock, paper, scissors for them if this goes well. Crossing an ocean just for this. <laughs> Hi there! Oh, y'all from Japan? What a weird accent. 
Anyways, the four of us got some time on our hands, and, uh... You're including me in this? Well, if you ladies aren't doing anything, how about we go somewhere more fun? Please, show us around Hawaii! Sorry, we don't take too kindly to youngins. I'm all about the wealthy, refined, older men. I wouldn't have minded if you were those phantom thieves, though. For real? Oh, well, you know, we... Yuji! Ah. Uh... Bye-bye! Come back in ten years. They brush us away without a second thought. <laughs> How about you ask the Phantom Thieves for help, huh? They're all about stealing hearts, right? You can make those girls have a change of heart. Oh, I never thought of that! This is absurd. Man, shit went south real fast. Shall we eat? <sighs> Let's just head back. Yeah, I'm beat. <sighs> it was terrible getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? Thanks. I guess I didn't exactly turn down the invite either. <sighs> I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but he might be too different from me. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Well... Anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, okay? Hey. trip is finally coming to a close. I never thought I would have the chance to go on one this year as well. Barely even felt like I was out of the country, though. Even Yusuke showed up. I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. You know, I saw you guys hanging out all by yourselves last night. There a problem with that? No, you just looked kind of bummed. That's all. Shut up! And why are you so interested? Something good happened to you? Um, no. Aha! So you're in the same position as us. Hey, say something to this lonely girl, won't you? None of your business. Are girls the only thing that tiny head of yours can think about? That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? Ooh, count me in. Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? What do you think Morgana and Futaba would like? The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine? If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? 
Look, they have coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? There's acai powder over here. Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I know what you mean. We've come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. Oh, well said. In that case... Let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high! Yusuke, you find something? An hourglass that measures three-minute increments. Uh, w why? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? Oh crap, we're almost out of time! Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Hello? Senpai! <laughs> That's a much more appropriate greeting. Aloha! Huh? Who's that? Find anything suitable? Hmm? That girl! Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast! Yes, that's right. Our club's here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Hey, uh, it's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say. What doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. Mm-hmm, I think so too. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. Considering the rank I got last time, though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later, all right? Ah! <laughs> 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 
Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. Uh, I can understand why. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more complicated. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year? Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantomy effect. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, all right? I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi Kun? Well. There he is, the anti thief detective. I hope he slips up and self destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However... No, I shouldn't say anymore. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Wanna meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Huh? He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean... this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? That's impossible! How are you so certain? W well uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's uh, hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> this is bad. I'd better tell the others. about you know what right with the principal and we will now begin the emergency morning assembly as many of you may already know principal kobayakawa passed away yesterday i wonder if that suicide moon was for real it happened in front of the police station didn't it i think i was passing through there at the time the principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. 
And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing! Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this, too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <sighs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died, covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... <clears throat> well, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Kumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. 
It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. I already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah, the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, on? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey! Aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, well she was she more was useful more than useful you, as a matter of fact. fact. Hey, that's hey, inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right then, bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! I'm a human. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty? I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves' doing. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, 
You wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really... impossible alone? How horrible! What? I can't see who's there, Hester. Ugh. Hey, have you seen Morgana? I see. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Oh well, have a good day. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. I wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Um, not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We'd better be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? I'm activating it now. considered threats? President Okumura must be on guard what with everything that's been in the news. That bastard. He's just causing more trouble for us. Whoa. It's 
looks as though we're in a film. I wish I had brought my sketchbook. What is that? Robots? There are tons of them. They all have the Big Bang Burger logo. They're saying something. You must adhere to your shifts. If you don't like it, you can quit. However, you will not be compensated. What are they talking about? Oh! They said it's being disposed of. These robots are part of Okumura's cognition, correct? That means they represent... True. That's what they appear to be externally. However, this is most likely how the workers of Okumura Foods are viewed by their CEO. So he thinks they're his robots? If they're treated like this in reality as well, then the company truly is exploiting them. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Mona is our main objective here. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. Damn it. The hell's up with this? Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. We've hit a blockade quite early. But we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. So if he's here in the palace, he would have to be somewhere before this door. Hold, Vigilante! Who's that? <sighs> Those clothes... <gasps> Could she be? A black mask? Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? So, she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? <sighs> Are you the one who has been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstandings. Mona! You're okay! Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... This beauty thief! Beauty thief? I'll have you know she's a Persona user too. My name is Beauty Thief! She really called herself that? Uh, any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. We will take the treasure! Ona already said that. You are not qualified to be Phantom Thieves! Do you even understand what it means to be a Phantom Thief? An admirable Phantom Thief is... Yeah, tell them! You! What do you think it means? That's no good, I say! Enough with the idle chit-chat! You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this! You! Uh, me? Learn to take a hint! Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid! What? Um... What was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. We will take the treasure! You already said that. We don't have time to chat. <sighs> no point. It won't open. Don't underestimate us. Behind you! 
Here they come. Huh? Huh? Snap out of it. We need to go. We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry. Oh, hey. Bet you're tired. <sighs> that was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since I first awakened to my persona. What have you been looking at all this time? Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. The burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. Oh, damn it! Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door! That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? I want to believe that too. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us, such as exposing our identities. Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school, I think? Wait, what? But now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on, after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. We're gonna take them down. Oh! Man, this girl's hot! Ah, but she's younger than me. Ryuji! No way! She's the same age as me? She looks like my dad's friend. Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? You can say that again. Hmm? This girl! Haru Okumura. Okumura? Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. yet, I'm... Haru Okumura, correct? The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO of Okumura Foods. Care to explain why you are inside your father's palace? Oh, so that's...
that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Let's not talk about that. So, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various... doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely-looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm-hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the Metaverse. There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh. I just want my father to atone for his crimes. And help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we were... No, thank you. I will do this with Monachan and him alone. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. You shouldn't ignore Morgana, either. I'm home, Father. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. Uh, I finally get a foothold into politics and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about Phantom Thieves? It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called Phantom Thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. You're going to apologize when Mona comes, alright? I know already! And why are you just saying that to me? We need to be wary of the beauty thief, too. So we're doing a stakeout here. We'd better be ready for the long haul. Ain't he gonna show up today? I mean, what time is it now? Hold that thought. You guys are seriously slacking off way too much! Do you have business with us? Aren't you fulfilling the requests on the Phantom Aficionado website? Even leaving comments? It'd be best if you don't accept them so recklessly. The police will track you down in no time. If that were to happen, we'd be caught up in it as well. Uh, that's not what I intended! But that would be my fault. Uh, I'm actually not that great with machines. I'm truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? They're telling us for our sake. We should be thanking them. Won't you please put what happened behind us? 
So I'm the one you're here for? You guys need me after all? Is that it? Really? Ryuji! You're sorry too, Morgana. We weren't taking your feelings into consideration at all. Lady On. Uh, everyone, shouldn't you be using code names? Ryuji didn't really mean what he said, you know? He wants to apologize. Well, it's like, it was my bad too. I mean, I don't mind if you're not human or if you're useless. What a douche. On setup was completely ruined. Oh, is that right? So I am just some useless cat to you guys. You're so full of yourselves, but do you have the skills to back that up? Try and catch me then! Get in, beauty thief! You can't do this. Don't count on me ever coming back. There they go. Did he even think about how long he made us wait? Fine! We'll do this! Jeez, this isn't what we came here to do. You gotta hear us out, Morgana. There's nothing I have to talk to you about. Come on, there's no need to keep being so stubborn. I can't just give in like this. I have my pride to protect. <gasps> What's that over there? Huh? <gasps> Shoot! It seems we've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Uh, those two! It'll never end at this rate! What do we do now? I don't hear the sound of his engine at all. Could they have left Mementos? Her lack of vehicle puts us at a severe disadvantage. We should probably just head home for today. Damn it! Freaking Morgana! Hmm. Serves them right. Are you sure that was what you wanted? Of course it was. You made me look everywhere for you. What were you doing somewhere without any reception? Out late with guys, that's it, isn't it? I would never do such a thing! Come on, let me have some fun too, will ya? Can't you do that for me? Ah! Haru! You little... Let go of Haru! Ah! Uh, what the... Goddamn cat! Damn it. I am useless. Someone. Anyone. Is anybody out there? Will you shut up, you stupid cat? Damn that Morgana. He is so getting it the next time we run into him. Somebody. Was that Mona's voice? Hey, over there. That doesn't seem right to me. Sorry about the disturbance. It's just a lover's quarrel with my fiance. Fian? What? But she's clearly fighting you. How dare you make a fool of me? I'll be telling your father about this too. I won't forget your faces. Are you okay? I'm fine, but Monachan. This is nothing. Was that person really your fiancé? Whoa, so you're engaged then? That didn't seem like an ordinary fight though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? I think it'd be useless. 
I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness. Even if it means groveling on the ground. <laughs> it seems she has her reasons. I'll, um, apologize about what happened earlier. So, would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? Thanks. Did you get enough rest? Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. This can't be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. <laughs> Who said we're acting as phantom thieves for your sake? I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. You should stop lying. Do you remember what you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here. Don't you? Of course not! I was lying to myself too. But when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Doing this because my father is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. The truth is, I... Don't want to get married, right? I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, it couldn't be wrong. I was such a fool, tied down by vague notions, and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. But I won't tolerate this anymore. I can't stand that creep! <sighs> That's how I truly feel. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? That's... At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. But I wasn't making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. Morgana... I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. That's why. To me, this team is... Come on, say it. You can do it. It's the only place I can belong. I want to stay here forever. That was refreshingly honest. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start. Jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. You better be sure about this. It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Of course we want to stay with you, too. <clears throat> uh, so... Well... I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? We're reforming our give-and-take deal. All right. Well, in the end, wouldn't you say that your encounter with us was destiny? That's right. Encounter? Hmm? Oh crap! The last train's coming up! I must go as well. Let's continue this another time. I... Stay at our place. I'll arrange it.
see you all tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep. I'm exhausted. Man, this place is as drab as always. going on here? You brought over another girl? Of course it worries me. I'm your guardian. So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know? No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right! Can we exchange contact info? Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? Well, yeah. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Father, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. I need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? That's horrible. It's that same fiancé guy, right? You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course! I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. You're suddenly lecturing us? You're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. 
Even her persona is lacking a solid form at the moment. Weak? Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. Nah, don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, so why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course! We'll get them both! October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then! By the way, you seemed real fired up back when we first met. Was that an act Mona put you up to? You know, the beauty thingy? That was... um... I was trying to be a heroine of justice. Uh... is that a joke? You moron! Ever since I was young, people around me have never seen me for who I really am. They would be kind to me just to please my father, and we'd get money and presents in exchange. Adults, teachers, even friends. It seemed like everyone smiled at me for their own personal gain. That's why you kept the details of your family a secret at school. But the female superheroes I used to see on TV were so great! They always fought for others, not themselves, and they were always happy. I wanted to be just like that! Even though I knew it was a fantasy, I still looked up to them. Everyone goes wild over heroes at some point. It's fine having someone like that on our side, right Joker? Oh come on, you're not the kind of guy who gets embarrassed. We're gonna be heroes too! What are you doing here? Uh, huh? This is insane on so many levels. I thought I told you not to associate with vulgar people. That bastard. Him? Did he come into the palace too? No. He might look the same, but that isn't the real person. Remember what I explained to you earlier? You mean about the cognition thing? What are you mumbling about? Do you recall what I said before? that I would do my best for you. This is my answer to that. Are those... the rumored phantom thieves? I see. <laughs> You're handing them over to me as a plea for forgiveness. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. You truly embody the Okumura motto. Very well, join me. Why do you only ever think about gains and losses? That's why the company has a bad reputation. All because you treat people like they're tools! To gain, you must give. One must be resolved to give even more if they wish to stand above others. We are on vastly different levels. And soon, I will rise to a new stage. The political world. The cold reality of kicking people down is a part of business. Virtue and sentiment are for losers. <laughs> Okumura Foods shall be the foundation of my victory. His company is just a stepping stone. Mr. Okumura, we don't need a girl who's been soiled by thieves. Unless you make some compromises. I can't introduce her to my father. She needn't be your lawful wife anymore. Take her as your lover, or whatever it is you desire. Very well. I accept. Lover? I was raised under this company's wealth. I even accepted a political marriage for you. This is not what we discussed! Father, you want me to be that man's plaything just to satisfy your own ambitions? <laughs> Why fret? You should be overjoyed that you're fulfilling your role as an Okumura daughter. This is the only value you've had from the very beginning. So, 
Even his own daughter's life is a commodity to him. I... Now, why don't you come to my place? Let's have fun. I'll play with you until I get bored. A high school fiance can be for what it's around. So vulgar. No! Haru's persona won't stand a chance against that! Don't worry! Yeah. <laughs> she hadn't awakened to her real power, that's all! How dare you! <laughs> I see you finally made up your mind, my dear fated princess. Freedom for you must stem from betrayal. If you still yearn for it now, then you must not err. Now tell me, who shall you betray? My heart has been set. You should know. Yes, that gaze! I can finally display my true strength! I am thou, thou art I! Let us adorn your departure into freedom with the beautiful huh? betrayal! Jeez! Farewell, dear father! I am no longer your subservient puppet! Then so be it. You're worthless. Hm. Deal with them how you wish. You poor thing. I'll toy with you until you break. I don't expect you to come to reason at all. Uh-huh. We should have just told you this from the start, asshat! We are the Phantom Thieves. Here to take your bride! Thieves who steal from others need to be severely punished. How be a good girl. Come be my toy. I have no intentions of talking to you. For the sake of changing my father's heart, I cannot lose! So this is Haru's true power. Haru? Alright, let's do this. Time to pummel that scummy jerk. I did it. I did it, Monotone. What were you saying about her persona being weak? <gasps> he disappeared. Is that okay? Are you sure you taught her how things work in here? I did. Or so I thought. What's the point if she doesn't get it? Don't worry. Cognitive beings have no correlation to their real-world counterparts. You'll see when we get back. I guarantee he will be okay. Then he's not dead? That's right. Dude! Does this mean we got a new teammate? Good to have ya! Uh... She already has a code name. You can call me Noir. Noir? It means black in French. I'd like to be a heroine of justice, but the Phantom Thieves are on the darker side of the law. I chose the name Noir to remind me of that. There you have it. As long as she's into it. She created quite an elaborate backstory. Noir? I like it. It conveys a dignity that won't bow down to others, as well as a rebellious spirit towards society. Thank you. Don't let your guard down, Noir. Our trip through the palace doesn't end until we steal the treasure, after all. Yes, sir! Someone's talking all big again. Whoa, look at that! I can smell the treasure over in that direction. It's probably in that building. Hmm, that seems quite far off. It is difficult to ascertain the shortest route there as well. We'll just have to keep going on whatever path we find for the time being. Let's go. Yes, we found it! This is it! But we haven't found any information about the mental collapses. That bothers me. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he's hiding it. We got this far. Wouldn't it be better to just squeeze the truth out of the guy? That 
plan is fine by me. Let's send out the calling card and take his treasure then. You can decide when we do so. Oh, honestly. There you are, inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It requires the cooperation of phantom thieves undergoing the same ordeal in other worlds. It's a special fusion called Public Execution. This is a helpful ritual where you select a persona from another phantom thieves group and fuse them for your own usage. We've heard that there are special powers for personas that are only attainable with this fusion method. Basically, whether or not you make good use of it is up to you. You better devote yourself, inmate! The development of rituals is now complete, but your rehabilitation shall continue onward. Put your best effort forth toward that ultimate goal. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, I'm the first one here? Yep, you've got them all beat. I see. Actually, this may have been a stroke of good luck. There's something that I want to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. What's the situation? I've been thinking. I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battles. But I need your help to make it happen, Monachan. <laughs> oh, me, eh? Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how we finish. Haru? Sometimes the stuff you come up with honestly scares me. Oh, it's absolutely fine if you don't want to. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. Great! Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. All right. Just you wait, leader. I'll show you my best. Oh yeah! I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Ah, you mean the Phantom Thief basic training. There's much we need to teach her. Please do! Oh, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeated my fiancé in there. Will that have any effect on my father? Nope. They did something similar in my palace, but I'm perfectly fine. Is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was terrible. Uh, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it, but I don't think you'd like them. Hmm. Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. <sighs> in any case, if Haru followed that conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. We will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay. I place this in my father's study, and the treasure will appear, correct? If he notices the calling card, then yes. Are you afraid of doing this to your own father? To be honest, a little. Try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow? 
Yeah, you're right. We can laugh or cry all we want, but we only get one shot at this. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. Hm. From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Oh, the comments are coming in hot. Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Damn it, this isn't a game! The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiance, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru are right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. I feel like he's hiding something. Something big. True. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure! Treasure! What? Emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. Certain areas may be shut off or destroyed. I repeat, emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. All personnel is advised to evacuate immediately to a safe area of the facility. What in the world? There is no time to deal with you. I must be making my own You can all stand and watch in despair this. Your destruction is imminent. <laughs> Looks like we caught up to you, Mr. CEO. I... I'm sorry. I've had a change of heart. I'll prove it. Father... Haru, you were always so agreeable. 
Whether it was in school or after, you only ever did as I said. You become so admirable. What's gotten into him? Ah, oh, yes. Do you remember, Haru? You cried your eyes out when my work kept me from attending your first sports day. It was then that you stopped talking back to me. Honestly, you had me worried. Still, you stood up against me and became an independent young woman. Nothing could make a father happier than seeing that. You still remember something that happened so long ago? Back then, you poured your heart into making delicious food. You wanted to bring joy to others. Why did you change? Forgive me, Haru. But I would never last if my treasure was stolen. Please, don't do it. I'm begging you. Father, let's... Let's end it here. Ah, Haru. You foolish girl. What? Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. That is our family motto. The cold reality of kicking people down is part of business. Virtues and sentiments are for losers. What happiness can be found in acting with justice but losing the battle? What happiness can be found through profit, gained by crushing the hearts of others? Better that than fail. I'd much rather destroy others than wallow in the misery of debt. Regardless, I shall soon set sail into the political realm. To the upper echelons of the world. To Utopia. My name shall be etched in the annals of history. Make your decision, Haru. If you cast them away, I'll let you join me on this ship. Stay and you will be incinerated along with this entire face. Now then, what is your choice? You fool. Noir! What about you, Dora? Don't you want to get out of here alive? Want to board my ship? You're fighting against the others, are you not? Huh. So you were spying on us. You'll gain nothing by staying with them. That's what you believe, isn't it? You are absolutely right. Sell them out. Cut them off for your own personal gain. I'll even give you the switch once we take off. So, do we have a deal? I'll give you ten seconds. Time is money, after all. <laughs> Don't take me for such a fool. Everything's gains and losses for you, isn't it? I pity you, Mr. CEO. You lived with Haru for 17 years and you still haven't realized? In this world, there are tons of things that money and fame can't buy. What point would there be in only saving myself? <laughs> Nobody could replace these guys, period. You know what that means? Your offer was a no-go from the start! What? <laughs> Whoa, it hit! Ha. Way to go, me! Wowza! You're so cool, <laughs> Mona! <laughs> you stole the show, man! <laughs> Father... So much for the negotiation. <laughs> you rebels. There is time before launch. I will crush you all! Very well, then. Bring it! You little! You won't get out alive! This is the power of Akuma Foods! You're trapped. Give it up. Give up? Try saying that after you've taken down my company's elite soldiers. Go, my employees. Be the foundation upon which my victory is built. Now, my devoted workers, targeting them at random won't do the trick. You have to take each one out individually. Here, target that one first. 
the obnoxious blonde one! His employees are shielded. Persona! Let's break through and punch him right in the face! Seriously, how useless can you all be? Whatever become of company loyalty? Very well then, Haru! Teach our employees how to demonstrate their loyalty properly! Yes, Father! Huh? Me? My Haru faithfully obeys my orders. After all, she's nothing like your charlatan. Basically, that's my father's cognitive version of me. Hey guys, don't let this get to you. Just remember, once we take Okumura down, it'll all be over. Let's wrap this up quick! Not happening. You shouldn't have underestimated the strength of my company. Employees, fall in line! Time to work! They got more? Every problem can be solved with more manpower. That is the strength of my company. That's not something to be proud of. Goemon! Oh, damn these things. Chief Clerk, get in here and take care of this. Employees, to me! Accept defeat. For real? Goemon, strike! You got him, Fox! One enemy hit the ground! Painful, isn't it? Come forth! My other self! The countdown started. Persona! Take him down before it gets Damn it! Hey, section chief! Get these loudmouth brats out of my sight! Employees, to me! I won't let some petty thieves stand in the company's... No, in my way! There are no flaws in my father's logic! That's right, Harley! One must strike the enemy while the iron is hot! Accept defeat! and show them the weight of the corporate elite! Time to work! Show some brand loyalty! Flip a persona! Persona! Seems ordinary workers are not fit for the job. Executive Director, come to me. Time to work. Now then, fulfill your duty as my right-hand man. For the eternal prosperity of Okumura Foods. Persona! Let's go. You're down there. Hey, losing is not an option here! You carry the Okumura Foods Company name! Kill those thieves, even if it costs you your life! For the eternal I won't let some petty thieves stand in the company. No, in my way! My father's words are absolute! There's a good dog. Now I can take pride in my work. Shall we? Accept 
The last of the minions? Let's finish him, Joker! Damn it! If that's how it is, Holly, I command you to go forth. Show them the might of our company! Yes, Father! A cooler of you will be gutted if I fall. Do you grasp the situation here, Haru? Of course, Father! Well, then protect me! Even if it costs you your life! As you wish, Father! This is how my father sees me. Nothing more than a puppet that dances when ordered. This is for my father's sake. It's time. Go! Well, even Haru couldn't stop them. I've had enough. Someone get in here! Anyone! Father, the time's come to end this. I hope you're prepared! Just one more in a lineage of failures. I will contact your fiance and rescind the marriage offer. This may be the end for Akumura Foods. Forgive me, Haru. Father! <laughs> you were behind all the breakdowns and mental shutdowns, weren't you? I admit I spent large sums of money to help my company grow and to crush business competitors. Answer me, damn it! Did you do it or not? Not personally, I had a contract. All I did was make the requests to have them eliminated. Requests? Then there really is a mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all. So it's true. What kind of contract did you form? And with whom? <laughs> Come on, stop crying and tell us! Warning! Damn it, why now? Mr. CEO, can't you stop that thing? Oh well. We can't just throw our lives away like this. Look, up there! We've taken your treasure. Huh? There's one more thing you need to tell us. Have you seen this criminal's face before? Warning. We don't got time to get that out of him! We'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Panther! Shouldn't we bring Father with us? Don't worry, he'll be fine. We'll end up dead if we're not out of here soon, though. Only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. That is what you've taught me, Father. My... you told me... Will we make it? Probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible! We're counting on you, Mona! Four, 
job in there you know Morgana you seemed almost normal when you took the treasure oh the truth behind the mental shutdowns remains unsolved though Okumura wasn't the culprit still he did mention requesting people to be eliminated he has to know who's responsible hmm mom is this his treasure was a plastic model kit? What's the matter? I remember father telling me something before he changed. He said there was a model kit he really wanted back when he was a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Your family could get like a thousand of those kits though. Okumura Foods has been around for generations, but it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man but not the best businessman. He'd even lend money with no collateral. It seems the debt collectors were a frequent presence when my father was young. That must be why. Why Okumura was so willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. Whoa! This thing's insane! It is a staggering price. I've heard this can happen to collector's items, but still... People are gonna pay that much for a plastic toy? By the way, when exactly is the change of heart supposed to happen? Soon. That's all we know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens until then. Once he has his change of heart, we'll surely be able to find out who's behind the mental shutdowns. Yes. Exactly as you planned, sir. Everything. From the Phantom Thieves targeting Okumura, to them changing his heart. We've lost a convenient source of income, but I'd rather not risk his connection coming to light. Okumura was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. Of course, without fail, sir. I've requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden mental shutdown will occur at just the right time. We'll dispose of our disappointing connection and the Phantom Thieves at once. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> I've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time. I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of our group. Turns out I just don't have any guts, huh? Come on, I've known you long enough. No need to be modest. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. Well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like... a reason to live. But now that I'm sure I belong with the Phantom Thieves, I know what I want to do. Do you know what it is? What else, right? I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the Phantom Thieves succeed. In other words, our goals are in alignment. From now on, I'm not going to hold anything back. You'd better put some effort in too. Don't make me regret my choice. Plus, I want Lady On to be happy. If my actions can help her achieve happiness, that's more than enough for me. I hope you're not thinking about how sappy all of this is. Huh. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. 
It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> Dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. I need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. Apparently they like that I'm not too serious. I guess my laid-back personality is coming in useful. So, um... Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. You are way too lax when it comes to your diet. You need to be more serious about your nutrition. And the state of your room. You need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. I put up with the mess because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. I'm currently in the process of eating better myself. I only have cup noodles every other day now. There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know? Oh yeah, there's one more thing. You're a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? That whole thing with Takase-kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. I haven't lived this long without learning a thing or two, you know. Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. Right? For my students and for you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Okay, let's get into it. 50 terms, go! I don't want you to flunk your exams. I'm going to go the distance with you. <sighs> what? Excuse me, but... Could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. 
something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. It in here. Huh? How did Yoshizawa's son handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this. But your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. <sighs> Sir. So, uh, pardon me. But there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamishida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. Right? 
Godiva, in front of the stadium. Where we met before. She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Oh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Beginning navigation. Is that... the nav wait do you think it was Yoshizawa it's a possibility she wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace she can't fight like we do we have to find her fast why how are you here who's that is she a cognitive being ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard I the school moved her exam period. period. It must be I nice getting get get perks like, like that. that. Where are these voices? Her whole oh, I'm, I'm not bothered, bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. sometimes. Getting get a special get treatment is like, like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's doing that? I understand how you feel, but well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worth Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one is not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? 
You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. Filling my life with this pressure? Demanding the results that you want? Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <laughs> Rather than accept away from cinders. You strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well, if those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion! We'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do! Let's dance! Show them, Sandrion! <laughs> Persona! By the myriad truths! Quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? I knew it. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick! We can explain later. Right! Oh! We're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal, too. This was your location before you entered the Metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse with palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but...
after seeing it all for myself. But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? It took you long enough. And I am not a cat! I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana-senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well... I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but... I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honors status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so... I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but I also overheard the Vice Principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. Then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. The nav? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right... Sorry, this won't do any good. What's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so... I guess it's no big deal. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? I knew it. Wait, that means when we were at the cafe with Akechi-san, I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Ugh, I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. You may be right, but I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? 
Thank you, Morgana Senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, Senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. All right, that's it for today. It's finally lunchtime. Man, I'm really in the mood for some bread today. Hey, can I speak with you for a moment? So about Dr. Maruki's counseling, you've already gone to see him, right? I see. That's good then. I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? Counseling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! Uh, senpai! So nice to see you! It's going wonderfully! Are you also about to eat lunch, Senpai? If it's alright with you, would you mind eating together? Ah, how nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? We were just discussing eating together. Are you sure? Well, maybe I will tag along then. Um, is that your lunch, Yoshizawa-san? That doesn't really... I have to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touché. And you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know... You seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes. I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I'd worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Well... It's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things. Or, more like, a reason to stand up to my problems. Isn't that right, Senpai? Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. Hmm. who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? 
aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed, no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the Snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destinyland? By Destinyland, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destinyland, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! We're really gonna have it at Destinyland? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we cancel the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this! We'll just celebrate twice as hard today! I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? Hmm, that was delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with the view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. You say that like you're not tapping into your inner child, too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. That's a good way of putting it. I wonder if that has to do with where we are. My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. 
This will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? Seriously. <laughs> 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 my party will be for me. Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father... Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes. I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Okumura-san? Right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Mona-chan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. I want to know that myself. We made sure we just took the treasure too. <sighs> I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the Shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? This is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today... I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... <clears throat> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? 
There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. I know this, of course. However, what of the general public? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The Principal? No one told me about that. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but... With my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. All right. 
But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, hey can you can hear, you hear me? me? You need to you stay need focused. To Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes. I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed. So damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? What's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura! So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um, it was a woman named Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... Things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? All calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. 
Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were gonna change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi-kun has been right all along. He's so admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him? That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. The Phantom Thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a Phantom Thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. Oh crap, you think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. I hope the cops catch him. The police are here again? Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. Troubling. Oh, have you come up here to assist me? You, um, heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just, so much has happened to me lately. Perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. I am. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. It's just, I know I'm the president's daughter. But I never thought I'd actually end up involved in company business. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets? Stocks? It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But... It feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. 
The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? In return, I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? I grew these right here in these very planters, and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... <laughs> you like vegetables? That's good to know. But to tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Congrats on surviving midterms! <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. ...and immediately acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, I will... Uh, again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The Medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So someone used the Mejed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they used the Mejed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What?! That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? For summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group, and the one who tampered with the site, are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjet's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing, and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. 
So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way. This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Indeed, we don't. It'll be more dangerous jumping to conclusions and assuming we figured it out. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful, though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. They were there today too, right? Yeah, what do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there's a phantom thief at our school. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san and you two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. 
Just don't say more than is necessary and try and get it over with quick. Take a seat. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah, yes. You're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamishita? You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go now. Oh, I almost forgot. There's just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? We won't know for certain unless we investigate further. Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? I got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. It seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Oh, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Not to me. He looked like someone who's dealt with dangerous criminals. I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. But now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. We were so popular too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else? You need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> It. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, Akechi. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Aren't you taking this a little too lightly? Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. 
God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time! Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How was Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? We're not gonna get arrested because the police tracked her down, right? That's the last thing we need now. Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change? Whoa, no need to deny it so seriously. It was just a joke. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. I can't let you get away with that, you know. You're sure you're not getting involved in anything? <sighs> well, fine. Makoto. Has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous. But without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Akechi-kun? In that case, I'll do it. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. 
hold on. How are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. For real? Could you send that my way, please? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on the Sakechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. Welcome home. You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a... difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals, thieves on the loose, as sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. Standing here is my job. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Okumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. 
There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You are so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. This'll be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Oh, right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened in the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. Doesn't even sound remotely possible! Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that! Yuji, you're making a scene! Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Okechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? Still. It doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi-kun is planning. Thank you for the wait! Ooh, it's fresh made! Lies! I heard a microwave go off! Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious! 
Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. Is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Ooh, impressive as always. Oh, everyone's all here. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. But... It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is... Oh, oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? I'm... I'm fine. I just love, uh, spicy... spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll... I'll see you, uh, t -t -t tomorrow. <laughs> wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just imagining things. So, I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously? I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. Huh. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Well then, we will now begin today's panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the Notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. 
Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. <sighs> Excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing! Pipe down! He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then, who do you think the Phantom Thief are That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have ten minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? No! That's gotta be shopped! I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes. 
It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world, too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. So, you admit it then. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this... We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just... talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, and we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you, along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? And just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation? Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. 
Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Host festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post festival party? Then why don't we go together? Festivals don't come around every day. So we may as well enjoy it while we can. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai! And now, it's time for your favorite shooting tradition! The Student Sharing Special! <sighs> But, before that, we've decided to change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all. <laughs> Members of the dance club, come on down. Yeah. <laughs> 
Standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it! Impressive, Senpai. And now that you're all warmed up, let's switch up the music. Hey, you're Yoshizawa's son, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. something. Just wait here and watch what happens. I danced my heart out back there. <sighs> Thank you. Wow, that dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Thank you. I'll be all right, though. The post-festival party was so much fun, especially with you. See you soon! about what Akechi-kun said.
Yes. I was looking forward to this party, so we should enjoy it. And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition, the student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. All right, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's going to choose? I wonder who it will be. How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you! Huh? Is he... looking this way? Well then, come on up! He's talking to me, isn't he? So it really is me. Come, come! Everyone's waiting! Well, I'm going. And your name is? Wait, you're a Kumara son? Um, yes. She's a Kumara son. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're, um, still grieving. My, um, deepest apologies. Oh, please don't worry. So, uh, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Something to share. I have too many things. Uh, here, let me give you a question then. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? Party, huh? I still can't believe you said that. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. <laughs> As they say, who knows what may lie ahead. For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last too. Here, I'd like you to have this. I... bought it earlier. <laughs> now then, let's go home.
Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Taba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just Akechi, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go! The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it. But I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. 
Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. Really? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro... But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? <laughs> He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a Phantom Thief for the last six months? And on top of that, Futaba's involved, too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, 
I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Uh, I'm tired. win, no matter what. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives, and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further... If I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I see. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> 
Exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great! So unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap. It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? It's probably because... we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still, it's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I 
take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. What else should I be? Please don't take off my mind. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. What's up? What's up? Make sure you close up. Hi! Hey! sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! 
please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up, and an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan... I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... 
because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi-kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? Hmm? <gasps> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus! It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! Don't fall for it! Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! 
No! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right! Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh! <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been there are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai-san in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. Head right past there, and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. 
Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though, whenever arrests are made for her cases. I brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu... He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. But considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? I'm glad to see you remember. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Well then, let's go. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. She can see us? You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor, at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. 
Let us get after her, Joker. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! Persona! Robin Hood! What the hell? Oh, Mako-chan! I didn't realize we'd take the same train! Haru, what a coincidence! I was just thinking of you. Oh, were you? Yep. How should I put this? Our battles from this point forward are only going to get tougher, right? So, I've been reflecting on our approaches to combat in the hopes of finding some new tactics. In the end, I came up with something. But I realized I'll need your help with it. Me? Sure. If I can be of any help, I'd love to work with you on this. I appreciate it. So, what I'm thinking is... Mako-chan? <laughs> now that I think about it, this is probably going to sound rather absurd. Don't worry. If it's your idea, Mako-chan, I'm sure it'll be great. I'm glad to hear you say that. Well, ready to hear it? Huh? So, any thoughts? What a great idea! I'd be honored to help. Oh, thank you. Well, I hope it works out. Mm-hmm. Just leave it to me. But wow, Mako-chan, you come up with some pretty bold moves sometimes. I really look up to you for that. Do you? I'm not sure how that makes me feel, but <laughs> thank you. The star will grant us our wish if it's based on such a great plan. I'm positive. So, this is the location you've been using as a hideout. Can we just get started? Forced investigation will take place on November 20th. That's our deadline this time. Is there any possibility of that investigation being moved to an earlier date? I highly doubt it. How could you be so sure? Didn't they want to catch us as soon as they possibly could? They may be corrupt, but they are still a bureaucracy. Certain steps must be taken in order to continue forward. Unless their situation becomes extremely dire, they won't act with only circumstantial evidence. I'm impressed, Detective Man. You sure know a lot about internal affairs. Yes, he is quite promising. Well, this is a purely give-and-take relationship. You taught me the inner workings of the Phantom Thieves, so it's only fair I return the favor. And I will be sure to contact everyone if the investigation team makes any odd movements. That would be helpful. Hmm? 
The enemy dropped some cards. Ah, aren't those what we're looking for? Oh, there are no names on them. They'll be unusable if they remain unregistered. <laughs> I can handle that. Okay, first registration complete. I wasn't sure what name to give it, so I just thought of a random one. Taro Tanaka. That's way too simple. Aren't they gonna figure that out? Um, they already know what we look like, and that we've intruded into the palace. Then again, it's probably better to be safe than sorry. Okay, the fake name for this card is a little more elaborate this time. Shinji Nakanomatsu. I also found a map of the casino. Joker, you can hold on to this card and the map. Don't lose them, okay? As for the Taro Tanaka card... Hmm... Crow, get rid of it next time you see a garbage can. Hmm? Why me? <sighs> These kinds of chores always fall to the newbie. Oh. Look! I found the perfect exit. Let's hurry up and get out of here. We can also use that elevator now, right? According to the map, it would be quicker to use this path than to go back the way we came. Come, let's hurry on. Just get this over with right now, huh? That makes this easy. Bring it on. Do not speak to me as though you are my equal. I am the manager of this casino, as well as its number one player. At the moment, you lack the qualifications to fight me. It would seem she looks down on us. And what if we would like to battle you no matter what? I had to win time and time again in order to reach my number one rank. If you want to face me, you must continue to win as well. Continue to win? It must have to do with the fact that this place is a casino. Correct. Do you have the confidence to win? We might just pull the rug out from underneath you if you aren't careful. I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. different from our prior opponents. She'd rather scheme than defeat us with brute force. It's going up. I wasn't expecting to come all the way to a palace only to end up gambling. I've never done anything like this. What about you guys? Looks like this is going to take longer than expected. We don't got time to waste! No need to worry. Leave this to me. You know how to do this? I'm well informed on what it takes to win. In any case, we need to hurry and change her heart. If she acts recklessly, both her chances of promotion and reputation as a prosecutor will drop greatly. Sai-san didn't used to be like this, did she? My sister must have lost her sense of justice because her desires became distorted. Do you think there was a particular event that triggered her palace's creation? I believe it's related to my father's death. My sister took on all the responsibilities of dealing with it herself. Trying to earn a living wage, gain a promotion in a male society, and uphold justice at the same time. Those things may have weighed her down and led to the distortion within her heart. My apologies, but we don't have time to be sentimental. The longer we wait, the more people will learn about us. The investigation will advance as well. Hence, we must infiltrate this palace as quickly as possible. She did challenge us to reach her after all. Nijima's treasure must be at her managerial base of operations. Either way, we have to get there. What a clever trick. We merely followed your rules. I 
It appears both the Saison of the real world and that of this world are at their wit's end. I think our guests will be leaving now. You're the only one who's gonna be leaving, Black Suit! Things would have been so much simpler if we could do this from the start. Completely distorted. We have to stop her quickly. We all feel the same way. There's no time to waste. She mentioned something about a manager's floor, right? Let's try heading up there. We'll change Nijima-san's heart for sure. Out of the way. Beyond this point is the high limit floor. Do you have a reservation? I said out of the way! We shouldn't cause a scene. Do you have a reservation? It seems there is some kind of requirement we must meet before we can access this high limit floor. Even though we got the coins? It must be related to my sister's cognition in some way. I can't imagine how, though. Her cognition. Essentially, Sai-san needs to think of us as being allowed to enter, correct? Huh. Well, this casino is the courthouse in reality. So that floor must be a place only authorized personnel are given access to. I would say it has to be the courtroom. You really are an ace detective. He's come to understand the workings of the cognitive world so quickly. Well, I was just like that too, right? It took you ages to get it, Ryuji. I just got a different sense of time, that's all. That aside, how are we going to get into the courtroom? Ryuji, go piss off the police! Hell no! We just need to attend a trial. Still... How are we supposed to know which trials my sister will be attending? Leave that to me. I have some connections that come to mind. I will contact you once I manage to arrange a time. We should return to the real world for today, though. Well, see you all at the courtroom. This is what the courtroom is like. Just being here causes my body to tense up. I'm shocked that Nijima-san can think of somewhere this solemn as a casino. So Makoto's sis is that lady who's overflowing with the aura of a capable woman. Mm-hmm. By the way, what's this trial about? A politician who decided to make personal use of government funds? I read about that in a magazine! He went on a vacation with his mistress to some fancy hot springs. Aren't politicians supposed to be loaded? Why'd he mess with our tax money? Playing with other people's cash is a total no-go. This may sound odd, but isn't Mijima-san supposed to be busy with our investigation? Does she really have time to be coming to a trial like this? Supposedly, she was on this case before being assigned to the Phantom Thieves. Normally, another prosecutor would take her place, but... Sai-san can be a bit of a perfectionist. Hey, how are we gonna get Nijima-san to notice us? Did you tell her we'd be coming? I don't think she read the message, though. Do we have a backup plan? Not exactly. 
I'm sure she'll notice us eventually. Hmm? I noticed a lot of students here, but is that a Kechikun? And Makoto? Now that I think about it, there was a message about her coming. That doesn't matter for now. See? It's almost time to begin. All right. Nijima can see now that we're allowed in the courtroom. This should let us enter that high limit thingamajig. Let's head over to her palace once the trial's over. Stay in the bag, damn it! Now then, our gripping battle is finally here! The idiot leader of the adult defying thieves has come! Odds are 1.1 to the house, 23.0 to the Phantom Thieves! Wow! Phantom Thieves are surprisingly popular! It's rare to see odds in the double digits! Now, let us begin our serious one-on-one -on -one battle! Bring out the first contestant! Uh, what the hell? There's two of them! This isn't one-on-one -on -one at all! They're just ignoring the rules right from the beginning! Now then, it's time for this hellish trio of battles to begin! Ready, set, go! There are even more than before. How cowardly! There's nothing fair or honest about this! Quiet down in the peanut gallery! Now it's time to die in this blood-curdling battle! Come! Once again, justice prevails. The, the, the payout will be handed over after this. Uh, please wait. Congratulations, here's your reward, 100,000 coins. Oh shit, that was freaking amazing, Joker! You were incredible! They never even planned on giving you a fair fight in there. Yes, I expected that would be the case. Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing full well the possible dangers? I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. Come now, we should head to the bridge. This shall be our moment to shine. Authenticating Members Card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. We got that! Now let us through! It seems you worked hard to gather that many coins. I never expected you would make it this far. I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. 
what? What? That's not fair! You can't give us an impossible task like that! Oh, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. Hence, I will emerge victorious! We had only just barely gotten a hundred thousand coins. She said she would let us through if we had one million coins, yes? In that case, there won't be a problem. You know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the requisite coins right here. What? How could that be? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Well, yes, but... For example, had we borrowed the max when we had 10,000 coins, we would have ended up with 20,000. And had we then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, our total would have grown to 460,000. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypotheticals. That's not what actually happened. Correct. On Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. You have... another card? That's the Taro Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I secretly used it to gather coins and outsmart this system. 460,000 coins! That means we would have over 500,000 if we add all of our coins together! <laughs> so what? That's still clearly not close to the required total. Actually, once my count reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount a second time. After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000. Adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1,010,000 coins. We can surely cross the bridge now. Wait, uh, if, if we borrow all them coins... Is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? Impossible. This can't be! Crow, it's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our Phantom Thieves' efforts. Now, we should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. It looks like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. Miss Manager's days are numbered. How on earth of you to simply barge in here? Elegance is necessary for victory as well, you know. I entertained you with all of my games, but it appears you are still far from satisfied. Very well. I've made preparations especially for that possibility. This will be a game of life and death from now on. No matter who I face, I shall not lose! Sis... <laughs> Our infiltration route is secure. We need to head back out and send the calling card. And once the calling card is sent, Sai-san's treasure will appear, correct? Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? That depends on the person. For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kaneshiro's was fake money. Father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. Could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. To be honest, both the taste and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade. I see. But it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good, but it was actually somewhat refreshing. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. Hmm. I first came across the plant in my house. It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. 
I'll take note of that. He's right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. I didn't expect this hobby of mine to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. Thank you for worrying about me, but I find the work relaxing. Hey, um, do you think you could help me out again sometime? Like you did today? It's a deal! <laughs> We're like real Phantom Thieves! Okay, I'll do my best from now on! It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company building. Perhaps some sort of connection? Tell me about this person. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Empress Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Still, he was right. The taste leaves much to be desired. Well, this place should do nicely. This. Remember what I told you? If you ever won against me using my right hand, I'd take you on with everything I've got. Exactly. Your insight allowing you to determine my dominant hand your quick wit, and most of all, how fast you've grown. You've exceeded my expectations in every way. Thus, I've built up this urge to duel you, without holding anything back. Thank you for indulging my selfish request. No need for pleasantries at this point, correct? Let's go! You won't be able to defeat me unless you actually fight with lethal intent. Now, show me your true skills. It's time. <laughs> this was not expected. No wonder you're the leader of the Phantom Thieves. You've caught up to me on this front already, too. I'd better not. If we went any further, we'd both go beyond the point of no return, wouldn't we? In all honesty, I'd love to see just how far we can go. But we have an important mission coming up. Until that's finished, you're a vital ally to me. We're done here. Let's go. Once again, I've learned something new about you today. As allies fighting alongside one another, your strength is truly reassuring. In all honesty, it's to the point that I'd be relying on you in a pinch. Is that so? Well, that would please me greatly. 
I'm sorry I asked you to indulge me, but I do feel a bit better now. All right. By the way, about that duel. If we had fought to the end, do you see yourself winning? I had a feeling you'd say that. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I hate you. Your deft handling of your unfortunate circumstances. Your uniqueness. Your ability to surpass me. All these irritate me. You're the one person I refuse to lose to. You really are... No. Never mind. I'll let you have this win today. But next time, I will be victorious. Let this be my proof. There's a tradition in the West to throw one's glove at their opponent when demanding a duel. Should the opponent accept the glove, the duel is also accepted. Make certain that you never forget, I am the one who will defeat you. Ha! <sighs> Look at the time. Let's call it a day, for now. Ah. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you, so you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maruki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I've come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies. In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. What? It's okay. Um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. Ow. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. Well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. Dr. Marky! Dr. Marky! Dr. Marky! I wanted to thank him personally, but 
It may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm-hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I ordered the deluxe bowls for us. Yes, let's. Ooh, this aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. There's no need to be obtuse. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target, a reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of hearts you induce in your targets. Well, I did pour my heart and soul into this research for a number of years. To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you? Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Uh, thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Hmm. Well, I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? A deal, eh? Well, I'm awfully grateful you see it that way. And just so you know, I have no intention of telling anyone about this. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though... 
It'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? That's right. Hey! No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. <laughs> Boss said he reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? Huh? Everyone here is a witness. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on sai -san's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yep, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Okay. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense! They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them! Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Uh, oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. 
I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis! Um, I'm on your side! I won't let anyone do anything to you! <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not! Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. The day has come. Are you all prepared? What of the calling card, Makoto? I showed it to Sis. She took it from my very own hands. Makoto. I understand how you feel, but you mustn't be so downtrodden. Yeah, if we screw this up, we're done for. It's way more than losing the place we belong. We could even lose our lives here, you know. It'll be all right. I want to save my sister, no matter what. Has everyone decided? Mm-hmm. All's well that ends well. So much has happened since we first started. You guys have become quite the reliable team. All right, Joker. This is the Phantom Thieves' final heist. Give us the signal. It's showtime. What kind of game will it be this time? No matter what you bring out, we will emerge victorious. You are making a grave mistake if you think you have me cornered. I only guided you here because this place allows me to fight to my heart's content. Sis... When my father died in the line of duty, I hated his killer from the bottom of my heart. Dying to uphold justice sounds virtuous, but the ones left behind have to clean up the mess. Can you imagine the hardships I had to endure? Perhaps I had overestimated her. I thought her reasoning would have been more noble somehow. She's lost control. This is wrong! Justice cannot yield to evil. I must win, no matter what! This is nothing more than self-righteousness. All we need to do to determine who is right is bad. What is she intending? No more coins or playing games! We ain't following your damn rules! Oh, you will. There is no room for negotiation. You will know soon enough. What was that? Now, come at me! You'll save her, right? All right, everyone! Be on alert! <laughs> May the best player win! All right, let's do it! Let's go! You're mine! Ruthless Persona! Forbidden here. One must follow the rules. 
We already told you, there's no way we're gonna follow your rules anymore. That's fine by me. Such troublesome people will just face the penalty. There's a penalty for not spinning the roulette. What should we do? Ah, so you've broken the rules. In that case, it's time you be penalized. This is your penalty. Joker, are you all right? What? This is the penalty? Those who cannot follow rules are not to be tolerated. That is simply how society operates. You will predict which pocket the ball will fall into. Now, the time has come for our first round. Choose where you will place your bet. I'm almost positive she's going to try and cheat. But even if we bring that up, she'd just ignore us. We should go along with the game from now, and try to gain evidence on her methods of cheating. I agree. Well, how will you bet? Have you made your decision? Then let's see the results! We lost! Have you figured anything out, Joker? Really? How is she doing it? You're right! It did seem like the ball floated for a split second there. How humiliating. Let's catch her in the act so she can't talk her way out of it. Have someone snipe the pocket when that glass lid appears. You're in charge of choosing who's gonna be the sniper. Let us expose her treachery. Leave it to me. I'm on it. May the best player win! The stuff displayed on the monitor changed. That must mean the betting changes every time. Maybe not. All right. The sniper is in their designated spot. All that's left is to wait for the next roulette spin. Very well, time to make your bet. Well, how will you bet? Hopefully your prediction will be correct this time. <laughs> Wha what? <laughs> Joker! What was that about fair and square? You were totally cheating! <laughs> you coward! What are you so quiet for? Say something! Shut up! Shut up! Joker. What? The roulette panels changed? <laughs> Little punks. She's way more powerful than before. Don't Go. underestimate her. All will be revealed. Persona! <laughs> My skills exceed yours. Only victory matters. To guarantee it, you have to be willing to do anything. Doesn't might make right? 
No matter what happens here, I need to keep winning! What kind of logic is that? It's about time you came to your senses! I'm right. I'm always right. That's why I have to be the victor. All who stand in my way will be crushed. Winning is all that matters. So I've lost. Sis! That's only a shadow. Why are you so... Quiet! Sorry. We'll go grab the treasure. Makoto? I don't think it's wrong to bring light to evils which can't be judged by law. That's all the Phantom Thieves have been trying to do too. But these aggressive investigations? Twisting the truth for your own personal gain? Please! You have to think back to the feelings you had when you first wanted to be a prosecutor. Think about your justice, sis. My justice. Try to remember how you used to be. How... I... Nijima-san. She's just like my father. What caused them to change like this? Hmm. Even though their own desires were the cause, succumbing to such distorted thoughts is strange. Is there another reason they don't know of? We found it. The investigation will now be able to proceed. The suspicions against you will be lifted as well. This deal we made was a great experience for me. To think that I, a detective, would act alongside the Phantom Thieves. By no means. This shall be the end of our working together. That was part of our promise. You haven't forgotten, have you? All right, we don't need to stay here any longer. Are you all right? I am. Let's go. Huh? Enemy readings! When did they... They're gathering outside! For real? What the hell's going on? Look at those numbers. This doesn't look good. We defeated the palace ruler and even stole the treasure, yet the shadows are still restless. It doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? There are more coming? This will be dangerous if we don't do something! Huh? We need to go now. Those guys in black suits are almost here. We'll be done for if we get surrounded. A team this large would be discovered immediately. We had best split up for our escape. Although, we'll need someone to act as a decoy. No, that's too dangerous. Joker? Are you planning on distracting them by yourself? Let him do it, Queen. He's quiet. Once his mind's made up, he's not gonna take no for an answer. I'm sure you ain't gonna die. It's you we're talking about here. Please don't do anything reckless, okay? I'll never forgive you if you don't make it back. We still haven't fulfilled our deal, remember? Even more are coming! This truly is a painfully reluctant parting. It seems we had best hurry. We'll see you later.
find them and kill them all. Something wrong? The exit should be up ahead. You're there. That's just how it is. After that commotion, the bottom floor is completely closed off. Hey, can you make it? Over there! There's nowhere to run! to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. You were sold out. Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. Well done on making it this far, inmate. Now that you have traversed your long, perilous recollection, you truly have entered the present. The effects of that drug are gonna wear off soon. This is your golden opportunity. You must grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. The evil influence who wishes you dead is fast approaching. If you want to win this unreasonable game, if you wish to take back your stolen future, Recall the bonds you formed with your allies, and grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. <laughs> I see. So that's what led to your ending up here. What a disappointing end to the Hero of Justice. I still can't believe it. But I now have a general idea of the methods you used for your crimes. There's much more I'd like to ask, but my allotted time is nearly up. I do have a suggestion, though. Care to strike a deal? If you cooperate with me, I'll consider lightening your sentence. I have a responsibility to solve this case. I will win, even if it means brokering a deal with you. Your operation was leaked and you failed to change my heart. There's no point in being obstinate now. You've corrupted the order of this country and caused an uprising against its very existence. You'll most likely be given life imprisonment or the death penalty. Unless you accept my proposal. Going forward, I will read a list of people who are closest to you and this case. Tell me honestly whether or not the following are involved with the Phantom Thieves. First, the friend who you've been with since the day you transferred to Shujin, Ryuji Sakamoto. One of the victims of the Kamoshida case, An Takamaki. Ichiryusai Matarame's pupil, Yusuke Kitagawa. The daughter of Wakaba Ishiki, Futaba Sakura. The heiress to the Okumura Foods legacy and daughter of its CEO, Haru Okumura. And the frequently probing Student Council President of Shujin Academy, Makoto Nijima. Those are your accomplices in the Phantom Thieves case, are they not? So you won't sell out your friends. Then let me change the question. I find it hard to believe that high schoolers could have pulled off these crimes by themselves. 
Were there not others outside of your direct group who encouraged your crimes or lent their aid? Not to repeat myself, but remember that your life will be forfeit if your sentence is not lightened. You had the cooperation of people outside your group, did you not? Can you tell me about them? I see. So you won't speak a word about either your teammates or your collaborators. Do you even understand the position that you're in? Let's discuss one other person, Goro Akechi. There are reports that he was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves as well. Might he be a part of your team too? So Goro Akechi wasn't one of you. Very well. So be it. You clearly have no intention of bargaining with me. Even now, you're still acting as though you're a hero of justice. Your teammates have sacrificed you in order to escape, yet you wish to defend their honor? Why won't you talk about them? Don't be ridiculous! You're not the one to decide such things! Justice? Then tell me, what is this justice you speak of? Saving others? What an awfully simple response. You continue to stand firm. Are you implying that we have no evidence on you? You're right, we have nothing. And it doesn't help that your story sounds like a fairy tale. But many people have fallen victim to this. We need to learn the truth. <sighs> the truth, huh? I don't even know what's right anymore. And it's all due to your strange story. After all this, you're still... Are you listening? The side effects of the truth serum should be wearing off. I won't be deceived by such a poor act. It too, then. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. Hey. Can you hear me? It seems your mind is clearing up. But unfortunately, my time has run out. Although I find your story to be quite interesting, I won't be able to speak with you any longer. Huh? What are you getting at? That's right. No matter the results of this case, I won't be receiving credit. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. So, how did that thing we asked you to look into go? Nijima mentioned a special interrogation room, didn't she? Good. It looks like we can make this work if we lure them there. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Our time's up. We're done talking here. Goodbye. Do you mean this interrogation room? Why wouldn't I know about it? What an odd thing to ask. Anyhow, there's one last thing I want to ask you. There's something that's been bothering me for some time now. Recently, I was removed from my post as head of this investigation and was told to remain on standby. A short while later, I received word you were caught in the act, within some bizarre phenomenon. But that was all I was told. You were told someone sold you out, correct? If that's true, who could it have been? Don't you have any idea? My suspicions were true in the end. To think his true intention was to sell us out. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. It's all up to you, leader. Okay then. 
Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. We'll be counting on you to pull this one off. What's wrong? Might you have an idea as to who sold you out? <gasps> yes, very well. Go on. If you know something, you must tell me. I won't allow things to end like this. You mean this? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time until it's cracked. What's so important about this smartphone? Are you going to unlock it and show me the data? Let's let her sleep. She hasn't slept for days while she's been getting that app ready. Now we gotta figure out a way to show him the phone. Makoto and the others should have told you. I'm talking about the true culprit here. You know, the traitor. Hey, what are you trying to get at here? And what about this smartphone? The true culprit? We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that realm, my task will be simple. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Please. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? Not a teammate? <gasps> My god. You're referring to him, aren't you? <sighs> what are you plotting? I can't even begin to fathom it. But it appears my time is up. This is as far as our conversation can go. This will be my last involvement with this case. <laughs> Very well. I've listened to your whole story, so I may as well play along to the end. And that honest look in your eyes. I used to view the world the same way too once. I'll place my bet on you. I just need to show him the phone, right? blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of judgment, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. I'll be going now. What good will this do, though? A catchy gun? Wh why are you here? Why do you seem so surprised? I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was directly responsible for this case. How did you get approval? For the same reason you did. I am heading up the investigation team after all. It's only natural I'd have the right to interrogate our culprit as well, don't you think? <gasps> they assigned you command? <laughs> that was a joke, of course. I'm merely here to assist with the public security interrogation. I am surprised it's this far underground, though. There aren't any others incarcerated here, yes? Nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thieves? That was but a lie I spread to set them up. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had deceived you too, sai son. After all, if you wish to trick your enemies, you must first trick your allies. So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. I need... 
need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? <gasps> My God. You're referring to him, aren't you? Is there a problem? Akechi-kun, does this phone look familiar to you? Hmm? Excuse me? <sighs> what is this phone? It belonged to the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I believe you'll need it for your investigation. Not personally. I was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves myself, remember? True. This is undoubtedly a great accomplishment. Good luck in there. Foolish woman. May I ask that you accompany me? Going in unarmed to interrogate a murderer makes me uncomfortable. Ah! What are you? I owe you for all of this. Thanks. That's right. You and your little friends were vital to our plan. And now it will be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. Have you finally pieced it all together? <laughs> Case closed. This is how your justice ends. Shido-san, my job is complete. I've told you not to call me by name. Regardless, all that's left is to deal with the remnants. The continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? I considered making it appear they had a falling out, but that would only amplify public frenzy. It would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over. Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader? No chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. They have no backbone without his guidance. I will keep my eye on them just in case, though. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it as well. Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to worry about, it's merely a cat, after all. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Beyond that, what of the director of the Special Investigations Unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. Uh, 
No, it can't be. Even me. God, God damn it. all that about showing him this phone the phantom thief alibaba who is this i am alibaba a member of the phantom thieves i inquire as to your justice sai nijima how do they know i have this goro akechi is evil he didn't come to interrogate the captured phantom thief he came to kill him we could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. <laughs> Don't trust the guard, either. He's an accomplice as well. Now then, I'll tell you detailed steps to take. You must save him. You want me to... Save him? <sighs> huh? What is it? Um, nothing. <laughs> anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with your business. Did anyone else stop by? Nobody? Th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So it's all true. Of course it's true. Is something the matter? It's a Ketchikun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down today. Huh? I've been asked to handle things instead. You? But... You know, if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your life. Y yes ma'am! And don't say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. And now we return to our continued report. This morning, the police have announced that they've detained a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect is reported to be a young man who's Can I get you to look over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? So he got caught. That group sure was something. It, yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. How about we have you do an idol thing, you know? That cool? What a surprise. To think that the one behind all this is just a minor. And considering how quickly they announced his arrest, the police must surely be confident in the outcome of this case. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Huh? Goodness, look at you now. It's been a while, Ryuji. Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's uh... your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd love to see you run again. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seemed stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. Hmm. Normal. Right. He's just a high school student. How do you think he was contacting the others? The police here can search any online communications. His accomplices may slip up eventually. <laughs> Still, it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets have gone comatose. 
actual harm has been done here. Given the lack of physical violence, their method is still a mystery. Mm. Regardless, the police are looking into attempted murder charges. You never turned it in? That's quite the surprise. I thought I lost it this whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, your grades are excellent. And you're student council president. I'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply. That one phantom thief should have followed your example. You hear? It seems he was caught. Some high schooler. I wonder why he turned to a life of crime. We also received information that the young man was placed on probation for assault. Because of his previous record, he had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. I believe your father can rest in peace now. That phantom thief could never have changed anything. Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I make a good playmate, you know. We have breaking news. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death, although details have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. It would be difficult to uncover his methods now. Perhaps that's why he decided to take this course of action. It can't be. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This'll be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well then, we should get to sleep. You know, something that Futaba said before, when you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up a reading of someone who came to your rescue. Was that... So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. Going out? You gotta be kidding me. You realize you're done for if you get caught, right? Ugh. <sighs> the stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. Okay, she isn't here. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Conditions have not since been he's met. going to subjugate everyone as prime minister, perhaps a school? What about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial Palace? It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Or maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is.
That man over there is probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me. I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action, with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. An exemplary answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. No matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh. Last one. Diamond mine. Conditions have not been met. No good. How many do we miss? <sighs> Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to Diet Building, too. So you enter keywords into the Metaverse Navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. Him and his stupid, composed face. So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, Someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines, I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. 
No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too dangerous a method. <sighs> well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? To everyone gathered before Young and Jaya's nation. Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! Hmm? Man, talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! By the way, did something happen? You didn't seem well a moment ago. Now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. And criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope. So our children who carry the burden of the next generation can be proud of their country. So our nation can once again become a powerful one with abundant wealth and luxury. So our beautiful home will be acknowledged as the best country in the world. I humbly ask that you cast your vote for me, Masayo Shishido! Let us all set sail toward a happy future, together! I hope to continue serving you all! Is that the guy? You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back! I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, brat! You're that asshole we met at the hotel before! At the elevators! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? What are you talking about? Moron! Come on, stop! But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. Damn brat! I'll sue! What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. <sighs> what a piece of shit! So what do you think after seeing him in person? Wait! He's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy! For real? Seriously? You're sure, aren't you? Shido's the one who ruined your life. Holy shit! I don't believe it! <sighs> Let's get going, okay? Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? Talk about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? 
This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then, yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different! But now that we've found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. Ugh, that's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the diet building is will be despicable too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this. Security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become Prime Minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people... Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? It was a match? What? The Diet Building's a ship? What kind of scenery will that be? The actual building's on land! I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in! Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. Alright, do it. Anything change? We went in, right? Security guards seem to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sis's palace. But this time, the Diet Building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier, though. Wait, look! Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Come on, let's go take a look. How's it look over there? See anything? Nah, it's totally normal. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's up, Futaba? <laughs> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <sighs> the hell? Huh? <sighs> Thank you.
Children can be proud of my ass. It's completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. Oh, the same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well. Yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? Whether it be for glory or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this! We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. I can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure. All right! We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin. Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. Oh, is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to keep his guests entertained. Indeed, those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. Oh. <laughs> oh. What is with these people? Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. <sighs> come on, let's make him see what this ship really is. These huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. There are slots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. Since there is no one against the plan, this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we are on his side. You sure move on quick. But what's this qualification thing about? Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? That thought never crossed my mind. Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around! That must be the table. Right. That influential politician comes here. Why don't we have a seat at the table next to it and wait for him? 
I'll go. He may become guarded if we go in a big group. Wouldn't it be odd with just one girl sitting there, though? Does someone want to come with me? Hold up, Joker! Let me go with her! I mean, dude! It's a restaurant! What are you, a preschooler? <sighs> I was wondering why you were so excited about this. <sighs> why isn't anyone asking me to do this? All right, we're going in. Everyone else stay nearby. I'll give the signal when the time is right. Man, what should I eat? You can't get full off of food in a palace. He's as dumb as ever. Uh, I can't read this. I'll have the sautéed foie gras, a salad garnished with truffles, and roasted lamb, please. I can't believe you can order so easily like that. Say, ain't we kind of young compared to the others here? They're all involved with Shido, yeah? They seem to be major figures in the political and financial worlds. On whose permission are you sitting there, brats? Whose? Uh, I don't see any reserved sides or nothing here. It'd be a nuisance if you'd make a racket next to my table. I wish to dine leisurely. Children like you, who are simply hungry, should leave! What was that? Skull, be quiet! <sighs> Sorry. I apologize for our discourtesy. If you understand, then go home. Excuse me, but might you be Mr. Oe? Indeed I am. This will be an impudent request, but... Would you provide us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? From the looks of it, you appear to be minors. Why do you need an introduction? We wish to be granted an audience with him. His political ideology resonates so much with us. Of course, the same can be said about you, Mr. Oe. You have quite the silver tongue for one so young. Not that I mind it. Are you a high school student? Yes, sir. Speaking of high schools, I've heard that some principal somewhere kicked the bucket. He supposedly tried to leak Mr. Shido's name. <sighs> Had he simply obeyed, he could have remained in the upper echelons. To think he would cast all that away. An elite such as myself can't even fathom why someone would do such a thing. If you pledge your loyalty, you're given the honor of selecting those who would have mental shutdowns. Did you ask Mr. Shido to trigger a mental shutdown in someone as well? Hmm? Ah, more or less. Considering your caliber, I would assume that the target must have been someone quite important. <laughs> important? No. The target himself was nothing that impressive. Oh, you must be being modest. You recall the subway accident early last spring? The one I had targeted was that engineer. That was you? It was to take out the president of some company and a diplomat who sided with current government. I see. That was very useful, Mr. Oe. Hmm? Actually, my sister is a prosecutor at the public prosecutor's office. I could pass on what you just said to her. How about it? Won't you give us a letter of introduction? Is that a threat? Who are you two? The letter of introduction, please. Don't get cocky, brats. I'll never give you one. Looks like you have one, though. Well, guess it's time to use brute force. Guys! All right, we got a letter of introduction. Please keep the truth of that subway accident a secret. Fine. In any case, it turns out Principal Kobayakawa was connected to Shido after all. No wonder he was so adamant about me digging up information on the Phantom Thieves. Still, I can't believe Shido just killed him so nonchalantly. The entire nation is underwater in his palace. He must feel nothing toward one measly educator. In any case, even though that politician was cognitive, he turned into a monster. 
Up until Kaneshiro's palace, cognitive beings were nothing more than weak presences. No. That Oe fellow just now wasn't a cognition. Hm? But he had the memories and appearance of an actual person. He was probably a shadow fused with a cognition. It's like making the shadow wear human skin. I've never seen anything like that before. Such power is normally impossible. Wasn't Shido the one who destroyed the research done by Oracle's mother on cognition? Oh, do you think that when he did, he took the results for his own purposes? Shido. For all we know, Shido could have some hidden trick that allows him to tamper with his own palace. We need to be especially careful from here on out. Yes, of course. I will continue accepting them, even after I am inaugurated as Prime Minister. <laughs> as expected from you, Mr. Shido. You are truly a reliable man. And in return, I only ask for your continued support. Standing up to the world does require money. Of course. I'll make sure to prepare compensation as thanks for your help in cleaning up. The incident with that accident in spring was very beneficial. This is all thanks to you, sir. If the study of cognitive science progresses, I believe it's possible to increase the target range. <laughs> I bid you good luck with that endeavor. I hope you will continue to assist us. <laughs> you did it, Joker! We do seem to be inside that door we saw earlier, but why? And more importantly, isn't this a fitting room? Just trust me. Wait here and I'll be right back. What's he up to? Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. It's perfect. <laughs> this will totally work. Skull, you have quite a scary look on your face. Actually, it's creepy. Oh, don't worry about that. Come on, let's head back to where that former uh, noble dude is. Hey, it's you girls' time to shine. I didn't think that we were really going with such a simple plan. Well, there's no way guys lounging by the pool would not check out girls in swimsuits. I want to go home. Are we really going to do this? <laughs> no, it's for our plan. Will you stop saying stuff like that with a straight face? If you guys don't hurry, he's gonna go off somewhere. Uh, hello. It's a nice day, isn't it? What do you want? Um, would you grant us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? A letter of introduction, you say? <laughs> I would never give one to some nobodies like yourselves. A nobody? I've made my decision to only introduce those with a prestigious lineage. No matter how beautiful you girls may look on the outside, your ancestry cannot be changed. Yes, that may be true, but... well... We're... I'm quite charmed to meet you, sir. My name is Ahn Windsor. Ahn Windsor? My father is the descendant of British royalty. I beg your pardon. Seriously? These girls are the daughters of my retainers. Oh, yes. Lady On treats us quite well. Ah, are you half British, Anchan? I am. Your features are definitely different from Japanese girls. One can easily tell at a glance. <laughs> People tend to have such misconceptions, but that isn't true. My hobbies include tea ceremonies, 
Then again, my father forced me to learn that art. I see. I sense a noble aura that is different from your servants. Servants? Lineage is absolute, no matter how much effort a commoner exerts. <laughs> it is a gap that cannot be filled. You're absolutely correct. I do feel a little sorry for these girls. For real? By the by, about the letter of introduction. If you'd be so generous to grant me one, I'll consider introducing you to my father. Oh, hey. Consider it my way of sending my regards to him. Thank you kindly. But goodness, do you look great in that swimsuit. And such an amazing body as well. You look like you could be a model. Oh, no. Did you make sure to put on sunscreen? Hey, um... As members of prestigious family lines, why don't we get on more intimate terms? Excuse me? Come now, you peasant servants should take off. <laughs> You're making her embarrassed. Would you kindly stop this? Want to try on some other swimsuits in my room? Uh, don't touch me, you perv! No! Oh. Huh? Now that I'm done using you, get away, you creep! This guy's a molester! What the? How dare you set me up like this? Uh, it's your fault for falling for such bad acting. Oh, shut up. We're doing this. Don't come back! Okay, we got the letter of introduction. Only three more left! Were you asking Shido for mental shutdowns too? Contrary to past methods, gaining wealth by lineage alone is quite difficult these days. That's why I begged to be allowed onto Lord Shido's ship. In return for introducing wealthy nobles to him, I requested he enact mental shutdowns for me. I see. So this system of introductions is taking place in reality as well. Lord Shido is extremely cautious about the passengers he chooses. So he's screening potential associates to find wealthy people who won't betray him. And that's why the passengers are wearing masks. He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. In any case, On, your acting skills have developed quite strongly since our nude incident. Bringing that up! Just for clarification, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Good heavens, no. Everything is as written in the reports. I hope you remember the conditions for our arrangement. Support me as best you can. Understood? Yes, of course. After all, I am thankful for your aid, Mr. Shido. I'll call in some favors from some old acquaintances and take part in the birth of Prime Minister Shido. I'll have you step down if I catch wind of any slack on your end. Are we clear? <laughs> Crystal, I'd rather not meet the same fate as those I've eliminated thus far. <laughs> Good. Isn't the man sitting over there one of them? He's the president of a TV station, isn't he? He gives letters of introduction to executives of companies who are willing to sponsor his programs. That's a difficult condition to meet. Wanna just beat it out of him? Let me handle this. For real? But... I'll allow it. You've got this, Noir. Yes, Senpai. A letter of introduction. But you're so obviously a child. I'm Haro Akumura, daughter of the president of Akumura Foods. I believe we sponsored you as well. Oh, you're her. 
It's true that I'm quite indebted to President Okumura. He funded us extremely well, after all. However, it looks like he got a little carried away. My condolences. <laughs> Regarding his exploiting management, Mr. Shido asked me to defend him as much as I could. I even threw some extra security his way, but there were limits to what I could do. The damage almost reached up to Mr. Shido himself. President Okumura had to be cut off. Cut off? It seems he didn't just cast him off his ship, but also used him to trap the Phantom Thieves. Bravo, Mr. Shido. Truly a nasty maneuver. Won't you please give me a letter of recommendation? Once our company recovers, I will arrange for us to cooperate with you in a sponsorship role. You're the daughter of the late president. Do you really have the authority to do that? Your employees probably resent you. <laughs> well, that's not important. I'm in your father's debt, after all. I can repay some kindness to his daughter. Thank you. Very much. But my... Your father truly was a fool. He could have lived a life of luxury if only he'd done what he was told. You know, I'm the one who broadcast the moment of his mental shutdown. Our rating shot up because of that. <laughs> Stop it. Huh? How could you talk about my father's death like that? Hmm. That's just business. If you like, we can get you in a documentary. Overcoming death to rebuild a family company. You're so cute, you might just get good ratings. <laughs> I will not forgive you for that! You had better apologize to my father! <laughs> Time to save her! Are you... thieves? Okay, we have the letter of introduction. I assume as part of the media, you have knowledge about quite a few important topics. We will not take your life as long as you share the knowledge that you've kept from the public. Remember that... Kanashiro guy? The one from the Mafia who ended up on the news a while back? Well, the money he was gathering all went to Shido-san. Shido and Kanashiro were connected? Indeed. As well as that old man Madarame. His counterfeit business, along with Kanashiro's Mafia, aided Shido-san quite a lot financially. I understand now. Hey! You were forcing the news to be about Akechi and Shido all the time, right? <laughs> I'm sick of him. Wait, this guy's not a real person. Telling him ain't gonna do shit for us. Come on, we have to take down Shido himself. I would never have imagined that their leader would commit suicide. Akechi-kun, did you anticipate this curious turn of events? Oh, certainly not to this extent. But it is important to note that he was the mastermind behind the recent commotion. Getting captured must have wounded his pride irreparably. Such things happen often to insurgent leaders. According to the police, the whereabouts of the other members are still currently unknown. Considering they no longer require testimony from the leader, the investigation will be hard to... May I butt in for a second? Of course. The Phantom Thieves may have laid low since then, but they must not be excused. I don't care if they come after me. For the victims of their evil deeds and for their families. I will capture the remaining Phantom Thieves, no matter what. My apologies. I didn't mean to get so worked up. No wonder they call you an ace detective of justice. What passion. How about we use this opportunity to poll the audience? Those who believe the detective of justice will annihilate the Phantom Thieves. Press your buttons now!
My, everyone in the audience agrees. Looks like you can't back down now. I will do the best I can. Oh, but I do have to study for my college entrance exams. I might not be able to promise that. None of these people know that I was an undesirable child. I wanted people to rely on me. I wanted to be needed. I devoted myself to my studies, acted as an honor student, and made my name as an ace detective. And thanks to the NAV app, and the persona bestowed upon me by the gods, I managed to dispose of any who got in my way. Though it took me some time to finally do so. All that remains is to tell him. But still, wasn't their leader's suicide a letdown for you, given how long it took to apprehend him? I think if it were me, I would have collapsed from the shock. True. It did make me feel somewhat dizzy. Just a little, though. Perhaps my mind was worked up due to the major task I had undertaken. Hmm. Hey, who is that? If you don't turn off your phone, the Phantom Thieves might change your heart. A phone? See? Even Akechi Kun's face has stiffened up. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I'm not bothered. Just make sure to turn it off when you go to the movies. <laughs> that must be the IT company president. I'm gonna go. By yourself? Mm. He'll be on guard if we all go together. Plus, it's IT stuff. This is my time to shine. Should we leave it to her? It's been left to me. It's like that show where the kid goes shopping alone for the first time. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Yeah, she's feeling good enough to joke around, so maybe this will be fine after all. Just yell if things get dangerous, okay? What the? Who are you? P -p Pardon my entrance, Sudden. Those clothes. I, I mean, why did you come in from the window? Well, well, the door's locked and you weren't answering. How else am I supposed to get in here? Oh, but I get how you feel. There's totes nothing better than relaxing in your own room. Uh, a girl? You're an IT guy, right? I can tell we talk the same language. That's not what matters here. Just who are... Huh? Is that your laptop? <laughs> this little guy caught your attention, huh? I made it myself. This is amazing. To think you could do this much on a mobile device. Wanna see the benchmarks? It can pump out some awesome numbers. Although normally I just use this one as a sub-processor when I'm hacking into a tough system. Hacking? Do you mean like cyber attacks? <laughs> Ever heard of Medjet? Well, of course. Try not to be surprised by this. Actually, be surprised. I am Medjet. I'm the one who took down the fake. Huh? Don't believe me, huh? Here, this is proof. This is the project server. You identified all of them? If you want my skills, I'll need a letter of introduction. Man, to think the website we prepared got crushed so easily by a mere child. Huh? Y you prepared it? That's right. Why did you have to go and destroy our work? Because I'm a fan- <clears throat> it, it was just because I couldn't forgive someone using the Medjed name without my permission. So, why'd you send Medjed after the Phantom Thieves? There was no reason to choose Medjed, per se. Their popularity was convenient for us, though. <laughs> we knew the Phantom Thieves couldn't target an anonymous group, after all. That's why? Medjed's defeat was supposed to be an act, so their actual fall was quite a shock to me and Akechi-kun. We were planning on shutting it down anyway, though, so it really didn't conflict with our plans. The Phantom Thieves must have enjoyed their moment in the spotlight, not knowing it would be so short-lived. You see, you gotta abuse a tool like the internet. Well, the word abuse doesn't really describe it. 
The real charm comes in making use of the internet in innovative ways that circumvent legal restrictions. You little... <laughs> I'm sure you understand. You're Medjet, after all. Isn't it wonderful manipulating all those information illiterate idiots? What a third-rate fool. Huh? Not only are your skills third-rate, but you stink worse than a third-rate person. Don't treat me like we're equals. I'm gonna reform society. What a stupid idea. Don't tell me you destroyed my website for this so-called societal reform. That's right! It's because I'm a member of the Phantom Thieves! What? Picking on the weak and calling that innovative? Looks like I just gotta ban the guy at the root of all this. Shido, now, you're gonna give me that letter of introduction. <laughs> Why would I? But how about a computer competition for it? Huh? Don't be ridiculous. I'd rather just kill you. G guys So this is still what happens in the end. Well, now that we know he has one, this should be the easiest way to get it. Okie dokie, we got a letter of introduction. Making that fake Medjed wasn't the only bad thing you did, right? I want to hear your biggest secret. The cognitive science research. What did you do? Spill it! After extracting the results of the research, I deleted every last scrap of the original data. After that, I encrypted everything we had and put it on a domain inaccessible to normal people. Don't get me wrong, Noah. I don't know anything about all the mental shutdowns. Shido, what the hell was he researching? No matter what it was, we won't let him abuse it. Every media outlet is vouching for the inevitable Prime Minister Shido. The public loves you too. We've only made it this far thanks to you. I'm honored to hear that. Now then, I have a favor to ask of you. What might that be? It's about the loyal customers of our mental shutdown business. How about you dispose of all the ones you think suspicious? Right at this moment? But the election is coming up soon. Correct. The earlier the better. Why so suddenly? Did something happen? Nothing in particular. But if something were to happen, it would already be too late. I can understand why you might be nervous. But why not stay calm and hold off until after the election? I'd like to take out all of the trash before my inauguration as Prime Minister of this nation. For the sake of absolute victory, I need all roots of anxiety to be pulled as soon as possible. Anxiety? You've never mentioned such things before now. Um... Shido-san? <sighs> do you understand what it means to cross me? Just do as I ask. I'll be counting on you. This is all too sudden. Could it be? You guys just don't know when to stop. Is a hit on me really that big? What clan are you from? Clan? Does he mean like... Yakuza clan? Wait, does he clean up problems by making people disappear? Crap! Is he really Yakuza? It seems that bastard Shido has close ties to the underground. How are we supposed to get the letter of introduction from him? Do we have to prove our worth? Hey! I'm a busy man. I gotta deal with cleaning up problems and all the mental shutdowns after all. If you got business with me, just spit it out already. A letter of introduction? Why the hell would I give you one? As I expected. Um, actually, we're here to suggest a tattoo design for you. 
A tattoo? Th this guy is great at drawing. <laughs> He's an artist. What is the meaning of this? I have no intention of designing a simple tattoo. I thought you'd be able to do it, Yusuke. What are you squabbling about? Yusuke, draw something! Art's art, ain't it? Uh, very well. May I at least decide what I draw? Uh-uh. I won't accept anything except a godly phoenix fitting for my godly personality. A phoenix? I'd rather something else. Making excuses now, Mr. Artist? You're all talk. People like you are a dime a dozen. I am not all talk. I can draw anything you want. Bring me a brush and a piece of paper. It's finished. Dude, this is totally not gonna work for a tattoo! Is it a monster? It has some kind of crazy aura. A truly... explosive piece. This is my perception of a phoenix. There's no way this is gonna work. I ain't seen nothing like this before. I like it. Thank you. It seems like it went well? Well then, I request a letter of introduction. On one condition, kid. I want you to be my personal tattoo artist. He wants to recruit you? I decline. No letter for you then. I must decide my own path as an artist. I will not receive aid from others any longer. Now, if you understand, hand over the letter. Otherwise, we'll just have to take it by force. By the way, you're more feral pigeon than phoenix. You cocky-ass bastard! I'm gonna destroy you! I'll rip you open and tear out your insides! We're still gonna fight after all that? <laughs> you punks are tough. I like that. You've got some backbone. All right, I'll give you my letter. Normally, I'd have to clean you guys up for messing around on the ship, but there's no point now. You're letting us go? <laughs> this place ain't gonna last much longer if powerful soldiers like you guys got in here. Time for me to jet. The captain was great and all, but he's gonna have to go down with this ship alone. See you later, kiddos. That was an unexpected response for a cognitive creation. Politicians never get too close to their shady connections. They must have only been linked monetarily. That must be it. Well, we finally have all five. We need to use these to get into the main assembly hall, right? Yes, and I believe that will be where we find the treasure. We've been to most other places to gather the letters. There's almost no doubt about it. We're gonna take his treasure no matter what! As I'm sure you all know, the importance of this particular card is unlike any that's come before. Once we send it, our opponents will know that Joker, who they presume dead, is in fact still alive. We will be putting our backs to the wall. If we lose, our lives will truly be over. We can't let that happen, can we? Hell yeah! Then it's decided. The real question is, how and where do we send the calling card? How about we make it super flashy? Our whole big plan was all for this moment, you know? Actually, it must be theatrically done. A minor leak will only be crushed by Shido's influence. Maybe it doesn't have to be in letter form this time. <laughs> it's finally my turn to steal the spotlight. What's the matter? <laughs> it's nothing. Well, there's no use in thinking about it here. Let's head back for now. Long time no see. You! Why is he here? <laughs> I'm impressed that you managed to deceive me. 
It seems I underestimated your abilities. You truly are interesting. Quiet, yet possessing the courage and determination to take action. Under different circumstances, we could have been great rivals. Or perhaps even friends. <laughs> How wonderful. You don't allow yourself to be enslaved by such things as human relations or past selves. And so, your heart is always free. The exact opposite of mine. To be honest, I'm envious. I wonder why we couldn't have met a few years earlier. All right. Catchy. But it's no use talking in hypotheticals. That didn't happen in reality. Akechi, why are you cooperating with someone like Shido? Don't you see what this palace looks like? His true nature is... Cooperating? What are you talking about? I don't care for Shido or this country. All this is to make Masayoshi Shido my father. Acknowledge me then exact revenge on him. Shido is your father? Remember I said before, how my mother had been in a relationship with some good-for-nothing man? So I'm his bastard child. My very existence is nothing but a scandal. My mother's life turned for the worse after she had me. And died. I was a cursed child for her too. That's horrible. I resented him. But he was already a high-ranking official by then. A kid like me could do nothing. But... That's when it happened. <laughs> that's when I learned about the cognitive world. Someone, be it god or demon, gave me a chance. I couldn't contain my laughter! You son of a... Who cares? My targets were all doing the same damn thing in this eat-or-be-eaten world. All I did was remove their evil from society. How is that any different from the Phantom Thieves? We're not murderers! So what?! Masayo Shishido is finally within my grasp! Once he reaches the apex of his power and acknowledges me, I'm going to whisper in his ear. I will tell him the truth of who I really am. And that's when I, an utter disgrace to the world, will rule over him. I will prevail. What a warped thought. It's almost pitiable. In just a few weeks, my plan would have come to fruition. But no. You just had to interfere. I can still take it back, though. I'll just need to kill you all. <laughs> we won't get killed for something like that. You talk big, but you're really nothing more than a little kid throwing a temper tantrum! Don't lecture me, you piece of shit! I am going to personally thrust Masayo Shishido into a living hell! So, Joker, rest easy and die. Yes, I'll do it better than you could ever imagine. That is... Once I get rid of you... You sure sound confident. Don't go pressing your luck. We already know all your tricks from back when you were working with us. Joker... How could you be so successful while having such an idiot as your partner? Huh? Quit bluffing! It's no bluff. If he truly is behind the mental shutdowns, he's likely only shown us a fraction of his strength. <laughs> I'll tell you all about my true power. While you die, you can take that knowledge with you to the grave. Kill them! The mental shutdowns aren't the only incidents people are talking about. There are also the breakdowns which cause people to turn psychotic creating accidents and scandals. 
Those cannot be explained unless the true culprit has the power to make people's hearts psychotic. <laughs> That's right. It's my power. One that you don't have. He's gonna try something. Allow me to show you! Persona! What was that? That wasn't Robin Hood. Could it have been a different Persona? Even the feeblest existence can gain tremendous power once the chains on its heart are broken. You'd better not underestimate these two. What did Akechi do? The enemies are way stronger now! That dark it's enemy's time. powered up! Watch out! Satan Tyson! Well done. That power to make others turn psychotic. He used it on actual people? This guy's out of his mind. Of course I didn't expect you to be defeated by them. You have deceived me and escaped death, after all. I wouldn't give up my chance to massacre you with my own two hands. He's coming. Brace yourselves! Kill them! Persona! <laughs> Persona! All will be revealed! Damn! Damn it! So he's able to turn people psychotic. I thought it was some special thing like the Nav, but it seems to be his own Persona's power. I can't believe that the ability to control and drive others mad was born from within his heart. Kill you! You're all gonna die! Will you please stop? You're fighting the wrong people! We both hate the same guy! Why do we have to go against each other? Killing us won't make you happy. But... I... This ain't about what Shido says! You're your own person, you gotta know that! Damn it! You know... Sometimes I think about that fake Medjed that you guys made up. That was the worst trap, but if not for that, I don't think I'd be here right now. Uh, basically, it doesn't matter where you start over. And you don't really hate Joker, do you? That smile before we fought. Isn't that how you really feel? <laughs> Follow your true feelings. Even if you think people hate you or don't want you around, that's... Shut up, shut up, shut up! Teammates! Friends! To hell with that! Why am I inferior to you? I was extremely particular about my life. My grades. My public image. So someone would want me around. I am an ace detective. A celebrity! A catchy gun. You... You're just some criminal trash living in an attic! So how? How does someone like you have things I don't? How can such a worthless piece of trash be more special than me? <laughs> Is that supposed to be pity? You piece of shit! What was that? Black Mask? What about the other one, though? The one with the Black Mask? A Black, black mask? mask? Wait, who's he talking about? It can't be. There was another intruder besides us within this palace? Then what Kaneshiro said before? These palaces can net you loads of cash. You can do whatever you want into people's hearts. I'll let you in on a little something. 
There's a criminal using other people's palaces to accomplish whatever they damn well please. They don't care about consequences, psychotic breakdowns, mental shutdowns, anything goes. So, you were behind the mental shutdowns after all. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> this is actually a first for me. I might even have to try my hardest against you. You know, I just came up with a fun little idea. I wonder how far I can go with this. Fun? You're not satisfied with where we left it either, are you? Isn't this what you really wanted? You and I are going to strike and strike again until one of us is dead. To hell with holding back! Ah, just picturing it sends chills down my spine. What Shido thinks of me? <laughs> I don't give a shit! All I care about now is killing you to prove I'm better than you! Here, I'll show you who I really am. Come, Loki! Again, it's that persona. <laughs> What's going on? Don't make me laugh. Justice. Righteous. Keep that shit to yourselves. You and your teammates piss me off. He can use two separate powers? Then everything, even his appearance was a fake. You're going down. I'll destroy you. Go down with me. No way. That bastard! He made himself go psychotic! <laughs> now, let's see you drop dead one at a time in front of your precious friends! Damn it, he's lost it! Here comes! Die! Let's rock, Fist of the <laughs> Phantom Star! It's not oh, sorry! <laughs> You ready to call it quits? I know. I've had enough. You're so lucky. Lucky to be surrounded by teammates who acknowledge you. And once Shido confesses his crimes, you'll all be heroes. As for me, people will find out my past deductions were just charade. My fame and trust will vanish. <laughs> I see. So you were turning people psychotic, then solving the cases yourself. And you did that by joining forces with Shido. <laughs> In the end, I couldn't be special. Dude, you're more than special. It pains me to admit, but your wit and strength far exceeds ours. We only defeated you by teaming up. I was honestly envious of your natural ability. It was frustrating to see how much my sister trusted you. I have no intention of forgiving you for what you did to my father, but I sympathize with you. I wholeheartedly understand wanting to get back at the adults who took from you. But when you gained the power to fulfill that desire, you only used it for your own self-benefit. If you've got more than one persona, maybe you actually have the same kind of power as Jokers, but you trusted no one. So you only got two personas. One for your lies, and one for your hate. Still, you thought that was enough, right? That part I totally get. You excelled at everything over us. Yet that was the one thing you lacked. <laughs> All right, let's go back and get that calling card ready. We're gonna take Shido down. What are you gonna do? 
It'd be a problem if you kept getting in our way. Want to come along and help us settle things? Are you all idiots? You should get rid of me. If you don't want me getting in your way. <laughs> you all are truly beyond my comprehension. Akechi? Another one? Wait, is he... That's... Shido's cognitive version of Akechi! <laughs> I'll deal with the rest of you later. <gasps> Captain Shido's orders. He has no need for losers. Well, this just moves the plan up a little. He was going to get rid of you after the election anyway. What? Did you truly believe you'd be spared after all the murders you undertook? Don't tell me. Were you actually feeling good about having someone rely on you for once? Oh, by the way, the captain says it's time you receive retribution for causing the mental shutdowns. What the hell, man? That bastard's the one who put him up to it! <laughs> I see. I was wondering how he'd protect himself. If I use my power to tear through his palace, turns out you're how. So he's making a puppet kill me. Sounds like something he'd do. That's right. I'll do anything. But look at yourself. You're the true puppet. <coughs> you wanted to be acknowledged, didn't you? To be loved. You've been nothing but a puppet from the very beginning. You little... So this... is how Shido thinks of Goro Akechi? It's... it's too... horrible. It's still not too late. We can change his heart together. Even if he's your father. No, because he's your father. What's all this nagging about? Want me to take care of you first? No, he's not alone. He has shadows too! You know what? I'll let someone volunteer to take his place. Who knows? You might delay his death. Damn you! You guys are all about doing things for others, aren't you? Oh, that's just the same as me. I'm going to take all the blame for our captain. I'll die for him too. This is what Shido thinks of Akechi-kun? Even after making him help with the murders? Here, I'll give you one last chance. Shoot them. <laughs> I was such a fool. Yes, that's the you our captain wishes to see. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You're the one who's going to disappear! trying to get yourself killed <laughs> the real fools are you guys you should have just abandoned me here a long time ago you would have all perished if you had tried to face these with me weighing you down <coughs> a catchy gun <laughs> let's make a deal okay you won't say no will you why at a time like this? Change Shido's heart. In my stead. End his crimes. Please! <laughs> After all this, that's what you have to say. Seriously. You really are. I am thou, thou art I. 
Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of justice, granting thee infinite power. You bastard! So, my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... A catchy gun! Isn't there some way to get this open, Mona? His signal is... gone. I'm only getting the weaklings. No! Come on, you guys! We can't let a rotten criminal like Shido do what he wants any longer! We can't! No matter what! Huh? The hell is that? Huh. It's pretty rockin'. So this is the main assembly hall? P probably. Dharma are often used as symbols of election luck. Plus everything else in here seems real. Odd. There isn't a single person in here. It sounded as though there was quite the crowd inside when we heard voices through the door. But given how it looks, this has to be the root of the distortion. Yes, I'm picking up on the treasure's presence as well. There's no doubt this place is where it'll appear. It's finally coming down to this. So, how are we gonna send the calling card? It would be pointless to send it to the Diet Building. And even if we handed it over to different media sources, who knows how it would be treated? The worst case scenario would be giving it to the police under the table. What shall we do then? <laughs> um, Futaba-chan? My Futaba cannon is ready! Huh? It's good to go! Look! Now, if I do this... When did you make this? You should have told us you were planning something! To trick your enemies, you first gotta trick your allies. How stylish. It's kick-ass! This should work nicely. All right! It's time for people to start coming to their senses. We first start with national news. Since the young man suspected to be the leader of the Phantom Thieves died while in custody, the police have officially announced that these crimes have come to an end and assure everyone that the peace will be restored and Yo, what is up, everybody? We are the ones who you all know as the Phantom Thieves. And all of us are alive and kicking. But those shitty guys in power, they've been manipulating information to try and hide the truth. <laughs> what is this? Where's it coming from? I don't know. We can't switch it out. Seems we aren't the only ones affected either. So, before we appropriate our next target, we would like to first borrow your time! The recent scandals of public figures, the what accidents that's just caused by event? psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns, these weren't caused by unknown reasons. One man is behind every single instance, simply to satiate his own greed. Is this for real? That man was afraid his crimes would be exposed and shifted the blame on us! He even manipulated the police for that! We only steal the hearts of criminals. This asshole tried to dump what he did on us. That just shows he doesn't care about the Are they stupid? Shut everything down! The identity of that cowardly man is... The hell who's getting good? Ooh, the police reacted much faster than I thought. Too bad. <laughs> I win! The man behind it all is a current cabinet member of all things. The Minister of State for Special Missions, Masayoshi oh, Shiba. Oh, oh, I can't believe it. Everything that man says is a lie. And to prove it, he's been lying about his own crimes. Look, as you can see, 
all of us are alive and kicking. I'm sure the people investigating us can tell if this is a lie or not. Shino himself will soon confess all the crimes. You think it's some kind of prank? Uh, no way. Could this be real? Don't block the road, hey, people! What's going on? You're not gonna sit back and watch some crook wreck this country just because of his goddamn ego! Ain't that right, leader? Hey! You can see his face! Yes. Before that happens, we will take this country. Hello? Yes. Yes. Uh, we're looking into it now. Please, if, if you would so kindly... Very well. I'll crush them beneath my heel. Did the remaining members put that notice out? What did they mean when they said nobody has died? Could they have installed a new leader just to threaten us and Shido? We're going to check with the different departments. Excuse me. Yes? What? How can that be? The Phantom Thief's corpse seems to be missing from the morgue. Didn't your men check the death certificate and carry your documents? Yes, but, uh, um... Give me a straight answer. Perhaps this phantom thief tricked us with his bizarre powers. Maybe he just made us think he had died. Who made those documents? Who was there at the scene of the suicide? Find a way to stop a change of heart. Don't we have Wakaba Ishiki's research materials? And what about Akechi? Where did that useless brat go? He must have run away knowing he failed. Bring him here when you find him. Got that? I'll erase any who gets in my way. Just as I've always done. Where is the Phantom Thief's body? Phantom Thief? Body? This isn't the time for games! Um, I really don't know what you're speaking of. Oh, but that reminds me. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. But everything from then on is a blur. No. Could I have done something wrong? Then I... I... Uh, hey! Did the Phantom Thieves get to her? Don't tell me. Was your heart... Could this be true, Nijima? What have I done? The Phantom Thief! He's alive! D even so, how did he escape from the station? It doesn't matter. We must catch him! We can't let this get out. Not only was the suicide announcement false, but he got away on top of that. We'll have to interrogate you. As a key witness. Uh, uh, why me? Check the documents you created. You may remember something once you look at them, but even if you can't recall, all responsibility for his escape rests squarely on your shoulders. I'm sorry, I honestly don't know what's going on here. You're the last person to talk to that phantom thief. You have to clean up your boss's mess. If you're going to resent someone, resent your dead director! Is illness really what killed him? Do you think his death was truly due to illness? That doesn't matter. Your actions have made a mockery of the police force. You're going to pay for this, I promise. Very well. It's all up to you now, everyone. Police officials are said to be currently reviewing the facts of the Phantom Thieves' notice, and... Welcome. Search the place. You're Sojiro Sakura, yes? Who the hell are you? Where are the Phantom Thieves? Oh, you mean those guys they've been talking about on TV? Don't play dumb with me. 
This is obstruction of business, you know. We've investigated this thoroughly. Is this the only way you do things? <sighs> They're not upstairs. Where are the Phantom Thieves? If you're not a customer, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. He's an accomplice. Take him away. Don't get all cocky. You're just some useless criminal's lapdog. Justice isn't on your side. The notice put forth by these so-called phantom thieves is absolutely groundless. It is nothing more than a wicked terrorist act aimed at obstructing the elections. What we need now is a powerful, unyielding leader. I am willing to risk my life to fight them. Oh, which one is right? Shido or the Phantom Thieves? I hear what Shido-san is saying, but is it true? I speak now to those who call themselves Phantom Thieves. Your actions are gravely serious crimes. You are rebelling against the laws of this country and unnecessarily causing alarm among its citizens. I call on you to surrender yourselves at once and apologize to the people of this proud nation. The Phantom Thieves cut into a live broadcast signal, didn't they? They're crazy! Oh, but don't you think that Shido looks like a criminal too? Oh, I don't know what to believe anymore. I hope they catch them soon. That bastard Shido's trying to act all calm, but he's probably freaking out on the inside. Apologize? Quite the funny joke. Who is the real criminal here? A lot of people are gathered here. Our calling card has had a tremendous effect. I'm real proud of that one. All they're doing is making noise, though. Seriously, they should just go home and sleep. Even after what happened, not many people want to see Shido have a change of heart. What we're about to do is just... right? There you have it. You have a point. Hey, look over there! To think he'd actually go after Masayoshi Shido. Youth is incredible. This has me excited as well. <laughs> that boy really keeps the news rolling in. She doesn't notice we're here, right? That keen journalist knows is a force to be reckoned with. Whoa, why is Mishima here? Man, that kid's impressive. The Phantom Thieves are just. I guarantee it. <laughs> Now that's what I like to hear. There may not be many of them, but we have to cherish our fans. Let's go change Shido's heart! <gasps> Isn't this crazy? The Phantom Thieves are totally insane! Ah, I wish I'd gone straight home. I could have seen it in person in Shibuya that way. To think he would turn out to be such a troublemaker. Shido! Where did you lowlifes obtain that power? Not that it matters. If you have a complaint, I'm willing to listen. What did you do to Akechi? He... he was your own son! <laughs> I had a feeling it was something like that. He reminded me too much of that woman. I also have an idea as to why he approached me. He was hoping to trap me, was he not? <laughs> he was sharp, but in the end he was just a kid. I controlled him merely by offering praise. I intended to dispose of him as soon as I became Prime Minister. What? I could never keep someone with such intimate knowledge of my past alive. <laughs> what an ace detective. He was standing beside me all this time, yet couldn't see through my plans. 
His destroying himself saved me quite a bit of effort, though. How could you? You stole my mom's research and took her life! Everything you've done has been for your own selfish gains! You even killed my father! I will never forgive you! <sighs> Sacrifices are inevitable in the path of reform. I only require that the foolish entrust themselves to their superiors. I shall guide them. The hell makes you think you're so much better than everyone else? You never would have been able to make it this far without Akechi's help! He only appeared because of the expectations God held for me. Moreover, it was thanks to me that Akechi was able to properly use his power to begin with. The changing of hearts that you've been doing was nothing more than provoking the public. How selfish! You were unable to win by honest means, so you used foul tricks to ascend the political ladder. A cruel person like you has no right to stand leading the citizens of this country. You're nothing but a criminal who rose above others by climbing a staircase of sin. The life of a nation as opposed to those of a few sacrifices. There can be no comparison. The ignorant masses only care about their own personal happiness. I am merely granting that for them. That is the social reform that only I, as the one chosen by God, can enact. I can't believe you look down on everyone else so harshly. I'd never accept a leader who makes a teenager murder people! You say it's for the country, but I bet it's all for yourself. Nobody would wish for something like that! Nobody? Hmm. Then why was I chosen? Why are they surrendering the seat of Prime Minister to me? Everyone denies the value of hard work these days. Instead, they seek to effortlessly gain wealth. That is why I must re-establish this mighty country. One that does not waver. One that others bow to. Mighty my ass! That's just a crooked country made by a crook! We cannot let you do this. You are a disgrace to Japan. Hence, we will take your deranged heart. Hmm. <laughs> Those who disobey me must be eliminated. However, considering the loss of Akechi, it would be a waste to kill those who are actually capable. I will allow you to choose between life or death one last time. Devote your power to my social reform. I will give you anything you want, be it wealth or status. There's no way we'd follow you. No matter how many times you ask, our answer's not gonna change. It seems the ignorant masses are doomed to remain as such. I thought you were smarter than that. This is unfortunate. I have no choice but to eliminate you all. A small leak will sink a great ship. Great nations have fallen to such lenience. I will not make such incautious mistakes! <laughs> <laughs> There's tons of them! Since when? Clear. Do not think of me as you did my foolish son who acted so brashly. You little... Die! Without further delay! Our leader's gone through shit because of you! It's <laughs> on! Stand 
in my way. There is no need for thieves in my mighty country. Only myself and the ones who revere me are needed. Risking our lives to stop Persona! rotten adults! Right. That's why we're phantom thieves! <laughs> you lowlifes! I hope you understand what it means to turn your back on me! I don't want to understand! Then you shall perish! You shall regret these foolish actions against me in the afterlife! It changed? I will destroy you! To think you'd manage this much! Why won't you stop resisting? The nation I strive for it's the ultimate realization of the public's happiness! It changed again?! The weak must be sacrificed for the sake of grand ideals. That is the natural order of this world! Useless, ignorant masses! It seems even thieves should not be taken lightly if they come in great enough numbers. Once you're losing, you're putting all the blame on the masses, huh? <sighs> so... You're the one unifying them. A touching reunion, isn't it? The next time you crush a foe, I suggest you do it in a more certain manner. That there'll be a next time for you. <laughs> you. You're more than just a member of the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? This ain't the first time you failed to finish this guy off. You took him to court, and yet you don't remember? You truly don't care about the fate of others. Wait... Could you be... The one from back then? That damn brat who showed up and stood against me when I was with that woman! <laughs> I see... So it truly is you. <laughs> What an interesting turn of fate. But your efforts will be worthless in the end. What? Small sacrifices are inescapable for those wishing to be powerful, competent leaders. How would you ever reach your destination if you stopped to count every ant you crushed on the road? Are you saying that the people you killed deserve to die? He's totally insane! I wouldn't expect the ignorant masses of this country to understand. Thus, I will offer proof. By forcefully crushing the Phantom Thieves! I'll erase any who stand in my way! I shall win this game! What is this power? Careful! Those muscles aren't just for show! Come! Alright! It's not Persona! And I've got to make Resistance is futile! Let's go. By the myriad truths. Not bad. But there is no reason for me to lose to thieves. 
my You can't match my ambition! Let's do it! That's our cue! Ha! Transform! <laughs> do pardon me! So on board! Mona's in Persona. trouble! Persona! Her will be revealed! How are these low-like brats beating me? Now's our chance! Let's take his treasure! <laughs> Don't think you won! The power held by the most elite is what rules over our society. It's vexing that I have to use this on some foolish brats. I will educate you! Through and through! He's still gonna come at us? Gotcha! Shido! I have decades of experience over these brats! No way! He's even stronger now? Die! <laughs> you will regret your actions. You've angered me for the last time. Resistance is futile. Here I go. Speed up. Come by the myriad truths. <laughs> to think you put up this much of a fight. Won't let you have this. What, what happened? Are you all right, Joker? I never would have imagined. Pertinent brat from so long ago, managing to get in my way this much. Honestly, unbelievable. Finished you off before this could have happened. <laughs> it seems I too was naive. However, my dream has been attained. My desire to steer this country has finally come to fruition. But my ambition has only yet begun. I will not stumble over mere minutia like yourself this time. I'll be dead certain to seal your fate. I will reduce you to nothing! We've come so far. We have to do something. Joker, please don't lose. Persona! All will be revealed! For causing countless mental shutdowns in others, you will atone with your life. Don't you got something to say to our leader before you go passing out? Yes. I acknowledge that I incriminated you on false charges. I did it to protect myself. I'm so sorry for what I've done. It feels as though it's been quite some time since I have felt sincerely apologetic. Hmm. That may be good. So, I've been defeated. Phantom Thieves if I take that. 
According to Wakaba Ishiki's research, temporarily collapsing a palace will take down anyone inside it as well. The abrupt nature of the collapse means they will be unable to escape without extreme luck. Uh, however, the only way to purposely erase a cognitive world is by halting biological activity. In other words, this medicine will temporarily kill you. There are great risks involved. Anything will do! Give it to me! Huh. Now, they're done for. How reckless of him! We, we must be sure to transfer him at once if anything goes wrong. Ship? I must steer this country. If I don't, who will? What arrogance. I... I... What the... Huh? An explosion? But, but we haven't taken the treasure yet. We'll talk later! Come on, let's grab the treasure and run! Huh? Didn't we come from this way? We can't get through like... Ah! What is happening? Hey, Oracle! The ship is exploding, but why? What kind of sloppy explanation is that? I don't know what's happening either! Something might have happened to Shido in the real world. What do you mean, something? I don't know! Standing around here isn't going to help! We have to run! Oracle, are there any other escape routes? I'm looking, but... What about that way? No! Our path! Still, where else can we go? Crap! This side too! Are we... sinking? We are not gonna die like this! Just gotta get there. It's too far. We won't reach it in time. I got this. Huh? Hang tight. I'll nab the boat. No. Ryuji! Ah! It's now or never. Here it goes! Help! 
we're back! Ryuji! He didn't... make it out. We gotta go back! That's impossible. <laughs> this isn't funny at all. He was our fastest runner, too! So, this is the treasure. It's a legislator's pen. close for real though why do palaces gotta explode so much can't they disappear normally what didn't you die what I got blasted out from the explosion when I woke up I was lying on the grass I mean ain't I alive what's this your crying face is so not cute. Ugh, it's your damn fault! What did I do? We were worried about you! You troublemaker! Wait! What's this about? Ho hold on! Okay? I come on! I, I, I almost kind of died. Uh, you guys are joking, right? I'm feeling a bit hungry. Why don't we stop by somewhere before going home? Then I want sautéed foie gras! We're in reality right now, you know. <laughs> Sir! What have I... Huh? Is the medicine still affecting you? Medicine? Should we get him to a hospital? We should probably wait and see a little longer. I... I... <sighs> I must... atone. <laughs> no! Was his heart changed? Did the temporary death serum not work? Sir, if he's had a change of heart, will he blab everything about us? Everything will be ruined! What are we supposed to do about his campaign? Announce that he's not feeling well. Arrange a hospitalization in absolute secrecy. Don't let anyone near him. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Keep the media out! Damn it, we have to do something! <laughs> what the? Judging from his lacerations, it would appear he was kidnapped, then killed at another location, and... Sojiro! Don't tell me! I'm gonna get angry if you don't come out! Sojiro! <laughs> hey! Didn't know you guys were back. You're the same as Ryuji! What are you talking about? I was taken to that asshole Shido's place. They suddenly told me I could go home. That's thanks to his change of heart, right? Thought as much. They had me blindfolded the whole time, so I've got no idea where they took me. Though it, it sounded like they were oddly bustling about. Looks like it's going well. <laughs> Man, my handsome mug was nearly ruined. That's eh, all fine and dandy. But they really did a number on this place. Sorry to bother you two when you're tired, but I need you to help me clean up. We just have to wait like usual now.
I've reconsidered my opinion of you, inmate. The look on your face seems to be that of a man who has accomplished a great deed. To think you would use the trap set against you to entrap them. I've never seen a dramatic resurgence such as that. Truly marvelous. Those are the only words I can think of to describe you. Well then, if there is another opportunity, I shall present them at that time. You've even overcome a mysterious misfortune. There should be no one left to hinder your rehabilitation. Your rehabilitation will be completed shortly. That is, if everything goes well, without any problems. <laughs> this dream or could it be that it's not a dream at all my memories aren't any closer to coming back to me but might there be something I'm supposed to remember oh if if I'm really not human and if the truth of that comes to pass down in the depths of mementos I could it be that I'll <sighs> hmm I always think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. <laughs> I sure kept her waiting. But it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. You say that like you're not responsible for all this. Huh. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? Hmm. I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just Futaba. But you, too. I may not always be reliable. But feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you. As family. And, uh, uh, I know, I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor, but it's all I can do. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. All right. Oh, and, uh, could you not, uh you know, get with Futaba? I can't imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger! Curry time! 
Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. So, I finally made up with Aiko. I think she knew it deep within her heart. And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. You're still not gonna let me forget that, hmm? Well, I'm glad she didn't get into any danger. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Aiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. It's for nobody but myself. This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. For now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. Yes, the head of police operations. It will require me to have an extensive academic background. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. It is. But I won't let it end as merely a dream. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Thank you for all your help. It must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Even so, I'm glad I asked you. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the priestess granting thee infinite power. By the way, you can rely on me when you need it. I won't go easy on you if you hold back. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> what a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. I will. The objective is the same after all. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. Oh, that's right. And thanks for helping me. I'll gladly assist you with your studies as well. <laughs> you had best be ready. Let's go home. My election is the result of every citizen's aid. Your support warms my heart. 
I knew it was going to be Shido. There is no reason to hold an election. That is why. That is exactly why. I cannot forgive myself. The reason President Okumura passed away is... I am the one who killed him. I also manipulated the information that the Phantom Thieves were behind the series of incidents. The one who controlled the hearts of others and gave rise to the countless victims is myself. It was all for my own promotion. For my own selfish gain. What's going on? I've even used people's lives as stepping stones in order to claim this country as my own ship. I am a true criminal that can be tried for any crime, and it still wouldn't be enough. I will confess everything. Please, I beg everyone to pass judgment on me. If I could atone for all I've done with my life, I request that I be judged at once. Huh? This can't be true! Shido-san! Hell yeah! <laughs> Everyone, raise your glass. <clears throat> Allow me to say a few words. Now then. He started taking charge. Come now, don't be that way. <laughs> like if you're gonna complain, say it to Shido. A legislator's pin's worth almost nothing. Well then, so since the source of evil Masayoshi Shido has been... I got to avenge my mom. It's all thanks to everyone. Thank... <laughs> I was able to settle a debt in regard to my father as well. We all worked so hard for this. <laughs> Shido's guilty. Right, sis? It'll be difficult to prosecute him immediately, but I'll do this thoroughly until the causality between his other crimes can be proven. I believe Wakaba-san's research results will save Japan. We could testify too, you know. Thank you, but I'll be fine. I don't want to add any more unwanted suspicions on any of you. It's about time you let us adults prove that we can get our act together. Hey, so what about this guy's education? I believe it'll be fine for him to return to school. It's true that your face will be recognized among those involved, but I doubt they'll take a firm action like suddenly coming to arrest him. At least they won't do it until the uproar with your suicide and Shido's confession have died down. Eventually, though, the situation where you and I will be used as scapegoats can't be avoided. You mean, in regard to faking his death? That wouldn't have happened to begin with had the police done their job properly. Of course I plan on doing everything I can. I will protect you all this time. Prosecuting Shido is that first step. Hey! When are we going to make the toast? Right. Let's get to it. Uh, today is truly... Cheers! Cheers! No, wait, hey! Cheers. I need to go. It seems Shido's been transferred to a hospital. Oh, one more thing. It's fine to celebrate, but keep it in moderation, okay? Considering that he's finally back, all of you need to take your education seriously again. Get it. What's he going to ask? Well, let's leave the popularity stuff to Mishima for now.
to do it? closed. There are no shackles on you anymore. We changed the heart of someone huge like the next Prime Minister. There's no better finale than that. This may be the opportune time to end our deal. I'm sure you'll be fine now. You can manage without me being with you. <laughs> of course. Don't worry. I won't leave immediately. But if I just stay here, I won't recall anything. I'm a bit envious of you. Here I am. Still haven't found anything about myself. If only I could find out what's in the depths of Mementos. Let's go to sleep. You must be tired. I can't believe even Shido-san had a change of heart triggered in him. We got where we are today because we had him take care of whoever got in our way. If a case is assembled against him, everything about us will be exposed too. What are we supposed to do? That's precisely why we've gathered to discuss our options. Prosecutor Nijima is serious about taking Shido-san to court, right? Isn't she under your command? You have to do something! Yes, I'm aware. But even if we prevent her from doing so, what about the public? Shido-san's conduct was shameful. We'll just have to continue his policies for a rich country. A rich country? You mean that plan of advancing foreign affairs by controlling people's hearts? After all, the research on it should be proceeding along. We'll push that plan forward and continue eliminating any who get in our way by using that world. We'll pledge to build a powerful country. We ourselves will meet the expectations we had of Shido-san. A powerful country, huh? I see. But even if we do pick up where he left off, would his other associates keep quiet about it? We should be fine in that regard. Anyone who Shido-san aided would feel that their life is at stake after watching that conference, just as we are now. At any rate, it seems we must first stop that case from being assembled, no matter the cost. How do we control public opinion? Thankfully, support for Shido-san still exists. Masayoshi Shido was a hero who fell before achieving his goals, and we will carry his torch. That's what we'll announce to the mass media. I see. Considering the public's panic after losing their leader, they may latch onto that immediately. But if the general public becomes our enemy, we're done for. That means there's no turning back. Well then, leave Nijima to my group. Can we rely on yours in regards to Shido-san? We'll make it so that he requires a psychiatric evaluation. Everyone, we're in the same boat. You had best not forget that. Sorry that I failed to mention your exams. I was busy dealing with some of Shido's cronies. Well... You are students, so it's only fitting you're doing a study group. You're gonna bring us some snacks now and then, right? <laughs> you don't even have exams. Pardon the intrusion. Oh, glad to see you all. Don't mind me. Make yourselves at home. You're too kind. We'll take you up on that offer. Why did you bring me here? My school's exams are already over. Come on, don't be so cold. You saying it's fine if I fail? Nothing wrong with that. Won't the results be the same whether you study or not? Now, now, you guys. Just think of it as helping me out. I don't know about this. I'm just going to focus on sections that may likely be on the test. You're way too short on time. Making a gamble, huh? If she's wrong, we die. Uh, I don't want to die. Um, 
Is it really that bad? This is every day for them. This affects you too. Well, with your grades, I'm not too worried. But you've missed a lot of classes, so it couldn't hurt to study. Oh yeah, he's good at studying. I feel kind of betrayed. And betrayed might be a bit much. Don't worry, Lady On. Even if you're not great at studying, I'll... Now then, let's get to it. What do you want me to teach you? I feel like while he was out, there was something they were saying would be on the test. Oh, I know! It was a... a... do... Do... Doku? Uh, what, what, what was it again? History... Doku... Was it about the origin of Doku? Doku means something that is larger than others of its kind, but the name comes from a battleship, Dreadnought. They attached Do, the first sound of the word in Japanese, with Q, which means class. That's it! I'm impressed you knew what he was talking about. How about taking a break? Ah, oh, sounds good to me. I can't do any more. So, like, we've been doing Phantom Thief work all this time, right? We learned a bunch doing that. Even if we study and learn what we can in school, doesn't it feel kind of pointless? Don't take him seriously. Those sorts of experiences are important, too. But common sense is just as important. You should know better than anyone how nasty adults without common sense can be. That's a great point! Someday you'll graduate high school and become adults. Then, when you get married, you'll need common sense more than ever. Marriage, huh? Do you want to get married? Well, that won't be for a while. In the meantime, I'm more concerned with what I'm going to be eating tomorrow. Oh, cut it out, man. You're making me hungry. Well, I guess we just gotta get back to studying. That concludes the last subject. Ah, that took so long. We covered all the difficult parts, so you should probably be fine. Good work, everyone. See? You can do it if you try. Uh, we're finally done. Only God, uh, on, only knows. But how, how's that saying go again? Ryuji's hopeless. What did you say? Well, whatever happens, happens. Isn't it about time you wrapped it up? Be careful on your way home. Suck said you have to do exams even after changing Shido's heart and saving the country. It's rough being a human. But looking at you, I feel kind of jealous of humans. Hey. Exams. Mm. 
They're the heroes who saved this country, right? Can't we be exempt from exams? And is it just me, or do we not have as big a sense of accomplishment as I thought? I'd say exams are 80% of it, but that's not what I mean. I mean society's reactions. They're still so doubtful even after the press conference. He hasn't been arrested, so I guess that's expected. We just gotta leave it to Makoto's sister now. Man, I wish exams would magically disappear by the time we get to school. Oh, senpai! And good morning to you! It's been quite a while since we last met at school like this. Thank you for your efforts in changing Representative Shido's heart. I can understand why. We should go somewhere to celebrate. Ah, oh, what say we go pay our first respects to the shrine? A new year is about to begin and all. But I suppose we ought to deal with exams first. I'll be in touch afterwards. Please excuse me. Let's begin. Today's the last day of exams. Are things going well for you? I'm doing the same as usual. Well, no problems. I'm alright with it, but my sister hasn't come home these past few days. I think she has a lot on her plate with building a case against Shido. He has connections to powerful people. I'm sure they want him cleared to save their own skins. Yeah, still, Shido confessed already. That is an indisputable fact. And it's my sister. She'll see it through, I'm sure. With that said, now isn't the time for us to slack off either. Do you remember what the exams will cover? I'll check on the train for you. There, they announced the poor health of their leader, Masayoshi Shido. As such, the special diet session was postponed, along with Shido's inauguration as Prime Minister. 
Postponed? They should be firing him! And wait, poor health? This is completely different from what my sister told us. I heard he barely slept during the election campaign. I don't blame him. He's not going to step down now, is he? Will this country be fine without Shido? How can people still believe in him? What the heck? The Phantom Thieves are being treated like, well, like they never existed. Goodness. No link among the change of heart incidents. Only coincidental psychiatric disorders. The Phantom Thieves only use those rumors to their advantage. This is preposterous. Who would believe such things? But the person saying this is a famous researcher. And even the Ministry is saying that's how they determined the situation too. When's Shido gonna make a comeback? Honestly, I don't think anyone else but Shido can handle times like these. What's going on? No matter how you look at it, this isn't normal. Yeah, it's as if the people in reality have become distorted. What's happening here worries me. But the only thing we can do right now is wait and see what happens. What do you mean I can't question him at this point? Mr. Shido is in an extremely unstable state. I can't allow you to get in contact with him. He may officially have to undergo a psychiatric evaluation at this rate. We are at the cusp of making a case. Do you know how much trouble we've gone through to get this far? I'm just doing my job as a doctor. Even if Shido was behind it, do you plan on convicting a central figure behind such a historical change? What? Don't be ridiculous. This is a country governed by law. You still want to protect him even though you know what happened to the man previously at your post. So, you plan on taking the head of the nation to court? You need to take a break, Nijima. I'm taking you off this case, especially since it's rumored you have ties to the Phantom Thieves. What? If I recall correctly, you still aren't married, are you? You'll be on leave for a long time. Why not look for a husband while you're at it? The assembly of Shido's case is in danger? We know he doesn't need a psychiatric evaluation! His lackeys must have pressured the others around him. It means there's far more people who'd be in trouble if the truth came out than we imagined. Isn't there anything we can do? Sis said the assembly of a case may be possible if the general public wants Shido held accountable. But even that chance has been destroyed with the manipulation of the mass media. They made it clear that the argument itself was a cult, even claiming that it never happened. As a result, the Phantom Thieves are still labeled as criminals, even after all that's happened. It's a storm of criticisms online, too. People are saying to catch the remnants and execute them. This is crazy. At any rate, let's wait for my sister. She should be arriving here soon. Everyone's being tricked so easily. Why the hell did we risk our lives then? If Shido isn't judged by the law, everything we've done will be treated as if it never happened. Moving the entire country however they wish by controlling people's cognition? This is no different than being inside a palace. I'm sorry. I gathered the best of the best and fought for a case. But as Makoto must have told you, it was denied. At this rate, it won't end with just Shido's innocence. This trend will continue spiraling down. There's even the possibility that crimes using the metaverse will advance onto a national scale. But that's not what I'm here to tell you. We're in danger because we know the truth. It's only a matter of time before we're apprehended. It wouldn't be odd if they were to charge in now. This makes no effing sense! Sis! There's nothing more I can do with my resources. That's why... I want to ask for your help. I wondered if there was any way you could do something one last time. I know that I'm in no position to ask this of you. That doesn't matter to us. So what are we gonna do? 
should we change the hearts of all Shido's followers? Even if Futaba were to research all of them, it'd take time. Hmm. There's too little information. We can only target individuals. Are we no match against the national power? Mementos. If we use Mementos, we might be able to do something. There's something we can do there? Like I told you before, Mementos is the palace of the general public. It's the source of all distortions, and is maintained by the people's collective unconsciousness. Wait, do you mean that there's a treasure even in Mementos? And if we go after that... The collapse of Mementos should affect the public as a whole. The state of society would change too. If everyone's hearts grow to hold Shido responsible for his actions, things might start going our way. That's a bold plan, but an interesting one. Sounds good to me! But if we're gonna do this, there's one thing you all need to realize. To begin with, why does something like the human cognition exist as another substantial world? The reason for that is most likely sleeping within Mementos. We'll be destroying that, you know. I don't see where you're going with this. The human cognition will lose substance, so you can't sneak into people's palaces anymore. So if other criminals appear, you won't be able to steal their treasure and change their hearts. It means... the Phantom Thieves will be going out of business. We'll have to discard this way of life. <sighs> I think we need to do this. I mean, we're the group who's reforming society, right? What do you think? As our leader, you lose your powers if Mementos is erased. Will you still do it? Yeah, that's right! You guys have all grown, huh? All right. It seems there are no objections. Did you come up with a plan? Whether it succeeds or not is another story, though. Miss Prosecutor, looks like this is gonna be our last job. Last job? Once we accomplish our duty, we entrust the world to respectful adults. That is our condition for accepting this job. This is a deal, then. That's certainly a heavy condition. But very well, I accept. I swear to make Masayo Shishido stand and be tried in the court of law. Besides, my pride won't allow me to be continually saved by you all without doing anything in return. We'll be counting on you. Looks like it's decided, then. You're the leader, and this is officially our last mission. Come on, say something. We already said that before, though. <laughs> That's fine. We're doing it for real this time, after all. We don't have much time, right? We should carry this out tomorrow. I'm counting on you guys. No matter what happens, you better see it through. Hey. Actually, never mind. You must be tired. Honestly, you're amazing. There's definitely something special about you. You dodge everything the enemies throw at you like it's your destiny. At first, I just thought you were going to be a useful tool for me. But now this is where I belong. Aren't you only going to be here for a year? Still, it makes me happy to hear that. It's not like me to say all that embarrassing stuff, but still, I think it's fine. For tonight, at least. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the magician, granting thee infinite power.
we should rest in preparation for tomorrow. He's repelled such an ordeal, and this guy's still not being rewarded for it? If gods really do exist, they're being too hard on him. That was a fruitless delight, inmate. We gave you words of praise, but we take them all back. The source of what was hindering your rehabilitation. To think it would be the ignorant masses to which you tried to prove your integrity. Did they themselves not show elation for those who are unseen? Despite all that, they now say you do not exist. They toyed with you. Yet none take responsibility. The distortion of man's world is endlessly deep. Fixing it may now be impossible, even with the appearance of a trickster. M master <gasps> It seems this is the limit of humanity. The time of ruin is nigh. One due to the distortion of man's own heart, from which none can escape. <sighs> okay. Good morning. It's finally time. You think it'll go well? Right. It's something only we can do. See you at the usual place after school. I'll tell everyone to come. Hey, check out the nav. The door to the depths of mementos has been opened. Wait, does that mean... We're really gonna do this, right? Of course! Why are you asking now? Well, I, I just thought, what am I gonna do if you guys freak out and bail on me? We're going to erase mementos, aren't we? Come on, let's go, you guys! Mona sure seems hyped up. Say... Isn't Mona-chan behaving... a little odd? You know, you're right. Yeah. <sighs> I shouldn't have brought that up. Shall we get going? Hey, so, uh, this shit here's that door to the depths, right? It should be. Why? What's wrong? I don't know. It looks just like all the other ones. I was thinking it's a little disappointing. Maybe we worked too hard to get down here or something. The lack of unforeseen circumstances is nothing to complain about. Let us continue. What the hell is this? Some big fossil looking thing. So, this must be the treasure. Wait, look on the side. It's the train running down to Mementos. So, this is where that crowd of people was trying to reach? People are walking in and out of there, so the other side of the wall must be. Wait, it's not a wall, but a giant door? Guess that means the treasure's not here. Come on, let's stay focused. Seriously, a door? How are we supposed to get past? 
It opened straight away. I bet that means the inner depths the MetaNav was talking about before are right ahead. Hold on. The door only opens from this side. What do you mean? Well, I took a quick peek at the mechanism inside the door, and it looks like you can only open it from here. We can get in, but nothing can get out. It's as though whatever lies within has been locked away. Wait, so you're saying that the people going in there are choosing a life of imprisonment? I have never felt such eeriness before. What is this place? We'll find out once we reach the depths. Come on, let's go. Hmm? What is this place? Are those chains on them? Is this a prison? Who's captured here? Technically speaking, I would say it's someone's shadow. They're saying something. Come on, don't be out there and come on in. Don't open the cells, okay? I have no intention of leaving this place. They feel safe being here? What are you saying? You're being kept in a prison. This reminds me of Kamoshida's castle. They're like the slaves we saw there. That's right. This place is the best in the end. In the depths within is a system that grants desires. A system that grants... desires? Something like that exists? Here? It's no use. You can't reason with these people. They're truly distorted, just like the scenery here. You end up searching for stuff or being troubled because you're outside the prison. There are things you don't need to know to live on. He's right. Things like the details on the system, the locked quarantine cell. Quarantine? Who's locked in there? Supposedly a great and truly dangerous criminal. But who would want to check a place like that? Come now, we don't have to chat like this. Why not come inside? Huh? Mona? Uh... Huh. Why are you out and about? Where are your restraints? No oh, crap! Removing your restraints is not allowed. Outsiders must be eliminated. That was careless of us. It should be no surprise that a prison has guards. Wait a sec. This is everyone's palace, right? Not like Kamoshida's castle. Who's keeping these people here? Mona-chan? I remember now. I've seen this place before. Hold on, though. It wasn't open until we came here today. Sorry. It's just a sense I'm getting. Still, it feels like I'm really close to remembering something important. You know, coming in here was what you wanted from the beginning. We just gotta keep moving on. On top of that, I'm curious to know who the ruler of this place is. Yeah, you're right. Wait, what about these people? Leave them be. They'll be taken care of if we erase mementos. Hey, it's dangerous to keep standing around here. Let's get going! Doesn't that cell seem... different from the others? Wait, could this be that quarantine cell? Supposedly, the most sinful, most dangerous inmate is held within. This... this place smells familiar for some reason. Mona-chan? There's no mistake. This is it. I was born here. Born? Inside the prison? Wait, then are you the dangerous inmate? No, the inmate wasn't me. But I remember this place. Someone created me here to guide all of you. Guide? And who is this someone? Oh, oh, I can't remember. Damn it, I'm so close. But my memory's too foggy. You know, hearing all this just makes me want to know what's inside. We found them! The escapees are in front of the isolated cell! 
Alert! Alert! Capture them at once! This place seems to be under high alert now. We should keep going. Given how important this cell appears to be, the depths of Mementos must be near. Mona's memories may return if we continue on. Yeah. So, we're finally getting close to the public's treasure, huh? Now that I think about it, it makes sense Mementos would connect to some place like underneath Shibuya. Everyone crams themselves into packed underground boxes day after day without any complaints. From my standpoint, those are the true inmates of Mementos. It's no surprise the places are connected. You know, the voices of the public may have led the Phantom Thieves on more than any criminal. Seriously! Let's hurry up and steal that treasure so we can crush Mementos! We truly are reforming society! Let's go! The hell is this? It's huge! I didn't realize such a gigantic place existed here. Is this where everyone's treasure is held? Yeah, that should be the case. But this ominously bizarre air about it... It almost feels like a temple of sorts. Although... Look, th there's no point freaking out now. Come on, let's go. The hell? Look at how many there are. Are these all prison cells? And what's that thing in the middle? Whatever it is, it looks disgustingly grand. There are no other passages leading out of this room. It appears this is our final destination. The depths of Mementos. In that case, is the treasure of Mementos somewhere in here? I think you're right. They've never been here, but I can sense it. There's no mistaking that presence. If we get rid of it... <sighs> if we get rid of it, the public should come to its senses. But something that large will be impossible to carry out of here. We just gotta make it disappear, right? If we can't move it, then we'll just have to destroy it. Yeah, that will work. Once we do that, the entire metaverse is going to disappear, right? This is finally it. Oh, I guess it's no surprise we've been discovered. That thing isn't gonna sit back and let itself get destroyed. Even the inmates are starting to liven up. How eerie. Are they planning something? That must mean this thing's gotta be the treasure. He saved us the trouble of checking. Hold on. Something's off. Shido said the masses are allowing themselves to be held captive here. Could they truly be operating this gigantic system that eliminates intruders on its own? Prison guards and soldiers were very organized, too. Are you trying to say that someone else rules this place? Is it not the public? <laughs> what was that? We don't have time to worry about that. Leave it for later! All right, guys. We better not lose now. Let's hurry up and destroy this thing. Everyone, give it your all. All right, let's do it. Stop Holy Grail? Tell me, are the inmates giving it their strength? Damn it! This is never gonna end! It seems hopeless if there are this many inmates supporting it. 
You fools, human, yet wishing to eradicate the desires of humanity. Who's that? Repent. The treasure's talking. I am revered as the grantor of dreams for all who behold me. A being most commonly known as the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. The prison of regression is representative of the collective desires of humanity. They wish to be chained down, surrender their cognition, and neglect the world around them. These feeble-minded common folk will make your social reform all for naught. The shared heart of the masses has fallen into an excess of indolence and transformed into a prison. Worship in that thing! Thus, the only suitable end for them is to perish within the prison they wished for themselves. Get ready! Here it comes! Hell yeah! Damn that thing! Let's break it for sure this time! Again? We can't lose! Keep attacking! Huh? Wait, it's color. Oh, not again! I knew it. Every time that thing heals, its color changes. really how people feel. There's no way we'll be able to steal their hearts. We've come here for nothing. This is horrible. You imbeciles are intoxicated by an undesired justice. This is the will of the children of man who have fallen into sloth. My shine is proof that they desire my existence. As long as humanity yearns for me, I shall never perish. Is this really what everyone wants? Stop thinking and be guided by the Holy Grail? Yes. It's so frustrating, it makes me want to cry. But I... I will never agree. The humans I look up to aren't like that. No matter how painful reality is, it's all over if you don't try to change how things are. I'm not the only one who believes that. Everyone here agrees. We don't want to turn back into the people we used to be. That's why we risked our lives coming here. Mona-chan. He's right. Humanity already wishes for their distortions to be actualized. I am merely the being that will ultimately grant those wishes. Now, it is time I refrain from my place in this world and begin to encroach upon reality itself. That's a load of shit! Encroach? What is it gonna do? Hey, this doesn't look good! I've got a bad feeling about this. Mona, what should we do? I don't know what you are, but you can't keep arbitrarily deciding all this on your own. Humans aren't all stupid like you say they are! <laughs> Indolent, foolish humans, you shall offer your hearts to me. Now, the time for...
for the fusion has come. Hey, the grounds! It's vanishing? <laughs> Hell no! Everything now. Ow. Is everyone okay? Uh, of course we are. Oh, hey, our clothes are back to normal. Look. Huh? Shibuya? We're back. We didn't come back ourselves, though. We must have been driven out by the Holy Grail. Did we lose? I know that, but... Huh? Shibuya? Is this what it meant by the fusion? Uh, what's going on here? What is? God, how come they're not seeing any of this at all? Yeah. To think this would happen. No way! You gotta be shitting me! <laughs> huh? No way! Wait, what the... What's this pink stuff? What the hell's happening here? I can't believe this. Why is everyone acting normal? Don't they see this? I hope those kids are safe. Man, what great weather. Wanna go for a drive? Hello, yes, it's about tomorrow's preliminary meeting. Uh... The announcement for the new smartphones tonight. What were the Phantom Thieves all about anyway? Oh man, hearing that brings back memories. I feel so dumb for even believing they existed. It was fun news though. Well, I doubt anyone believes they're around anymore. Why isn't anyone noticing this abnormality? It's probably because they don't feel that it's odd. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh. I feel... woozy. Uh, Futaba, grab on! Anton? Is this... by the Holy Grail too? Son of a bitch! God damn it! What's this creepy ass shit about? Ah! Ah! My my hand! Ryuji! <laughs> this can't be real, right? What is happening to us? Don't tell me. 
Indeed. This is my doing. You and the souls are about to disappear from the people's cognition. That damn voice! Mementos and reality have become one. Thus those who have disappeared from cognition cannot exist anywhere. Disappear my ass! What the hell? Is this really it? No! No! Morgana, where did we go wrong? Is this all my fault? Because I brought you all there? I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. The mission's a failure. In the end, your rehabilitation was not carried through. It appears I have overestimated you. <laughs> you incompetent prisoner! The assistance that we provided was all for naught. Humans are more apathetic and more foolish than I had thought them to be. The world will soon see its ruin. You have lost the game. You were meant to bring change to mankind as a trickster, but it seems that was too much for you. In accordance to the game's rules, the defeated must pay a price. Your life is forfeit. I sentence you to be executed. <gasps> executed? God's decree is absolute. My experiment has come to naught. Everything is over. Grant that man a swift death. If that's what our master wishes. It, it just means that you weren't an upstanding prisoner that may be true but what is the matter carry out his sentence at once are we really going to kill him don't falter now it's all his fault for losing the game all right inmate we now proceed to the execution of your sentence. How insolent! To think you'd still show your rebellious will after all that! Ready, Justine? If our master orders so, then it cannot be helped. Let us show our strength to this prisoner who just doesn't know when to give up. Understood. Death to the criminal. Don't resist, inmate. Just accept your sentence. One's final moments should be spent in good grace. How's this? Oh. Take this. Oh. This power. Caroline 
It's as I thought. What's the matter? I told you not to falter. Are you going against our master's orders? <sighs> Eat this! Here goes. No, this isn't right. Our duty isn't to kill him. Caroline! What gives? Why am I doubting myself? Is there another duty left to us? I believe I ordered his execution. Uh. Uh. Master, have you forsaken humanity? We are wardens, those who rehabilitate prisoners. What? Something speaks to me in my mind. Our true duty is not to kill. How? for true rehabilitation. We are not executioners. That is the truth we had forgotten. We've decided. We will not forsake humanity. <laughs> Your right eye... and my left. It's as if they're the same yet mirrored. Ah, uh, now is the time for our wish to be realized. I finally remember how we were torn apart. We were originally one, yet we were torn asunder into halves by malevolent intent. <laughs> so we were captives, same as you. <laughs> to think we'd learn that truth from a prisoner. Let us reclaim our true form. Hey, we'll give you your last job. Be thankful and obey. You must fuse us together with your own hands. It's time you return the favor for us assisting with your growth. Do it with care! Now, fuse us! My name is Lavenza. I was torn apart by a malevolent will and took the form of those twins. I sought help before my body was split in two. If we lose you, the path to the Holy Grail will forever be closed. That's why you must recall the truth once more. And I beg of you, please, Save us. I believed in you. I knew that you would make it thus far. And to the scoundrel who has swindled my master's name, your lies shall work no longer now that my sight has been restored. The game isn't over yet. Whether the human world is left as is, or destroyed and rebuilt, 
It is all sport to me. Be careful. If I were to put it into words that you can comprehend, I am the Holy Grail that grants wishes. No, it may be more accurate to say that I am a god who responds to desire and holds dominion over man. I hope seeing a righteous thief vanquish evil would spur mankind to change their own indolent hearts. However, the result is, as you know, the masses have made it so none of it has transpired. Humans should be met with ruin. You brought forth that answer. But to be frank, inmate, I believe it may be worth re-evaluating you. A human has reached the Holy Grail and has seen through my true identity. You've surprised the god that I am often enough. That cannot be done by a foolish commoner. You truly were a prisoner that did not bore me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the fool, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Perhaps observing you a while longer may prove amusing. I shall grant you an opportunity to make a deal with me. Should you wish it, I shall return the world to its prior state, one rampant with distorted masses. You forcefully dragged him into the metaverse and imposed an ordeal he did not deserve. Yet you still intend on toying with him? The Phantom Thieves will be praised and gain fame. The world will escape ruin as well. What say you? Well said. Such irredeemable foolishness. You choose death for yourself. Very well. I have no need for you. Master! Oh my, it's been quite a while since I last stepped foot in this place. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. He is the rightful master of this Velvet Room, the true aid on your journey. It may be difficult for you to understand this all at once. If I were to summarize this, the fake has left, and the real has returned. Indeed. My master has returned, and you won against that malevolent god's temptation. Thus, you may be able to save this world that is headed towards certain ruin. However, it will prove difficult to win against him with your power alone. You must release your teammates, with whom you've shared your conviction. <laughs> this place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. They have not necessarily expired yet. Just as you were trapped here, they should be confined somewhere as well. Since you've deepened your bond with them, I am certain you can release them. 
once they, the Phantom Thieves, are all gathered here, we will tell you everything. Now go forth, to the people whom you should be facing the truth with. Oh, Joker, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, yeah. Huh. So, I'm not in heaven after all. That means the hell that Shibuya turned into was all real. <sighs> I'm so weak. When I thought I was gonna die, I... started trembling. I was just so scared. At that moment, nothing mattered. The justice of our actions was the last thing on my mind. Joker... You kept going, even through a plan that might have ended up killing you. Yet look at me. I've always said I'm doing this for other people. But that didn't get me far. <laughs> it's no wonder we lost. Maybe I should have just behaved myself and stayed out of all this. Keep going? Yeah. You're right. Shiho would get mad if she saw me whining like this. And most of all, I'd be betraying myself if I just sat here and did nothing. I could never forget how I felt that day. I... I never want anyone to have to go through what I did. I've made up my mind. I'm going to keep looking forward. Things like dying or losing aren't important now. All that matters is that I don't return to my old self. I'll never make a mistake like that again. I swear it! Thanks, Joker. You helped me remember what's really important. I seriously treasure being able to be a part of your team. Gotcha, Joker. It would be a disgrace to the Phantom Thieves' name if we didn't take such a big treasure. We're going to put an end to this, aren't we? Let's go! You're safe! Oh, thank goodness! R right Considering everything that has happened to the city, I wonder if the citizenry is okay. Although... It seemed like we were the only ones able to see it. You know, the moment I disappeared, I honestly thought I was about to die. But... Part of me wasn't afraid. I knew that was all I could do, and looked forward to apologizing to Father face to face. Honestly, I thought I had changed, but I realize now that I still have no control over my life. It makes me sick. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to deal with my whining. You're going to try and defeat that thing again, aren't you? Don't push yourself to get me to come along. You can always leave me here if I'll slow you down. That's... That's right. I was foolish to think you should abandon me. Even if there are times where I think there's nothing I can do, I'll never stop fighting for you or our team. I won't give up anymore. Just as I betrayed my distorted father before, I will betray my boring former self now. Thank you, Joker. Before I met you, I had great admiration for the Phantom Thieves of Justice. And it's turned out you were exactly the person I always imagined you would be. This is the second time you've rescued me. I've secretly longed for a situation like this. We haven't lost yet. Yo. Looks like we're both somehow still alive and kicking, but where at? Okay. Man, 
Man, this prison cell kind of makes me think of when we first met. I remember how Shibuya was all effed up just now, but like, nobody was seeing any of it. No, it was more like they didn't want to see any of it. What the hell? So even all them people who are suffering and cheering for us to come and help them, in reality, they would have rather just had everything stay how it was? Did what we were doing have any meaning at all? <laughs> You're so freaking tough. You know, back when I thought we were gonna die, without learning the truth about all this, I kind of felt for the first time that maybe we hadn't been doing the right thing. That maybe we deserved to lose. You get me? Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I started all this because of how pissed off I was. Maybe it's never been about winning or anything like that. Maybe all I was doing was just continuing my own defiance. It's fine? <laughs> You're right. I get it now. We're doing this to make sure people don't gotta go through the same crap we did. It doesn't matter if they think we're just or not. We gotta do what we believe in. <laughs> it's not like people think much of me anyways. I'm gonna dash through this the only way I know how. <laughs> you got me out of prison. Just like before. Thanks. You know... It's kind of embarrassing to say this, but, uh, I'm really glad I met you. All right, I'm done getting my ass kicked. That shiny bastard acts like it's some kind of god. I ain't gonna feel good till we deal with it. Let's head out. We're gonna take down that asshole, yeah? Oh, Joker. I'm relieved. Looks like we're both still alive. Am I really safe, though? Shibuya... What happened? And... Where are we? Velvet Room? That name sounds pretty kick-ass. <sighs> I guess my fears turned out to be true. The real world is a scary place. Pain like this can never reach you if you keep yourself cooped up indoors. Who am I to think I can tell the people what to do? I mean, I used to be a shut-in myself. Damn it. I just want to go home. But even that would be tough now. Giving up would be too painful. You know, I think I've changed. I don't know when it happened, but I can't... I can't let people suffer like this. Even if I don't know them personally. Honestly, this all seems like a bit too much, but... but... I... You're right. My heart has been set from the start. I don't want to run away from this. I ran from my mom's death for so long. I misunderstood it. Everything was just too painful for me to handle, but... I never want to be left in the dark again. That's probably why my persona is a little bit special. Because I want to learn the truth. That's how I really feel. Well, I've come this far. I'll follow you wherever you go, on my own two feet. You have such a strong heart, Joker. You saved me yet again. Thanks. I'm so happy. Like, so much that I can't even express it in my normal words. Anyway, we're going up against a god. I couldn't even leave my own room before, but now we're gonna beat a god! I'm so pumped! And wait a sec. I just noticed I got out of here on my own. Ta-da! A real jailbreak! Whoa, you're quick to act. That's what makes you dependable. All right, time to get back at it. Joker, what a relief. You're safe. Oh, 
Huh? I... um... By the way, why have you remained in your Phantom Thief attire while I'm back in regular clothes? Could this mean that the Will of Rebellion is no longer within me? <laughs> that may be true. We have to fight that Holy Grail again, correct? Could you imagine defeating it, Joker? That monster has the support of the masses, and with it, nearly an infinite amount of power. I... No matter which way I approach the subject in my head, nothing points to our victory. I finally, genuinely understand the pain my father and my sister were burdened with. Victory against a single criminal is meaningless. The true enemy is society itself, and even against that foe, you still have to try to somehow emerge victorious. I don't know what to do. Believe in myself? Hmm. <laughs> You got me. Regardless, this isn't a situation with a straightforward answer. But even if there is no clear solution, I'll just have to make one. With my own two hands. Before you guys came along, my life was defined by rules. Set on a path of someone else's choosing. But only a true loser would live such a rigid life. I... I will win! Even if it means going up against the entire world. I'm okay. My resolve was shaken, but... It's stronger now. I want the people of the world to see what you've shown me. Right. Thank you. Having teammates you can trust is a great feeling. Shall we go? We can't let our last big job end in failure. Joker, as I expected, you appear to be safe. However, where exactly are we? Yes. Sorry to have worried you. At first, I was surprised to see the masses chained in a prison. Yet, here I am as well, considering the state of the real world. It is hard to say that we were even remotely helpful. This situation... Can we truly handle such horrid circumstances? All the Phantom Thieves can do is change the hearts of others. However, the world outside has become a veritable hell. Nothing within our power can fix that. I'm merely acknowledging how powerless I am. The people of this world desired their enslavement, and that isn't all. They screamed at us for attacking the Holy Grail, defended it. Even the criminals whose hearts we changed became meek followers of the Holy Grail because of us. Were we truly that foolish? Risking our lives for a result nobody desired. I... That's right. It wasn't just for recognition from those we were helping. My purpose lies elsewhere. When we first met, you continued to impose yourselves on me, no matter how much I pushed you away. I will forever treasure what you did for me. Very well. Just as art is meant to break boundaries, people should be saved even if they frown upon it. I won't allow the justice I believe in to be shaken any further. Allow me to thank you, Joker. Being by your side truly gives rise to the greatest ideas. Ah, yes. We cannot afford to leave reality in the hellish state it's currently in. I will make use of my role as an artist, and paint over the distortions of society. 
Well then, time to go and see this through. I'll witness with my own two eyes that this world isn't bound by some holy grail. What is this place? Who are they? My name is Igor. I am the master of the Velvet Room. I am Lavenza, a resident of this place as well. We have been waiting for all of you. Velvet Room? My master has just been released from a long period of imprisonment. His powers have not fully returned. Though it may be presumptuous of me, I will speak on his... Hey, where's Morgana? Would you like to see him? He's right over there. That's where you were hiding? I... was born here. It was to dispel an evil being from man's spiritual world. Mona? My role was to find the trickster and help him defeat it. That's why I was created here by my master. Indeed. I really remember everything. When this place was about to be taken over, my master gathered the last traces of mankind's hope. He mustered up his remaining strength to make me. The entity that calls itself a god is a malevolent will that forces man into everlasting servitude. It hopes to attain eternal peace by filling reality with those who have stopped thinking for themselves. That is the ruin of man that this evil god envisions. I... um... don't get what you're saying at all. Oh, be quiet and listen! We don't have much time left! W wait a moment. The Holy Grail is... a god? I was wondering why it had a will of its own, but... Are you implying that it isn't a treasure? No. As the distorted desires of the masses, it is most certainly the core of Mementos itself. Then, did the treasure become a god because people wish to be ruled over? That is correct. To decide the fate of the world, it chose two people with potential and pitted them against each other. One, Goro Akechi, incited the mass's distortion. Had he won, the world would have been destroyed and remade. The other was a trickster who would stand up against this. That was him. If he won, the human world would be left as is. Those were the conditions of the game. At least, that's what should have happened. That malevolent being knew that a revolution would not occur within indolent humans. After all, it is the masses' distorted desires incarnate. However, my true master believed in humanity. He believed that a trickster would rise among the people and accomplish this change. But that evil entity laughed at the prospect and sought to prove the powerlessness of man with the game. And he had great potential, which is why it approached him. It helped train the trickster only to cast him into despair, using the masses who rejected their savior. This was likely its means to nip in the bud anything that would pose a threat. Now that I think back to when I was separated, I felt a disagreement to the word rehabilitation. Of course I did. It was just a means for the fake to keep you under surveillance. Basically, this guy was dragged into a game where the evil god rigged the outcome. Damn it! What the hell? Your real world has already been fused with mementos. You do not exist because reality is replete with the cognition of those who deny the Phantom Thieves. It can be said that the world is one step away from the evil god's machinations. However, there is still hope. Now that the evil god's identity has been exposed, you can see your rehabilitation to its completion. Only you can leave this prison and save this distorted world and its captive people. Young man, guided by Morgana and worthy of the trickster name, you must challenge the evil god and reclaim your existence in reality. Are you up to the task? Let's destroy that annoying shiny treasure jerk for sure this time! <laughs> Excellent. There is nothing to fear. 
You already possess the strength to oppose this evil god. <laughs> I am truly looking forward to this. Our mutual friend knows where the exit is. Morgana, please guide them and thank you for all that you've done. It's a cruel responsibility that's been cast upon you. I will accept your words of appreciation fully when everything is over. Now follow me! Huh? We're back in Shibuya again? Oh, right. This is where we were when our bodies disappeared. Seems like people still haven't realized that this abnormality has taken over the city. Look, the door we just came through. If I remember correctly, this is that quarantine cell. That's right. It was actually the Velvet Room, which had been swallowed by the distortions. You did say you were born in there. It makes so much sense now. Wait, so if we came out of there, does that mean we're the criminals? No, it's more like him, since he was kept in here. Most likely, Joker had been under the malicious guidance of the evil god for quite some time. The Velvet Room originally existed to nurture the human mind. But after it was taken over, it was sealed inside that bastard's nest. Inside Mementos. Uh, Mona? More importantly... You're shining. It's probably because my memories have returned. I know what my duty is now. Uh, <clears throat> whoa. Do you see something? Shining? Wait a sec, what, what's with those weirdly dressed guys? I feel like I've seen those costumes before. Oh, aren't they the Phantom Thieves? I kind of remember seeing a silhouette of them on a jumbo screen in the city. The Phantom Thieves? Oh yeah, that's right, I, I completely forgot about them. This is different from how it was before. Do they see us? It doesn't seem to be everyone, though. Only a handful of people in this large crowd. Maybe it's Kazumona's light. Either way, they remember the Phantom Thieves! Oh, the Key of Hope. Mona, guide us. Where must we go? Over there. The bastard from earlier should be in that temple. Can you see that further in? That's the temple. <laughs> it's nice knowing there aren't going to be any bullshit traps or nothing this time. All right, let's get moving. Careful! Enemy incoming! It's pretty dangerous. Absconding from your cells is forbidden. Return to your prison post haste. Those who wish to disturb society shall be slain on the very spot they stand. You're the one who's disturbing it! Dissenters must be destroyed. It's useless trying to reason with this guy. Let's beat him and break through here! What was that? The, the city! What's going on here? It seems they finally realized their lives are in danger. It took them long enough. I can't believe they didn't notice until the danger was so close to them. Things are going to get even worse from here on out. The entire city has stopped functioning. At least they can still panic for now. If people still don't act for themselves after seeing all this, I'm sorry, but they're hopeless. In any case, let's head to the temple. Look, over there! It seems guards have appeared. The people in the city recognized us, so it's only natural we draw the enemy's attention as well. Well, they can bring it on! I'm starting to get fired up! Alt-Rebels! I shall not allow you to continue forth! 
Come on, let's beat this one too. More people should notice the Phantom Thieves if we just make ourselves seen. That's exactly what we want! Wh what's going on? Where are the police? Hey, that person, they just disappeared. They turned into some kind of black fog. Hold. I bear you no malice, children of man. Return from whence you came. Proceeding further shall only serve to shorten your lives. I advise you not as a guardian, but out of the mercy of my heart. Mercy? Don't make me laugh! If you had mercy, you'd never be doing this to the world! Ah. Even now, thy answer is in weapons drawn. What choice have I in the face of such barbarity? My children's misconduct is mine to absolve and mine to punish. D does anyone know where my friend is? He was right next to me! No! A person disappeared right in front of my eyes! Please, save us! Someone! Anyone! I'm not surprised there are so many powerful enemies here. Indeed. Though they may not be true servants of God, they do live up to that moniker. I wonder if the people in the city are okay. I hope so. Given what is happening to this world, nobody can be considered a stranger anymore. Yeah. That's why we can't lose. There's only one thing we gotta do. Well said, Lady On. Let's keep going. Dire revelation. Never did I expect thee to slay all other archangels. Now only I remain. So that means you're the last one who's gonna get in our way. Dare thee destroy the very ruler thou wished for? Human arrogance truly knows no bounds. Not everyone wants that thing ruling over us. Dost thou long for freedom? Dost thou revel in diversity? Since the dawn of time, man hath failed to quell the strife born of their own liberty. Now they finally seek the guiding yoke of a master's rule. What empty justice seekest thou in defying their wish? Like granting that wish is justice either. How can you say people are free when they're chained up in prisons in this broken world? If someone has lost their way, it's our job to help them come to their senses! So, no sacrilege is beneath thee. For thy ideals thou wouldst profane all that is holy. Thou art beyond all salvation! The path to the temple is open! No more of that holy grail shit doing whatever it wants! Let's go! I'm not sensing any more enemies nearby, Joker. This is probably gonna be our last chance to prep ourselves. We cannot lose now. Let us ensure we do not have any regrets as we head toward the final battle. that supposed to mean? The freedom not to choose. The freedom not to think. If every person pushed the burdens of their lives upon others, 
Nobody would have to act for themselves. And who should be there to receive those burdens? Are you saying... that's you? Precisely. Humanity itself wished for the Holy Grail to be a god that would rule over them. If you continue to reject that border, there will no longer be a place for you in this world. And? <laughs> so you wish to reject me, even if it means foregoing praise from those you want to save. We don't let what others think hold us down anymore! That's right! If you are not going to obey, then you shall suffer yet again. I shall bring down the hammer of judgment upon you who dare disrupt my world order. Dare attempt to strike me? I am the one who grants the desires of the masses. I give life to their voices. If we don't do something about those blood pumping supply line things, this'll never end! Our opponent knows that too, though. It'll try and stop us if we go straight for them. We'll need to send someone in to cut the lines. Then, while they're out, everyone else will have to keep attacking to distract the Holy Grail. I'm gonna give those red things a good slice. I can go and up. Leave it to me. The happiness of the populace rests in my regulation. Those who cannot understand must be eliminated. Looks like you don't know I'm here. Have to keep going. Almost there. The masses that praise the Holy Grail are infinite. Their desires and power in turn grant me immortality. Enough of your rambling! Alright, time to cut him! No longer receiving the strength of the inmates. You repugnant rebels. It can't heal itself anymore. This'll be a head-to-head -head fight from now on. Take it down. Hey, we did get him, yeah? Uh, Oracle. Oh. Uh, it's silent, but I don't know. It was already huge back when it was the Holy Grail! 
The administrator must guide mankind toward proper development. And now that the foolishness of man has been proven, it is the administrator's duty to purge them. Are you kidding? This is just some kind of rigged game you started! The foolish masses merely spread intimate thoughts and force the progress of society backward. If left to humanity, the world would slowly meet its demise. Rehabilitation is impossible now. That doesn't mean humans are evil, though. Indeed, there are many outstanding citizens. However, they merely take the soul path before them. The act of making decisions is accompanied by nothing but pain. Even if a glyph of ruin lay ahead, these lemmings would march onward without a second thought. Bullshit! You're just forcing your selfish ideas on people! For a god, you're pretty damn prejudiced! If this is all for the sake of humanity, wouldn't being beaten by humans satisfy you? I am the entity which governs this world. Its future depends wholly on my leadership. Those who dare defy this natural order shall be met with punishment raining down from the heavens. <laughs> that thing's on a totally different level! Can we defeat something like him? This is the best possible outcome. We're fighting against a god who's not holding anything back, right? <laughs> what bigger target could there be for the Phantom Thieves to tackle? Although, it's still way too big for my liking. All right, I'll give the navigation everything I've got. We can do this if we all work together. Let's take him down! Drowning our glory by defeating a god. Now that is true art. We basically just gotta beat that thing, right? Man, you guys are the best, stupidest group I could ask for. I'm so glad I was able to be a part of your team. We'll take it all back. Our future... ...and this world! No mercy. Rebels who dare defy my rule, you shall perish. This guy's behind everything. Let's go. So we're all together. <laughs> we can win. Let's go. Persona! By the myriad truths! Persona! Persona! Stop your fools! Stop your fools! I release upon you the deadly sin of lust. The insanity of mankind shall bring forth the demise. It grew an arm? And it has a gun? This is your punishment. No! What is this attack? One of mankind's deadly sins? Don't let your guard down until we know what it does. Persona! Hmm. I appreciate it. Sorry. Thanks. Rip him, Persona! Hey, now's not the time to get distracted! I release upon you the 
call you the deadly sin of vanity. You have no means of escape, humans. The fraudulence of mankind shall bring forth ruin. Another one? Does it have a bell? Be careful. We have no idea what it'll do. Death shall crash He's doing a different attack. A different deadly sin. What's this all mean? Super move. Ultra charge! Persona! Will be revealed. Trooper fools. Trooper fools. Stop your fools. Persona. I release upon you the deadly sin of gluttony. You have no means of escape, human. The selfishness of mankind shall bring forth ruin. A sword this time? Getting hit by that would be dangerous for sure. I condemn you. Another one? It looks like this is how his main body attacks. He may keep switching up his moves. Let's be careful. A surge of gluttony. Persona summoning might take more effort. Persona! By the myriad truths. Stop your fools. Persona! Persona! of the unconscious yearns for ultimate ruin. You have no means of escape, humans. Punishment shall strike you all as you pass through the gates of destruction. Huh? What's this spike in energy? Some kind of insane attack's coming. Watch out! The enemy's charging! It's going to be a big one! Revealed. Fools are watching a god! So, this is the power that resists ruin. Did we do it? No, not yet! My control shall not bow down to ruin. My control is the ultimate truth of this world. <laughs> He's strong. If you're really a god, you should be guiding humans to your ideals. You're destroying them because you can't do that, aren't you? so that you can flaunt your own existence. That's why you were observing us. You had to because the reaction of the masses worried you. Huh. That sounds about right. I don't know how long you lived, but you're the perfect example of a pain in the ass old man. <laughs> you find people like that everywhere. What dreadful? Damn it! I can't see anything! Do you want to erase us from this world that much? Guys! Since you've been forsaken by the world, there is nowhere that you can belong! We... can't lose like this! If we lose... 
the world is... I need to get back up. <laughs> My strength. I can't go on. Is this it? Not even one sliver of unpredictability can be permitted under my control. I guess it was impossible in the end. It was fun while it lasted, though. It's humans against a god, after all. Do you hear the voices of the masses? They mock you for revolting against a god. Humans are not the cloaks of desire. Logic dictates that a world filled with them will decline. The sin of rebelling against a god is severe. As punishment, you shall taste pain everlasting. Not letting that happen! The attempt created from the dregs of human hope. It is impossible for a petty existence like you to overrule my precedent. Human hope is a desire too. You better not underestimate it. The Phantom Thieves will yield to no one, no matter who they are. Even if only one of us remains, we'll get back up and fight to the very end. And we'll definitely, definitely take the world! just disappeared. What the hell? What's going on? Do something, damn it! Aren't you the police? Please, you have to calm down. Sir, what's going on here? The number you are trying to call is not reachable. It's no use. Huh? What was this again? The Phantom Thieves? Weren't the Phantom Thieves those... They haven't given up yet. Can they even do anything about a situation like this? No, it's impossible. There's no way. Take it down, Phantom Thieves! Come on! Why do you think they risked their lives all this time? Damn it, you guys! Snap out of it! When will you stop running from the truth? Phantom thieves. Yes, the Phantom thieves! Phantom thieves! Phantom thieves! Phantom Thieves! Can you hear us? Are you someone who's been charmed by the Phantom Thieves, too? I sure am. Is the same true for you, too? Pretty much. <laughs> Looks like it's not just us, though. They'll win if I cheer them on? Then I'll cheer them on as much as they need! That's you guys' fault! I don't know when to quit either! Get back up! Don't lose to that thing! No matter what anyone says, I believe in you guys! Go for it, Phantom Thieves! I'm counting on you, everyone. I will believe in you to the very end! Those are the voices of the humans you made fun of. No one wants you to rule over them. Isn't that right? Why do they got a word it like they're looking down on us? 
good. They're cheering for us. <laughs> Doesn't feel bad. You don't have to tell us twice. We won't let ourselves be erased. We're going all out, damn it. God is the one who creates the world. I've made up my mind. I will see my justice through for the sake of protecting what I care about. We're gonna. The same goes for you guys, too. If you've decided to take the world from him, don't compromise your ideals to the very end. Let's defeat him together. Hey, God! Foolish humans are praying down there! They're praying there's no place for someone like you in this world! Give that evil god his final warning! duty to punish him. What better way is there for a finale as a trickster? Joker, we're entrusting our strength and the people's hopes to you. Put an end to this! Pillage him. Satanayo!
What power? It surpasses my own. A god born from the wish of the masses. So this is the true trickster. Damn that ego. It seems he wasn't spouting nonsense. Treasure? Right, Mona? Thanks for everything, gang. Mona chan? Mona? Humans have the power to change the world. They just forgot about that a bit. Hey. Thanks to you guys, I was able to complete my duty. Everything was thanks to you. Wasn't it, Morgana? I got to be useful for humans that I admired so much. Nothing could make me happier. This place will soon disappear, too. Time to go home. this. Looks like the rain stopped. Hey guys! What? Everything. The whole world is a product of cognition, not just the metaverse. It can be freely remade. The same goes for you and everyone else. <laughs> Dude, Mona! Mona this can't be happening! <laughs> Soon a new world will come. One where mankind isn't held captive. The world will shine brightly as long as you hold hope in your hearts. But what's going to happen to you? There's no such thing as the real world. What each person sees and feels, those are what shape reality. This is what gives the world infinite potential. Even if you feel that only darkness lies ahead, as long as you hold hands together, see it through as one, the world will never end. The world exists within all of you. Morgana... Huh... Mona... The Metanav... It's gone! The Mentos must have disappeared too. We can't see Mona anymore... Can we? It's fine.
fine. I already know the answer. What are y'all so gloomy for? Mona would laugh at us for it. That reminds me. What about the public? Were we able to change their hearts? I'm gonna be late for my date! All alone on Christmas, huh? It's kinda hard to tell. Aren't we going into the new year without a prime minister? Will this country be alright? <laughs> but there's no way we're getting Shido. There are tons of shady rumors about him, you know? I wonder how things will go. I hope they go well. Let's believe in the adults. Sis promised us, after all. From here on out, it's the prosecutor's job, huh? If we can't enter the metaverse, that means we've been relieved of being phantom thieves. It feels a bit sad. What did I just say? We gotta stop being so gloomy. Think about that insane ass we just kicked. You're right. We should be celebrating with a victory toast. Well, we're still high schoolers, so we can't really drink a real toast. Oh, what if we tried something else? Like, what do athletes do after a win? You mean a huddle? We could all circle up and give a victory shout together. Sounds good, except for the part where we're in the dead center of Shibuya, surrounded by tons of people. What? You want to do it here and now? Come on, Ryuji, get with the program. I too am disappointed. After all we've been through together, you've nothing left to lose with this. Hey, speak for yourself. I've got tons of shit I could lose. Fine, let's get this over with. Everyone, put your hands in. Don't you think this is a little too overt? Yeah, uh, can we hurry this up? I don't mind yelling, so long as we make it quick. Well, this celebration is going great. <sighs> Whatever. Joker, you lead off with this. Hmm. It would only feel natural for you to take the charge. When he gives our victory cry, we all follow with a super loud, Yeah! Got it? Alright. One, two... actually made me feel a bit better. It's like everything's finally over. You may be right there. The more I think about it, the more pressure I realize we were really under. I hope we can relax at least a little now. Ugh, it's chilly! It's snowing. No wonder it's cold. Is this what they call a white Christmas? It's still Christmas Eve. Christmas. I completely forgot about it. Anyhow, we'll have to see what happens for now. We should probably break for today. Let's meet at LeBlanc tomorrow, and have a final meeting on the situation. Yeah, let's do that. Hey! It'll be Christmas, so why don't we do a last celebration party? I like the sound of that. There better not be anyone that's got plans already. Then. Make sure you persuade Boss to let us reserve the store for the party. We will be counting on you. Well then, see you all again tomorrow. I'm worried about Sojiro, so I'm gonna head home. <sighs> we should go home too. I didn't expect to find the world's savior alone on Christmas Eve. Can I talk to you for a minute? First off, thank you for taking my request. With your actions, I can only hope that public opinion changes. It will change, won't it? I believe so too. 
Shido confessed to a variety of crimes. We can arrest him on those charges. The problem lies in proving him guilty. It'd be difficult unless the correlation between the metaverse and the mental shutdowns is made. I'll be blunt. I want you to turn yourself in to the police. Your testimony will be necessary in order to prove Shido guilty. However... That will mean placing you on center stage. You'll be treated as a hero who saved this country. But there's no way that the police or the public prosecutors will let that slide. If you turn yourself into the police, you'll definitely be arrested. I'll close all the cases surrounding Shido. I intend to expose them all. It's to prevent society from becoming distorted again. That's what you want too, isn't it? I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. There's no need for that. You! If they get their hands on the perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn himself in, no? That appears to be the case. You said, there's no need. Just what do you mean by that? Exactly as it sounds. I'll agree to testify against Shido and his crimes. I assume that works for you? That's right. I have no hidden agenda at this point. If I had to explain myself, I'd say it's simply personal principle that I repay my debts. For the time being, at least, I'll take your word that you'll cooperate with the investigation. That would save a lot of time. I'm sorry. You can forget everything I just told you. I'll take them in myself. I won't try to claim that everything will turn out perfectly for you, but I would bet this case will reach its natural conclusion. No, in fact, I swear that this will be properly settled. It's the same every year. <laughs> so much for business. Nobody's gonna come to this rundown cafe. Dude, Christmas. Guess I'll close early then. <laughs> Not that I have the money to go out anywhere. Then we should have a party here! Come on, Sojiro, I want a turkey! <laughs> Didn't you hear me? I don't have the cash. Shudo's goddamn henchmen. <laughs> they really had to come in here and wreck my business. I should send him a bill. Anyway, if you're here, I take it you're spending this Christmas alone? Exactly! You too? Hey, Sojiro! Turkey! Look, I can't spend what I don't have. I can't believe I've got a kid worrying about my financial situation. Hey, Futaba, go buy some snacks or something. We'll have that party after all. No way that's gonna be enough. Oh well. <sighs> Futaba's like a totally different person now. Just a short while ago, she couldn't even step foot outside her room. <sighs> that's not true. You're the one who gave her the opportunity to change. Hmm. By the way, you holding up okay? If you need anything.
Well, you know, everything going on with you and the Phantom Thieves. I'm back. Hey, welcome home. That was quick. Did you get a turkey? Like I could buy one with that pocket change you gave me. Shibo Sojiro. Sorry, sorry. I guess we'll order out then. Psych! Ta-da! Look, Sojiro, isn't it incredible? Well, wait, is that a turkey? Where'd you get something like that? I'll reveal my secret later. We ought to get this party started right away. <laughs> I even got a cake, too. What? what in the world's going on here? Still, I'm surprised you were able to get your hands on those. I don't remember giving you that much cash. Hmm? I pulled a lucky draw at the convenience store and won some gift certificates. <laughs> what kind of luck is that? Gah! No more questioning the details. Come on! The turkey and the cake are both delicious. And they pair super well with your coffee, Sojiro. <laughs> well, I guess I can't complain. It's kind of cliche, but a storybook Christmas like this is nice. <sighs> mm. Can't eat anymore, Sojiro. <laughs> Partied her heart out and fell fast asleep. <laughs> Did all of today's excitement tuck her around? She's still such a kid at times like these. <sighs> Look, I know I already mentioned this, but it's all thanks to you that Futaba's gotten back on her feet. Honestly, I'm grateful for what you've done. I can't do much, but if there's any way I can help you, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> it feels kind of weird actually wanting to act as your guardian. Well, you don't have to say anything you don't want to, but remember, I'm on your side. That's all I've got to say. I'm gonna trust you, okay? After all, a whole lot's happened this year. But things are looking up now, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Not only that, we got to eat turkey and cake. Oh, Sojiro, no. You can't transform in here. <sighs> this girl. What kind of dreams are running through that brain? Futaba's still conked out, so let's wrap up the party. You better help clean, though. Akechi did what? He turned himself into the police. Sis told me yesterday. He's admitted to being the perpetrator behind the recent cases. So he's alive. But Ketchy couldn't survived and owned up to what he did. Well, I feel it's for the best. If a Ketchy kun is alive and he can atone for his crimes, that's not a bad turn of events. Right. Ain't that all stuff to be happy about? Mm-hmm. It's Christmas. We should enjoy the day to our heart's content. I approve. Let everyone be merry to the max. I'm the one who should be giving permission, you know. Well, as long as you don't go overboard, I guess you can go ahead and cut loose today. Hell yeah! Merry Christmas! He didn't hear a word of that. <sighs> Fine. My, this is quite a sight. I'm going to be entirely honest. I wasn't able to bring a dish. Instead, leave the dishwashing duties to me. I'll make sure they turn out beautifully immaculate. Hmm. Why don't we all just clean up together? So, who brought what? I brought that marinated seafood. Oh, that's super good! It may not be to everyone's tastes, but I brought that cheese plate. Whoa! That smells like dirty socks. Oh, 
Mmm. Oh, but it tastes great. Uh, thank goodness. Oh, is this a croquembouche? It's so cute. I made that all by myself. All I did was buy some cream puffs and stack them up, though. It's been arranged so artistically that I hesitate to sample it. When it comes to sweets, On truly has us beat. But then, who brought this box over here? Ooh, this looks like more sweets. Not mine, by the way. Uh, me? K kind of? Ryuji brought sweets? Ryuji and sweets? Sweets. Hey, what are you guys getting at? It was just a bit unexpected is all. I had expected something along the lines of meat. For some reason, chicken comes to mind when I think of you. Ryuji, chicken? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that in any sort of comparative way. Please don't keep going. It just hurts even more. Did you hear what I just said? Come on, don't get all depressed. Everyone's here to party. Everyone. Oh. Mona-chan. I was trying my best not to mention it, but it's hard to avoid. If only Mona could be here with us. Someone call for me? Yeah, we were just talking about... Huh? Wait, what? No way! I thought you disappeared! Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. So, you stayed in reality as a cat? When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. I headed back here right away, but it took a surprising amount of time. If you were coming back here, you should have told us, moron! We were so worried! Sheesh. Well, I brought my own surprise back, too. I brought some fried chicken. This doesn't have anything to do with your conversation earlier, though. <laughs> Any room left on the table? Oh, now there's our chief for ya! Talk about everything falling into place. Come on, let's get started! We're gonna party to celebrate our hard work and my grand return. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Why do you have to oh, and things now. are finally back to normal. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Yeah, you really helped him out too. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. <laughs> so it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. What do you think about the scarf? Thank you. Your compliment is music to my ears. I don't think anyone other than you could pull it off, Kitagawa-senpai. <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Ah, yes. My apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chow time! Mmm! So good! Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill... Seconds, please! How fast do you eat? You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. Seriously? While being that thin? Senpai, don't kid them so much. My appetite's totally normal. Breaking news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. 
They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. For real? Then that's wonderful! Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, got it? What great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible! It's an actual, real-life good ending! And after that, the two-hour New Year's special of Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam-packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up! I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model-turned-actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human, maybe Lady Anne would... The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Please don't go there, Senpai. I don't think I see that happening. <laughs> okay, that's a fine. Fine, fine. <laughs> fine. I can't do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? Uh, so much has happened over the past 12 months, but in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah, I don't have any proof, but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight, and this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? Next year? <gasps> Sojiro! Oseji time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. to the others, okay? But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious, and being separated from all of you was really scary. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. Yeah. Thanks. Well... It's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this.
Sorry to make work your first activity in the new year. Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. And I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. We're especially grateful you're open today. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, the same old. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. Ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. How about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? That's a wise choice. Happy New Year. That's what you say today, right? Who am I? Are you still half asleep or something? Oh, looking sharp. Oh, you look absolutely lovely, Futaba-chan. <laughs> I picked it out with my mom. Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Well, time to make like a tree. The year's first shrine visitor. What do you think we should do? Well... Perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. What's up? Did you have plans for today or something? Oh, come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug. usual crowd yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago mm -hmm. believe it or don't only 364 <laughs> days until the next one that is true but I know I'm gonna use the wrong year for a while well I have an idea New Year's party tonight to help switch <laughs> gears uh -huh. huh didn't expect you to here <laughs> Coincidences can there be in one day? And a good morn unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. <laughs> we were hanging out just yesterday. Oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Talk about incredible happenstance. Indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of fate, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa-senpai? Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. I have somewhere to be as well. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Well, looks like you're all busy. And maybe I should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Ooh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. Mm -hmm. 
well, I guess we'll all just go do our own thing then. Mm -hmm. See you later. Looks like it's just us now. Oh, I was wondering earlier, what did you wish for at the Shrine, Senpai? You're starting the new year with quite the passionate wish, Senpai. Me? Well... Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? It's from my dad. Uh... He's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family is kind of serious about their get-togethers. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. Dad! You should hold on to your sleeve. That is your dress kimono, after all. <clears throat> now, who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is my senpai. The one I told you about before. My senpai who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. D dad Not all the time! <laughs> is that not so? I was told you picked these out for me, too. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, shall we get going? What? Hmm? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. Well then, Senpai, please excuse us. What's up? Huh? I was just sleeping. Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? Are you two still sleeping? Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. Looks like your recipes have reached housewife level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Hey, come join us. Try the sweet black beans, they'll change your life! Good morning. Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? <laughs> Trunk.
drunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. It'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. You know me too well. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? What's up? Not feeling so good? He's been like this since yesterday. Morning, Mona. Morning. Do you think there's enough Osechi for me to join you? Was that a question? Of course I'm me. Seriously, are you alright? Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. Thank you for the food. I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal. Like a cup of coffee? Boy, that was a subtle request. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. All right, I shall return. Be careful. What's the matter? Sorry, we haven't opened for the day yet. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know, don't you? We have to discuss this. That's right. Just like you seem to be. Come on. Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. I agree. No matter how one attempts to rationalize it, my release is extremely unusual. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... That is indeed quite strange. But what's even more abnormal is... Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. What say we join forces on this? I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? Have you made up your mind? Allow me to remind you that we are equals in this endeavor, understand? Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. 
First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after... parting ways with me in Shido's palace? I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now, and, uh... Um, I don't really understand what I'm seeing, but I'm just going to describe it to you. It's that building. It's really faint, but I can see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. Senpai, I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? I understand. I'll see you soon. That was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word palace. Despite not being in the metaverse. You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? We just happened to be together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um... Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seemed to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, it's... I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check... Ah! There's one search in the log, but... Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? That settles it. All right. Let's do it. Now that
that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it. True outfit. Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa-san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out. Those Kaisers, you aren't among those who desire salvation. Leave! You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. Quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. I'll catch you, son. Now, time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. To me, Loki! I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Especially considering the last-minute arrangement of our team and all. Uh... Yoshizawa-san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. What? That voice! Look! No way! Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> Why? 
That was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? But how was this video... <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm all right. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. is enormous. What could this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. Misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. Huh. A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. into things. Just calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it. Time your attacks with mine. Uh, right. Zona. Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh? Stop. Let's make it come true, Sumire. Together! 
Hi. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san? Your... I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now! We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. Head on down. I'll meet you there. He agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. Thanks for your concern. But I'm fine, really. Let's go. Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? Palaces. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Dr. Maruki! Glad to see you're all doing well. I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, uh, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler, but in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? You created it? That's right. I have gained the power to alter reality, to make it whatever the people wish for. Is that how you really feel? The old reality was cruel and unfair. The truth is, Yoshizawa-san suffers immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My... past? Dr. Maruki? What do you mean? What's happened to me? Alright, I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. was brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? It's not that. <sighs> Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. But you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? 
Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. Hey, wait up! Kasumi's the one that people want. Look where you're going! The light's red! Hey! The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Sumire, stop! Listen to me! Sumire! you remembered. That's right. I'm... Kasumi? No, that's not right. I'm... I'm not Kasumi. The girl named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. It was last spring. Before I started at Shujin, we were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams, and even her life. I'm her younger sister, Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister, but for months now, she's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him, if Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi, so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right. Limited as it was, I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. Uh, 
My work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be, and the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. You assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... I... It's impossible. I'm sorry, senpai. I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? No deal so far, huh? you're doing with her I won't harm her it's in her best interest that you turn back you've made clear that you reject the reality she desires the reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa <sighs> it saddens me when you speak that way don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. Agree, though. It seems we're out of options here. <laughs> Time to fight. Are you ready? Keep up and don't embarrass me.
stubborn imbeciles. We're checking our lord. Disgusting. We're not here to listen to your bullshit. Kneel! Running your mouth already. Just shut that thing up. Give me a hand. He'll die. Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Hmm. That I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go, look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize. But you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. We'll meet again one week from today, January 9th. <laughs> he got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. What say we head back for now? I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. Don't you think it'd basically be suicide to try and save her in our current state? We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. It's me, 
I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week, so I thought I'd share my findings with you. First, regarding Maruki himself, he's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And, as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Takumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions and rather convenient ones. That's quite the funny joke. It makes me want to puke. Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so, about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. So, you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. Oh yes, because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Ah, 
How about this? Now, let us depart. Excuse me, is, uh... Whoa! Uh, hey guys. Looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day... Something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going... His words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... Like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case... What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> Ugh, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened. But still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be. But... But I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. I guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important and... I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from... Whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh? Thank you for coming. She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. Please, I want you to understand, for their sake. 
as well as yours. Time. <sighs> For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No! You're not serious, right? Please! I'm begging you, Senpai! Please, let me live as Kasumi! But why? This pain is too much! Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And it's all my... All Samiri's fault! I can't live that kind of life! Please, don't try to stop me. If you do, then I'll... How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Please, don't make me do this. The myriad truths! Why? <sighs> Looks like you lost. Why? Senpai. can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. <sighs> I can give you strength. So you don't have to suffer. Doctor... Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire to live as Kasumi, I'll actualize it! Tehi? <laughs> 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 Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, escape from the nightmare! <sighs> no, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. 
Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back. I'm happy here. This is where I belong. <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. It ate the smaller one? What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. It's time. By the myriad truths! Damn it. There's no end to this. Guess what the hell is this thing? I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. to waste time on this shit! Here it comes! I don't think so! Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? Yoshi's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? Ugh. So much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first. Right, Joker? All right. Let's get in formation. Okay, guys, leave the navigation to me. Let's push it back! Unbelievable. Why did they come here? Nothing better than this! <laughs> Get out, dumbass! Here you go! My tree! You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like that. Is that really true? Huh? No. Never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again? We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! There's still time. February 3rd. 
I'll hear your final decision on the third. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do, on the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's gotta rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? So, Dr. Maruki, he altered our reality to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right! Akechi! There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. So you're not here to fight us? I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here, Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... Oh, yes. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh yeah, third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. Hmm? Didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom... Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? huh? Well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too. So 
so get to bed at a reasonable time. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way too now. Oh, oh yeah! I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right! Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat! I am not a... Oh wait, yeah, I guess I am a cat. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Ikechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. With... School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. It's been quite some time. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now, within this place, is proof enough. It seems the time has come. We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Lady Lavenza told you that? You ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. Um... Uh... Good morning. Um, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally... <sighs> to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Oh... I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things now. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. We have to choose our own path, eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We could accept this reality, but... That means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? 
That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire. But that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality is wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so... somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. This is Lavenza speaking. Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. Wait, how is she even calling you? And how'd she know how high our wills are? Oh, <gasps> did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Yes, of course your friends are also invited. As for the location... Let us convene at your school. At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offered to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out, too. I guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now. You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly-filled bread and... Hmm? That's... Yeah, let's go! Lady Lavenza! Hello, thank you for coming. I see.
see. Exchanging common expressions upon meeting like humans do, it has a rather pleasant feeling. But that is irrelevant. Let's turn to the matter at hand. As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? Oh, I guess we should get everyone in here. Infiltration? Success! I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we're lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. I must say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. All right then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before. We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean... You're ready to begin? Uh, ain't that our line? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it, as well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? Wait. Don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Uh. Could he really have done all that? I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So, his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan? It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, 
such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Indeed, the being in Mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses' support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki? who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did. Mm. Wait, you Wait, what? 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 What do you mean? What do you mean? We, we never wish for anything, anything like this. Like, 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 like. Is that really true? It's most likely because... What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? <sighs> what about our counseling? Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes, this realization changes none of what we must do. Very well, then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So, what you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, Anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. And, I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. 
If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. Right? What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the Metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Duh, dude. The Phantom Thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. And that settles that. Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? We may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. I guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a... Welcome. Um... Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. It's delicious. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. You've all found the paths you want to take and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... Like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone. Where I had to live for Kasumi, instead of as her. No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this, but now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do?
You can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai, but you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Let's reform society! Everyone. You're going to fight Dr. Maruki, yes? Please, take me with you. Uh, but you can't go in dressed like that. Please? I'm done running away. I can't keep relying on people like Senpai. I want to live life as Sumire. Color me impressed. Looks like she'll do just fine here. Thank you. In that case, we gotta come up with a code name for you. A what now? It wouldn't be right if you were the only one going by your real name, you know? Oh, you're right. Joker, got any suggestions? Oh, that's right. Sumire in English is Violet. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Violet. Yes, let's go with that. Excellent. Now remember everyone, Violet, not Violent. Violet. Yes, thank you for clarifying. I am surrounded by absolute fools. Are we done? We should probably get moving. I know, I know, jeez. Come on, Violet. Let's roll. Yeah. <laughs> Bubbles! Oh. Oh, oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> Violet! Sandrion! What? Uh. Her personas! Not on my watch! Please, stay back. I appreciate it. But allow me. I chose to stand on my own and fight. It's time I stopped being helpless. I hung my head low and took your hand. But I knew all along, deep down, pretending to be Kasumi was not the right way. <laughs> the weak, insecure Sumire... <laughs> Dies today! Violet! You were the one! The only one who stayed true to yourself! Come, Sandrion! If you don't answer my call now... How else can we make our dream come true? Such tenacity... It seems to fit you better than ever before. The glass slippers are the icon of glory. Not just for you, but the other girl within you as well. I am thou, thou art I. 
Are you prepared for your debut? The ball awaits. Certainly. That's it. I'm done running from myself. Yeah, you tell him! Go Violet! Give him hell! Yes! Let's do this, Sondrion! Dance, Persona! Persona! All will be revealed! Sorry for troubling you. I'll be fine now. You were as impressive as always out there. Well done, Violet. Thank you. I still have a lot to learn, though. I promise I'll do my best not to slow you down. Come on, you don't have to be so formal with us. <sighs> Sorry. And the same goes for you too, Joker Senpai. I hope you'll still be there for me. I am thou. Thou art I. My vow stands renewed in pursuit of the truth. In breaking free of doubt, the chain that impedes thee is thy strength of heart made manifest. With the rebirth of the faith persona, thou hast obtained the winds of blessing that shall guide thee to the furthest depths. All right, let's kick some ass. Yes, let's press onward. What's up with this room? The entire palace has been rather bizarre, but this room is rather strange in its own way. CRT TV, huh? Talk about old school. Look, it's even got a built-in VCR. Hmm, maybe we've got to watch some TV first? I highly doubt that. Actually, there's a chance he's right. There appears to be a tape by the VCR. Well, it appears we don't have any choice but to watch the tape, do we? Of course, it could possibly just be a trap. Nothing's happening. It's making some strange noises. Could it be broken? Do you think we should try whacking it? Uh, please don't. Oh, it's playing. Stay on guard, everyone. How are you feeling today, Rumi? Sorry I came empty-handed. I've just been so busy with the research lately. I haven't had the chance to pick up any part-time work. I know. I'll buy you flowers the next time I come. Do you remember that wildflower field we used to go to back in high school? You really loved it there, didn't you? Oh, would you prefer if I brought you some snacks instead? Which should I bring? Sweet or salty? I know you like both, so... Actually, I have some news for you today. So first, I've finished my paper. The other thing is... He caught the culprit. He's in police custody now. You don't need to worry anymore. <sighs> of course, that doesn't mean everything's over and done with. But things are going to proceed as they ought to. <sighs> My cognitive science is the study of people's hearts and how they guide people's views of the world. Everyone comprehends the world in a different way, depending on their cognition. So basically, if one could tap into a person's cognitive world, one would even be able to alter how that person views reality in every way. That's what my paper is all about. <laughs> Here I am, going way over your head with this stuff, just like always. <sighs> but anyway, I've recently met someone who thinks my research could be fruitful. If everything moves forward as planned, they may even fund my work. At that point, I'd be the first professional scientist in the world. My goal is to find a way to stop crime by putting my research into action. Many of the criminals in this world are deluded to the point of seeing everything through a distorted lens. If I could change their cognitions, 
it would stop them from committing crimes before they even considered them. And if I were to succeed, the things that happened to you would never happen to anyone else again. <sighs> I want to save you. No, not just you. I want to save the whole world with my cognitive science. Well, at least I know your family would appreciate it. <laughs> Rumi, it's me. Are you all right? Can you talk? Takto, family. <laughs> My family. Dad, Mom. No, please, please don't go. <laughs> Rumi, Rumi, it's okay. Calm down. Give them back. Give me. These migraines are... Damn it! Don't worry, someone's coming to help. I believe it was most likely a post-traumatic episode. Memories of the incident must have resurfaced due to some sort of stimuli, like certain imagery or phrasing. Phrasing? I'm so sorry, Rumi. It's all my fault. Deep down, I knew I could end all crime across the world. It still wouldn't bring your family back. What you truly need is to be set free from that horrible tragedy. But how can I do that? Must seek me. <sighs> what? What was that? Takuto, please, stop this. I want to forget. Forget? I wish I could do something to... Oh, but wait. By altering a subject's cognition, by changing their heart, any related trauma is eliminated. You must seek me. So... By that logic, all that pain, Rumi's trauma and everyone else's, it can be undone. Seek me. I am that who manifests thoughts himself. I shall echo your blasphemous fury with reality, so that we may together change the world. Now, call me forth. I'll do it. I don't care who you may be. Lend me your strength. Please, help me save Rumi's life. What was that? Rumi, are you okay? Who... who are you? Rumi, it's me! Um, I'm really sorry, but... I don't know who you are. Rumi, what do you mean? I've just gone through surgery. Ever since I was born, I've been unwell. I lost my parents when I was young. So I live with my grandparents in the countryside now. When you were... young? You can't. It's me, Rumi. Don't you remember me? Um, I really am sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to be discharged from here pretty soon, now that I've finished my last round of surgery. I can't wait to see my grandparents again, and show them how well I've recovered. This is... were her memories actually revised? Wait, was that voice really... Um... Are you alright? That's absurd. How could something like... Oh, I mean... It's nothing. I'm just glad you're doing better now. She remembers nothing of the incident. So, Furumi... By the way, what are you doing in my room? How do you know my name? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Another person? Yeah. My 
my girlfriend's name is Rumi, too. Really? That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Huh? Looks like I really messed up finding the right room. I really am sorry to disturb you. Um, so I know this might sound odd, but if you'd like to meet again sometime... Thank you for the offer, but... I'm sorry. I'm going to be getting busier than ever soon, so I don't believe we'll be meeting again. Really? But what about your girlfriend? She's... passed away. That's why I won't be coming here anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um... I hope you feel better soon. And I know the people who care about you wish the same. That was... Dr. Maruki, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Based on what we've seen, we can surmise that Dr. Maruki's memory was somehow on that videotape. The way that woman was acting at the end, that's just how it went for me, too. So he rewrote her cognition. Considering what he was saying in the video, that might have been the moment he first awakened to his ability. Could Dr. Maruki possibly have wanted us to watch this memory? Um, I don't think that's the case. It's possible that this is just an old memory he tried to bury in his unconscious mind. Still, if this actually occurred, there's no mistaking it for a trivial memory. This is clearly important to Maruki. Whether for good or bad, it appears that this incident is what led Dr. Maruki to his current mission. You're right. So, you're Sumire Yoshizawa, huh? I'm Dr. Maruki. I'll be your counselor. First of all, thank you for coming to see me. Yes. Thank you for seeing me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to discuss. I only came here today because my parents wanted me to. That's fine. So, do you want to just chat until our time's up then? Chat, huh? Of course. It's not really possible for us to talk about things you don't want to discuss anyway. I've also got some sweets and some salty snacks there. Feel free to have at them. Oh yes, thank you so much. So, let's start with, uh... Ah! How about... What'd you eat for lunch yesterday? Mm. I'll go first. The other day, a friend of mine gave me a ton of apples. I've grown tired of just eating them by themselves. Yesterday, I thought, why not try using them as a meal ingredient? So, I tried making an apple dish for lunch, but that didn't turn out too hot. What do you think I ended up making? I have no clue. Shrimp and chili sauce. With apples. You know how sweet and sour pork can have pineapple in it? I was going for that, but... Sounds like it didn't work for you. Apples do make for good ingredients, though. If you grate them, you can make a surprisingly versatile sauce. I use it in plenty of my food. It's pretty nutritious and good for digestion. You cook, Yoshizawa-san? I'm impressed that you care so much about nutrition. You must be really on top of things. <sighs> I'm just active, that's all. I'm a gymnast. My coach has told me more than once to be conscious of everything I eat. I see. How's practice going for you? Has it been rough lately? It has been rough. I mean, it's nothing I can't handle, but it's not going well. I don't even know what I want to do anymore. Sorry to hear it. Do you enjoy gymnastics? I'm not even sure of that. My older sister and I made a promise. We'd both compete and win the biggest gymnastics awards in the world, but she passed away. She protected me from a car. I stole Kasumi's dream away from her. I can't do it anymore. I can't just go on like this. If Kasumi were here instead, I know she'd make her dream come true. Only Kasumi could have done it. No matter how long I try to compete, it's not going to change anything. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize in here. If there's something you need to get off your chest, please do so. Sometimes... 
can't help but think things would have been better if I were Kasumi Yoshizawa. After all, just wishing to make her dream come true does nothing for her in reality. Making dreams come true, huh? Well, I don't think your train of thought is strange at all, Yoshizawa-san. In fact, wanting to become somebody else isn't necessarily an entirely bad thing. You... you think so? Everyone is capable of changing themselves. Your imagination's your only limit. That's why, if you aspire to be more like another person, it's actually possible. Thought exercises like, would that person do this? Or realizations like, that person wouldn't do that. These sorts of thoughts can lead people to change themselves in ways that more closely mirror the target person. <sighs> can you still imagine what your sister was like? Yes. If your sister were in your shoes, what do you think she'd do? Well... She wouldn't cry. If she had the time to do that, she'd just practice more instead. Dr. Maruki, I... I want to become Kasumi. I know. And I'm sure you can too. Just... believe in yourself. <sighs> How about it? Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I feel like a weight's been lifted off of me. You're amazing, Doctor. <laughs> it's no big deal. Still, it seems like my counseling approach does some good after all. Alright. I'm not sure how to put it, but... I feel like I've been reborn all over again. Really? I'm very glad to hear it. Feel free to drop by again sometime, should anything come up. We can even just have a chat, like today. Thank you. Then we could pick up where we left off talking about... Hmm. Something the matter? Now that I think about it, I'm not any good at cooking. I don't know why I said those things earlier. My younger sister's the one who was really great at it. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. Kasumi Yoshizawa. Yes? What is it? Oh, nothing. I'm so glad I was able to help you. Good luck with your training. Right. I'll do my best. For Sumire's sake and mine. Was that...? Yes. It was a counseling session I had with Dr. Maruki. It was just after Kasumi... After my sister passed away. From that moment on, I lived my life really believing I was Kasumi. It was all due to the rewriting of your cognition. His actualization, as we've started calling it. Okay, but I've been wondering something. So, it was only Sumire who believed that she was Kasumi, right? I assumed someone in your family or one of your friends would have noticed you going by the wrong name right away. Well, I can certainly remember being called Kasumi by everyone else, too. It might be more accurate to say you misheard or misunderstood the name you were being called. Like everyone kept calling you Sumire, but your cognition made you hear it as Kasumi. So that's why nobody thought it was weird, including her folks and herself. Damn. This must be part of the whole salvation nonsense Maruki's trying to pull over on us. That memory may have been kept here in video form because he truly does wish for Violet to be happy with life. I admit, I really did feel saved in that moment when I became Kasumi, but at the same time, I ran from my life as Sumire. I'm genuinely grateful for what Dr. Maruki did for me, but I'm done running. Let's get going. Hmm. So... What brings you back here after all these years? That's a comprehensive study on the research you tried to shut down all these years ago. I know how to read. What I meant was, why are you bringing this to me now? Oh, this is just a quick visit out of spite. I wanted to show you in person that I found the concrete evidence you had discontinued my research over. So it appears. 
I'll admit you've impressed me on that point, at least. But such praise does nothing now. All this discussion is in the past. Why can't you just let it stay there and move on? Ah, uh, no can do, Professor. Cognitive science has made too great an impact on this world to be abandoned like that. W what are you saying? The psychotic breakdown incidents. The sudden changes of heart in adults that the Phantom Thieves claim to make. I'm nearly willing to call these events concrete evidence of cognitive science in action. How about you? Uh. And the one person pulling the strings in the background of this, Congressman Masayo Shishido. He seems to be confessing to all sorts of crimes now that the Phantom Thieves have changed his heart years ago. Shido took notice of my research, stole it away from me, and made others develop it for his own gain. Not only that, he used cognitive science somehow to induce the politically motivated psychotic breakdowns. Now, you're heavily involved in that series of events, aren't you? What are... what are you planning on doing with me? Oh, nothing at all. As I said before, I only came here out of spite. That paper... My work is going to change the world. Change the world? And where's the money for that? Where's the power to do it? You're no Shido. What can someone like you actually do? That paper there is just the first step. I've learned how to change the cognition of not just an individual, but all of humanity. And I will do it. No matter how long it takes. Yeah, enough of this drivel. Get out of my office and don't show your face here again, hear me? Uh, what is this? Hmm? What's your problem now? Huh? You... You don't see this? The sky just... The time has come. This voice... Uh... The time is finally at hand. I am the other you, dwelling in the realm of mankind's hearts. The other... me? Wait, the realm of mankind's hearts? Are you telling me that this realm is... You may have no knowledge of it. But I have been at your side for much longer than our current meeting. Finally, your reality and the sea of hearts from which I came have truly become one in this moment. Now, the time for your unjustly persecuted ideology is at hand. I am thou. Thou art I. That's it. I finally get it. To think it'd be so... <laughs> hey, what are you mumbling about? I told you to get out! Yes. I'll be on my way, finally. Now I can finally... Shido! To think he was the one who stymied Dr. Maruki's research. You know, I've been wondering ever since we saw the earlier video, do you think there was some kind of connection between my mom's cognitive science research and Dr. Maruki's? After he crushed Maruki's chance at researching the field, he had his own pawns do it for him instead. Although I doubt Shido's researchers knew anything about the subject in the way Maruki did. That sounds exactly like the kind of plan that man would scheme up. That bastard! Wait, now's not the time to get pissed about that. There's another thing about that video nobody's mentioned yet. That being that appeared near the end was most likely Maruki's persona. The sky did turn red like that. I wonder if that was the day we fought against the God of Control. Lady Lavenza did tell us that reality and mementos were merged together during that time. As you've all seen for yourselves, a full awakening to a persona can't happen unless you're within the metaverse. That would mean Maruki really did awaken to his persona in that video. And at the same time, he attained the ability to meddle with mementos, the cognition of the masses. 
So it is just as Lavenza had told us. The sheer number of coincidences necessary for this to happen is just... At any rate, now we have a better grasp of past events. I'm fairly certain that was a memory Maruki wouldn't want us to have seen either. Yeah! We don't have the time for these questions anyhow. Let's go! What the...? This is... This appears to be quite the paradise. I assume Maruki's trying to convey that the world will turn into something like this if we allow him to abuse his research. A paradise... Wait, but this is a dead end, right? And we still haven't found the treasure. Look again. The shimmery thing? No doubt about it. That's our treasure. That also means we've secured our route. All right. All we got left is send in the calling card. Oh, wait. How are we supposed to do that this time? That's right. Dr. Maruki's been here in the palace this entire time, hasn't he? I'm sure Maruki's well aware that the Phantom Thieves send out their calling cards the day before their heists. Considering his actions up until now, I highly suspect he'll attempt to directly intervene in some way that day. My money's on him trying it with Joker. Good point. In that case, I'll leave the calling card in your hands, Joker. We could just set up an ambush and destroy him once he steps in our trap, too. No way are we doing that! Our goal in coming here is to return reality to its original state, not to beat up Dr. Maruki. It was merely a joke. After all, we're all well aware that Maruki's influence on reality goes well beyond this palace. If we make the wrong move in here, we could get eliminated outside the palace, since we lack our personas there. It'd be a safer strategy to change Maruki's heart, just as you all wish. We're finally changing his heart. If we steal Dr. Maruki's treasure, everything will go back to the way it was, right? I don't know for sure, but most likely. Yeah, of course. We've all come so far. We can't just give up now. We gotta stick to our own reality. About the time limit. Dr. Maruki told you it was February 3rd, correct? Yeah. He isn't like anything we've faced before. We should get as strong as we can before that fight. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Hmm. You. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? I suppose I can't blame you for thinking that. I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? 
I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it, and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh? But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. For declining his offer? It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me, but for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Emperor, granting thee infinite power. Persona within me has awakened to a new power. All right. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. W wow, we got on here really quickly.
Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. But I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Mm-hmm. You can lean on me, too, if you need it. <laughs> I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. I'm so glad I met you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the lovers, granting thee infinite power. Promise me that you'll stay by my side, okay? <laughs> Are you worried? Maybe it's more fitting for you to be chasing after me. Kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to handle that. To be honest, lately it's felt lonely just waiting for the next time I'll get to see you. Thank you for enjoying our Ferris wheel experience. The gondola will arrive at the platform shortly. Huh? It's over already? We went all the way around, but I didn't see any scenery. All I saw was you. <laughs> um, before we get off, sh should we at least do one thing, you know, Couples do? Yeah, there's only one thing that could be, huh? Mm. Should I close my eyes? Apologies for calling so late. This is Maruki, by the way. I'm actually rather close by. Would you mind lending me an ear? There's something important we need to talk about. And if you do intend to confront me, I believe there's something you have to give me first. Thank you. I'll be at the cafe shortly. See you later. I caught all of that. Just as we suspected, he knew he'd have to get a calling card. I have no clue how this meeting is going to go down. Hey, uh... Just make sure you keep your guard up, okay? Sorry for the last-minute visit. How's Yoshizawa-san holding up? I've been concerned about a potential relapse, considering her difficulties with accepting this reality. You know, I would love for that to be the truth, but people can't maintain their strength forever. So, getting down to business. I wanted to confirm with you one last time, 
Is there no other way to come to an agreement besides fighting? The reality I created may seem distorted from your point of view, but it's a reality where everyone is happy. If you just stay, you'll never have to suffer the pain of loss or the pain from having people and things stolen away from you. <sighs> so, you saw what happened with Rumi. I'm not the one who suffered. She is. But she's still living a wonderful life right now, in this world you call a distorted reality. But she still doesn't remember you, right? And you're fine with that? She may not be in my life anymore, but at least her own life is a happy one now. I'm not just doing this for Rumi. I want all of you to live just as happily as she is. But for Rumi's happiness to last, I have to move on. After all that's happened to her, to me, I just can't drag her into it. Doc. My stance will not change. Strange circumstances have led to my gaining this power. However, I now recognize it as being wholly inevitable. This is something only I am capable of doing. I promise, every person alive will be happy in the world I create. So, let me ask you the same. After really considering every option, do you have any doubts about your views? I suppose it's more accurate to ask, do you two gentlemen have any doubts? You're here, aren't you, Akechi-kun? Akechi! You caught me. Oh, it was just a hunch. This issue doesn't only affect you, Akechi-kun. This involves you, too. <sighs> what do these two have to do with... The relationship you two share is very unusual. A detective and a phantom thief. Despite being enemies, your relationship isn't based on hatred or ill will. That's why I found it so tragic when I learned what happened in Shido's palace. You, you bastard! So, 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 my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... Say, didn't you regret how things ended with him? You two came to a deep understanding of one another. Yet you had no choice but to leave Akechikun to his fate. That's why I created a reality where you two could have a fresh start together. <laughs> After all this, After all that's, this what that's what you have, you have to, say. to say. Seriously, you really are. That would mean the Akechi in the real world is... Get what I'm saying? I genuinely didn't want to tell you like this. I didn't want to make it seem like I'm holding him hostage. But no matter what you may think of me, I just want you all to accept this reality and move on with your happy lives. And that matters how, exactly? Don't tell me you think dangling my life before us is going to have any impact on our decision. Well, I lacked conclusive evidence, but after I fought against you all, I had a gap in my memory that ended with meeting up with him again. There were also the cases of Wakaba Ishiki and President Okumura. Of course, I'd find all of that suspicious. I see. I had a feeling the truth of the matter still wouldn't dissuade you, Akechi-kun. But how about you? You think dangling my life before us is going to affect our decision? That's what Akechi couldn't said a moment ago. If that's how you see it at this point, I'm fine with it. But I'm still going to ask you, one last time, will you accept the reality I create for you? You were the guiding light to my research. You showed me the way so I could make my dream into reality. I have nothing but gratitude for you. Not a single ounce of ill will. That's why I wanted you, of all people, to understand. Perhaps I shouldn't ask you for an answer on the spot like that. I'll be going now.
Ah, that's right. I've heard your calling. And about my question, let's do this. I'll be waiting in the palace tomorrow, just as I promised. If you still haven't changed your mind by then, we'll meet there. But if you don't show, I'll take that to mean you've accepted my reality. See you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'd like to speak with him. Akechi. Gotcha. I'll leave the decision up to you. Let me know when you've reached an answer. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept a reality concocted by someone else, stuck under their control for the rest of my days. So what? That's the path I chose. All you have to do is stick to your guns and challenge Maruki. Or are you really so spineless that you'd fold over some bullshit trivial threat on my life? Then you already know what needs to be done. I want to hear you say it aloud. What do you intend to do? I won't wait a moment longer. Answer me. All right. I'm relieved to hear it. I will never accept this form of reality. I'm done being manipulated. Let's go back to our true reality. alive. I'll sow chaos as far as the eye can see. All right. What's a life worth in a reality that was cooked up just to satisfy someone else? I say none. We have to win this. No matter what. We're all here. It's time. Our final battle. Maruki came by Leblanc last night, so we gave him the calling card. I doubt Maruki is still interested in discussion. You realize there's no backing out now, right? <laughs> Ain't no way we're gonna run now. We're gonna confront Doc in his palace, show him what's up, and go back to our own reality, right? Right. It appears we're all ready. It's time to take back what belongs to us. Our own reality. I see you made it. Come on up. I'll meet with you at the center of paradise. Now then. <laughs>
Thank you for coming. It looks like I have your answer. That's good to hear. Now, let's begin. If you win, my heart will be changed. However, if I win, my reality becomes the true reality. I will overwrite all of existence with my own cognition. I'm not holding back anymore. W what the? Just as you have your own beliefs, I too have no intention of changing my plans for reality. No matter what happens to me in the end, I will fix this torturous world. That is my own rebellion. His apparel just... And I believe you called forth your power like this. Persona. No way! So Maruki really does have a persona. I'd regret not pointing this out to you. You shouldn't mistake our powers as being equal. It's time, Azathoth. Our final battle has come. My persona guides me. Dr. Maruki. I have to do this. Incoming, guys. Get ready. Philistine! Persona protected him? This persona's definitely trouble. Persona! For real? Cool kitchen! It didn't work! Go, Agnes! Persona! Not bad, but we've only just begun! So let's move on. Huh? He's getting stronger? Be careful! Uh, what was that just now? It's the Kamata Kun. You dream of running. Running would make life so much easier for your mother. I can make that dream your reality. Yeah? Well, too bad for you! I'm done running away from my problems! Let him have it, Skull! Morgana-kun, I know how you truly feel. And there's no need to fear your differences anymore. Don't worry. You don't have to explain anything to me. All I have to do to help you is merely imagine it. I don't care what I look like anymore. I'm always going to be myself! Did I... fail? 
is that? It's Maruki's treasure. What is it, though? A torch? A torch is a light to guide people. It may symbolize his perception of himself as the guide for the entire world. We're here to change his heart, aren't we? Go on. Take it. So... This is it. This place is collapsing! We'd better take our leave. For me. I'm sorry. I couldn't... No, I... I can still... Joker, look out! Damn it! We gotta book it! Guys, jump in! That was close. Dr. Marky. This has gone too far past changing someone's heart. Is he even still alive? Looks like that isn't a concern. Sorry, but I won't admit defeat just yet. I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. I've been chosen by the world itself. Granting this wish is my responsibility! The hell? Uh, he just... the treasure! his persona such strength of will if it is for everyone's happiness I don't care what happens to me don't resist accept it with my power no with mine and Adam Catamon's together our reality is nigh that persona guides me to let it end like this. Adam Cadmon, guide us all to our ideal reality. You're wrong. Yeah, we refuse to let it end any other way too. Persona! Let's go. Lend me your strength. Just go. 
right before my eyes. Don't sleep through dreams that can't true. I'm sorry. I said I didn't care what happened to me. But I guess... I wasn't committed to my words. You too, huh? Uh, uh, Crow Senpai, what are you? Can you tell? You think the same thing, don't you? Of course you do. After all. We hesitate right now. We die. Uh, 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 Up there! I'm all yours. Use me however you want. Now, show us the reality. The reality we wish for. <laughs> I am thou, and... going to run. We're going to beat you and go back to our own reality. That's the spirit. Now let's finish this. It's time. By the myriad truths. What? It's not working at all. Persona! No good. Joker, try something else! Persona! What? Nothing works? Woo! I appreciate it. Time to end such strife is at hand! Come this far! We ain't gonna give up! 
Don't underestimate our tenacity! It's just another threat! We'll overcome it like we always do! If I run now, I know I'll regret it! We'll decide for ourselves what we want our lives to be! I'm a bit occupied, so do your goddamn job! Oracle! How does it look? Perfect! His head's defense level has dropped down to zero percent! Go for it! Finish this, Joker! Checkmate. gave up everything else. I dedicated all that I have to this, but I still... Why? I'm running from... <laughs> you nailed it. It's true that I turned my back on the original reality. But where's the harm in that? When it grows to be too much, too painful! Every person deserves to escape that! <sighs> In all honesty, it's best for a person's growth when they tackle their own hardships. But reality doesn't always make that so feasible! No matter how much you try, or work for so long, the smallest injustice can wipe it all out, leave you with nothing! Don't you of all people understand that? We're not saying you're wrong there. Living with this guy's made me realize that life in the actual reality can be way too cruel sometimes. Still, did he run away from his life because of that? No. He gained more friends and more personas. Now he's such an incredible phantom thief, even you and all your godlike powers respect him. <sighs> you know, there probably are plenty of people who'd ultimately benefit from your reality. But what about the people who want to take on the world themselves? How's it right to rob them of their opportunities? Oh, Mona-chan! There's something I've learned after all we've been through. Even if humans can't stand on their own, they can still do it with the help of their friends. Don't steal the potential away from humanity! You act like this is going to help everyone, when it's really just you giving up on them! I've given up on everyone. Huh? Looks like I'm totally finished. Trapped as well. Huh? Is there any way? Everyone, get over here! Hurry! <laughs> Mona chan, what are you? <laughs> this is no time to act tough. Whoever it was an act! <laughs> Mona-senpai, can you fly? But I'm a car! There's no way I can... No. It's now or never. I have to fly! 
Helicopter. If you could do this, then say so, damn it! Well, I didn't know! Now I'm downright priceless to the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little moment of triumph, but couldn't you have made yourself just a bit larger? <laughs> hey, where'd Joker go? Don't worry. Sorry to cut your flight short like that. This place is done for, along with the entire reality I dreamed of. I... have lost. Even if I were to try that fight over, I'm sure I'd only lose again. So I know, this is going to sound pretty stupid. I've been holding this all in for so long just hiding it from myself. So, please, help me kill every last one of my regrets. You're the only one I can ask to help me with this. The disappearance of my palace, of the entire metaverse, is drawing near. Seems like neither of us can summon our personas anymore. Let's begin. I gave up everything! Everything! So why? A reality where no one suffers. I'm done. I get it now. All thanks to you. Come on. 
I said I'm done. Please, let go of my hand. Your eyes are as bright and honest as ever. You keep your head up no matter what. I must have always been afraid. Afraid you and I wouldn't wish for the same reality. <laughs> Magnificent! We have indeed witnessed your decision. Not only have you taken back mankind's future for itself, but you've also re-established our reason for existence. While reality had been wholly distorted, your actions have guided it back towards what it ought to be. That is correct. Time itself cannot be rewound, but every past event will revert to the event that should have occurred instead. I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept a reality concocted by someone else, stuck under their control for the rest of my days. <laughs> Everything will return to how it should be. Everything. There are no exceptions. Have your regrets begun? It seems you are still resolute in this matter. Choosing such a path must not have been easy for you. For that, you have our utmost respect and gratitude. Did you see him? Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it... We've been out all night, too. So let's go to LeBlanc. Huh? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! Hmm? I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um, have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? 
What are you guys talking about? Well, I was going to ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So, he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality, which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Did someone say my name? This again? Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Monachan? Well... About him... No, I can't believe akechi sons really... What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and Akechi is... I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but... This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah. We won't put up with this injustice. But... What can we do to actually help him get out of there? I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So, what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case! There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right! Let's go! We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes! Yeah! Yeah! Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I already told you. There was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hmm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? 
What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? P please, I, I beg of you, please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... he's my best friend! You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but 
Saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. Huh. Thinking back, that was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be. Made some great friends here. You'd better thank them when we get back, all right? Whoa! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses, trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. <laughs> I 
right back at you. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon. Just to hang in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat! I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... Mm -hmm. This is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up! I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? Uh, shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. <laughs> you guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi!
Let's go to bed. You're Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, hi there. Do you have a minute? Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. <sighs> Good evening. Thanks. All right, time for part two of your homecoming party. We haven't had any us time in ages. Oh, but first... I can't believe you turned yourself in. It was like you'd disappeared on me. You really scared me, you know? Okay, fine. I forgive you. But from now on, we can beat this stuff together, okay? No matter what you're up against. Okay, that's it. No more heavy stuff. Now, it's the moment you've been waiting for! Chocolate time! <laughs> I bet you were looking forward to this, right? Seriously? You can be so oblivious. Between everything, I haven't been thinking too hard about it. But this is it, right? Everything's... Back the way it used to be? Hey, um, I've been doing a lot more modeling lately, and I even get to talk to Shiho sometimes, too. That's super encouraging. So, can I sit next to you? You're going home next month, aren't you? You don't even know. I'm gonna be so dead out here. Even if we're farther apart than we used to be, our hearts will be as close as ever. Hey, back when this all started, I was just focused on stopping bad guys from hurting people. Like they hurt Shiho. But now, well, maybe I've got other stuff on my mind. I've got someone I can save. Well, at least, I can make them happy. And not as Panther, but as me. On. Take a wild guess. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you, so thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Oh, 
great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. It's chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? I know it's sudden, but could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but... Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. Sure you want me hanging around? Uh, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. <sighs> I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... a hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future, and how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility, get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. Um? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own, starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me.
reminds me, Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Aw oh, yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> <does. laughs> right, Whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Oh, oh, great yeah. cheese! Grab a ton Aren't of we sushi? lucky? Sushi! Ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White day. That's tomorrow, right? You, uh, eh, you had kind of a rough Valentine's Day. So now you got a chance to redeem yourself. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa. The Chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Uh-huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with a right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kind of last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait! What?! <sighs> Damn it. I don't usually do this, but... I know a place. Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up, too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So, once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. Well, are you sure about that? There's something you gotta give her, and it sure as hell isn't the bill. The flowers, remember? We covered this before. You need that surprise gift. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. 
Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang. The chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay. Your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. What brings you here today? I see. Okay, leave it to me. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on. Let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so... I need to express appreciation for you, too. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. All right, good luck out there. doing all those TV specials on this place. Oh, check it out! Is that a tuna? And I think that one's a yellowtail. Or, uh, maybe a sardine? Man, I must sound like I'm ordering sushi, huh? Uh, sorry. Um, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never been on a date to an aquarium before. Hey, can I ask you something? I was kind of joking on the phone, but... Is all this really in return for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Thanks. I'm having a great time. So, you want to get some dinner after this? I'm super hungry. Wait, what? Are you serious? Then let's go, I guess. This place is crazy. I'm so nervous right now, I can't even tell. But I know I'm happy to be here. But this is way more intense than I was expecting. You really thought this through, huh? I love a guy who can think ahead. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. Give me a sec. Okay, all set. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. What? Uh, hold on. It's so beautiful. This is... for me? <laughs> Thank you. Wow. The perfect gift with the perfect timing. It feels like I'm in a movie. Oh, you're good. I can't believe you went to all this trouble. But when I think about it, it's such a you thing to do. From the day I met you, You've always been so focused on what you can do for everyone around you. Always putting other people first. I really admire that about you. Maybe one day, I can be like that myself. Thanks. I'm gonna put in the work. And one day, you're gonna think to yourself, Man, I'm so glad Ahn's in my life. Then you're gonna think it harder. I'll make sure. Whatever happens, I want to stay with you from now on. Okay? Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. <laughs> Off you go, then. Try not to cry! <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about this. The Diary of the Phantom Thieves' Leader, huh? Probably gonna be worth a lot someday. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well... We've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me anyway. Here, I want you to have these. I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. Still got things to do, right? You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? <laughs> right. I'm taking you in. On the record. You've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. So, you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. Huh? Uh, well, I haven't really gotten to that. I've been too busy actually writing it. But when I need one, I'll definitely be consulting the ex-Phantom Thieves themselves. It makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, 
Even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Oh, what a coincidence. I was just getting some of my college enrollment papers ready. Soon enough, I'll be living on my own too. <laughs> New beginnings for both of us, I suppose. Thanks. You'd better take care of yourself back home, too. My sister and I are actually going to look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. If I'd never met you, and stayed a simple honor student, I'd never have realized I had that choice. So, I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. We fought back together, so it seems only fair you keep it. I want you to know that you're an irreplaceable comrade to me. Always have been, always will be. Oh, <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? Of course. And let me know if there's anything you need. This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all the times I distance myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. Oh. That's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but... I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. This time last year, I'd never have imagined I'd meet you all, leave my home, or become a phantom thief. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos, Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their stories someday. Yo! Man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Say it like that? You make it sound like I'm gonna die or something. Look, this isn't gonna be the last time we see each other. I'll come visit whenever you want. Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I wanna run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame 
I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. And when I think about going to school without you guys, I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. I'm so glad you came. It still hasn't hit me that you'll be gone soon. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. We're gonna be pretty far away from each other. What? But I'll be on the other side of the world, and you've got tons to deal with already. Then again, it's not like that stopped you before. Okay then, I'll be waiting. Drop by whenever you want. By the way, um, a little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines, and that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. <laughs> it felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. Maybe when you see me next, I'll be a total big shot. Some kind of fancy jet setter lady. Or maybe not. I swear, I'm gonna become a great woman. One you can't take your eyes off of. So just wait for me, okay? Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle. It's been hard to say for sure who or what I am, but whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me! I can go wherever I want all by myself! Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said... Sojiro's you stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. All right, I've been counted on. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So... You go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you... for everything. Hey. You got everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Well, that's a cold thing to say. Oh, sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off, too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing the door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah.
over there! Hey, look this way! <laughs> <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband. We are all in break after all. No more entrance exams. Hmm. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> should we? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Bye. Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? <laughs> There's no charge. Huh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over. Like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <laughs> Good luck. Man, those dudes just wouldn't give up. Wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure <laughs> to eat well. We'll see you soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? All right, it's time. <laughs> yeah. Aww, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my dude! <laughs> I'll text you, okay? Come on, sit down. taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? <laughs> Told you I was coming with you! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 